let's make sure everything's working well on a tech level before we continue any further. As always, we just want to make sure everything's working. First things are first. The first, the uh, next. Next. Alright, awesome. Second thing. I don't know what this accent is, but boy, am I gonna use it. Alright, ping, pong, pong, ping, pong, pong. I think it can stand to be like a little bit louder. Like, what do you guys think? Yeah, not not much, but like a little bit. I think we're good. Like normally, I have it set to uh, thirty-five out of seventy. We'll, 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 just, uh, we'll just increase it slightly to forty. I think that'll be good. So, with that, oh, 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 oh. that's right. We're in, I forgot. We're in penis rock. Max, it's it's called it's called transport A access. We're in penis rock, boyos. All right, let us. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot. One last thing. I almost had it perfect. There you go. All right. Let us properly begin. See, is it is it even is it even playing those sound effects? It, it might not be. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, I still I don't use those very often, but they still make me happy. Like, there's only two I really like to use. It's Hold on. Oh, is it not on? Ah, it's not working. Damn it. It, it it's two of my favorite ones. Hold on. I, I want I want to make sure I want to make sure it works. Okay, soundboard. Soundboard. Okay, hold on. It's this one and I love I love those too. Like they they just every time I play them they make me happy. But let us begin. Hello, my name is Max, also known as Dr. Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2. On the last episode, what even happened last episode? It's been, ow. I have, n what, what, what is even hitting me? Oh, God, okay, hold on, hold on, there you go, there you go. You gotta remember that the, uh, the motion controls on the Wii, or the Wii U specifically, don't work if you are too close. Okay, I think we need to get to B. Yep, we need to get to B, which means we take a left. I looked this up just to make sure. Let's see. On the last episode, we got ourselves the light beam and... Well, okay, so we have the light beam. Actually, I should test this. Uh, hold on a second. We have the light beam and we have the dark beam and the dark suit. That's right. Specifically, which as a quick reminder, is basically our way in and out of um most areas or most areas of the ether and the dark suit allows us to not be there in like we're not indestructible there but the drain is much less if i had to make up numbers i would say like half at least like it's pretty good and we are on our way for those of you who don't remember this planet was essentially hit by meteorite and as a result it was um oops as a result of it being hit by meteorite. Okay, we need to. For the record, our goal is that bottom area. And I think the best way to get there is to. I actually kind of want to go over there. So we'll go to the left real quick and then we'll go to the. We'll come back and go to the right. Yeah, don't mind me as I kind of have to like. I, I have to like put this under my boob to like make it work. To get it to work properly, but that's okay. Yeah, so this planet was struck by a meteorite, and as a result of said meteorite, uh, the planet is essentially split into two forms, the light and the dark form. These uh, are uh, light or dark realm, I should say, rather. And uh, the dark realm's getting kind of pissy, and is starting to beat up the, uh, the, the kids in the light realm, and it's starting to corrupt everything, and insert any allegory or uh, similarity to the uh, which we call it the Twilight Realm from uh, Twilight Princess and you'll basically get it like it's pretty bad and it's up to us to try to fix their shit that's about it that's about all you need to know 
Um, I don't know what this is. I mean, I got that thing. I'm gonna scan it before I even get close to it. That's right. Okay. It is inside me. I feel it spreading. Hot at my will. Turn on my thoughts. It moves me against my will. I'm gonna turn my volume down a little bit. But it should be fine for you guys. Uh, it moves me against my will to this cavern. Here it will end. I do not wish this. Do not want my body to become a weapon for the ink within me. It hates. It demands a bee. As I'll fight to the end, I shall self turn before I be upon. Oh. Shit. Uh, oh. Um. Um. Oh, I'm a little, uh. It, it's not showing up on the scanners as anything. It's a testament, so I think this is just kind of like a... Hmm. A little disappointing, I mean... Lore is good, but Metroid games are usually like... Usually like really good about always rewarding. You know, like at the end of every rainbow, there's always some kind of like... Even if it's not even big, like, here's a missile upgrade, here's a, like, a energy tank, here's a... Bah, bah, bah. But, no, just, uh, just a little bit of more. Which is fine. But, uh, yeah, it's our mission to essentially, there are three different temple areas. And we are currently trying... Okay, looks like... Yeah, we don't need to go to that under area, we just need to... Top a left. I forget what that P stands for. Oh, the P stands for portal. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go we're going the right way. We're going the right way. But, um... Yeah, basically, there are three main temple areas. And each area has three dark keys in it. Get the dark keys, open the area, gain the energy... Hop back into the real world, or, you know, the light world, which is, like, the good and happy world. I think right. You know, launch back into the good and happy world, put the energy back where it came from or so help me, and then head on to the next area. Repeat three times, and Bob's your uncle. Alright, that's not where we want to go. We want to we wanna take a left. It's like chicken arm this shit. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good old Monday. Hope everyone's having a good time. I personally got less than four hours of sleep last night. <laughs> I, I did for, it's weird, like, okay. You ever have those like moments where, um, I'm just gonna refill here, cause I, I need I need 35, I need like 30 missiles, so like, why not, right? But, um, you ever have those moments that's like weird coincidences where you're like, man, I just, I just slept like crap last night for whatever reason, and, um, I, I talked to Megan about it, and she's like, yeah, I did too. I was like, really? You, really? She's like, yeah, I, I, I slept like garbage. And some of the people I was talking to in the one uh, Infinite Ammo Syndicate server, um, they, like, a bunch of them said the exact same thing. Like, as a group, as a unit. See, I, I could have gone to see, but um, I could have gone to see in hindsight. But I wanted to check out what that one room was, so it's all good, though. Like, a whole bunch of people, weirdly enough, all said they had problems sleeping last night. And, eh, you know, it's... Eh, hey, oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 that's right, that's right. Oh, wait, shit, um... Oh, uh, wait, did the one guy lie to me? Ah, damn it. Damn it, because that's actually... Oh, no, 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 I think the guy lied to me. All right, we got to start this episode looking at a guy, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Uh... While below in the very center of the gargantuan chamber lies your target, but a cage currently houses the item, so we need to find a way to open it. Scan the chamber reveals that four rotatable locks below are responsible for a lockdown. Look around you at the four massive spinning Lima statues over the chamber and the foot of each one's a post spinner. Wait, what? 
Wait, so instead, boost yourself up to the half pipe in the meeting grounds to scan the luminous wall projecting relative. Uh, instead, you'll find up to surface access tunnel. Boost your way across the breakable section of the meeting grounds once again. Meeting grounds. Boost yourself up to the half pipe in the meeting grounds to scan the luminous wall projecting relative. Uh, instead, you'll find up to the surface access tunnel. Boost your way across the breakable section of the meeting grounds once again. Meeting grounds. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is part of it. Because this is what we were struggling with last time. Once you simply follow the tunnel, lead you straight over the purple door and into the Hall of Honor dead. This isn't anything that they're talking about. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 okay, hold on. Boost, okay. What lies ahead is it? Huh? Okay, let's just, <sighs> I've talked about this before, but this is inevitably the problem with all guides that um, they work off of a different thought process than you do. Like it's just inevitable. Okay, there's there's never a getting around it. They they like they do things in a particular order, and that may not be the same order that you do them in. And as a result, like it's so easy to get confused. All right, hold on. Let me let me just zoom out just one more, t or a few more times. Okay, there we go. All right, there I got I got it open so I can still look at chat. All right. But yeah, just like a whole bunch of people mysteriously all at the same time, all had sleeping issues and. Yeah, you know, like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, the moon itself came down and prevented da da da. This is part of me that was kind of like, huh, that's, um, weird. Although, now that I think about it, hold on a second. Huh. Okay, do you remember how to do this, Max? Um, generally? Okay, I think this is the right path. Uh, is it Max? I have no idea. Oh, oh, shh. I think that is the right path. Because that feels, that right there, that feels like, he he hoo hoo, here's a challenge for you, you know what I mean? Like. You know, I bet you didn't see that one coming, bucko. And I'm like, hot damn. You're right. You're right. I did not see that coming. I just gotta... Yep, I was gonna say, basically the moment it turns sideways. Gotta flip that shit around. I just hope it doesn't happen again or else I'm gonna get really annoyed. Yeah, there's that... Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness, thank you, God. All right, all right. Okay, hold on, let's do, let's just do object house scanning range. Object house scanning range, okay, hold on, hold on. Structural analysis complete. This is a statue of Excar, the first sentinel of Aether. It was Aether. It was Excar who discovered the world of Aether and led her people to settle on its wondrous surface. I'm gonna close this uh, guide. I don't wanna follow it the entire time. You know, we, we wanna follow it sparingly, only when we have to. Uh, Vimos, the third sentinel. She died giving birth to her son, Umas, who in time became the fifth sentinel. Um, I think this is... Yeah, it's, that's a spinner. We, we, we know about spinners. Uh... Will, yeah. That child would be pressed into... Yeah. They look the same, though, so... In combat... I love just like the undertones of Sam's the scans, they're so good. Uh you died in battle. I guess let's look at what this is. Uh which are in turn controlled by a group of spinners. Yeah, okay. So that that is as the guide said. The second who was the first cell born and protected the planet for three centa cycles. I really someone someone out there explain to me what the fuck a cycle is. Cause is it a day? Is it a? I don't fucking okay. All right, so I kind of hope when I play in the spinner, good, good, good. I was gonna say like, please actually. Max, what do you? To what end are you spinning it? I'm. I 
I don't, I don't actually know to what end I'm sp Uh, huh. Did it work? Uh, huh. Uh, huh. I have no idea how to measure success. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that mat... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is, how, uh, okay, wait. There's yellow. Presumably... Like, I'm not saying it's just to be a shit. I, uh... Oh, I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> I'm dumb. Hang on. Hope it resets. I don't think it resets. Okay, well, great. Okay, I hope there's a way to, like, tell which one has already been activated or not, because I think I may have just forked it. This is... Okay, so this is the... Wait, no, I missed. This is, this is the first. This is the second. This is the third. Oh, this is the third. Oh, that's the fourth. So that's the third. Okay, so duh. It needs to be... Okay, so... I just hope I didn't permanently fork it. Okay, it looks like there's three lights on top of it. So it's one. Here's two. Like, without thinking hard, right? Strikes me just doing this in order of one, two, three, four would be reasonable. You know, I'm sitting here like, I don't know what success looks like, so I don't know exactly how to judge this. It's like, okay, have you tried one, two, three, four? I guess it's a roll on over here. Shwook. Oh, I missed. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Max, do you have any idea if this is what you're supposed to do? No. And since I can't leave the room... I fear I just ruined it. Oh. Hold on. But if I go back to red. Oh shit. Uh, I just realized how perfectly a lot of it is. Right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's like, it was right there. All right, perfect. We did it on accident. I'll take it. It's fine with me. Okay. Awesome. Kick ass. Oh, ooh, that's a... Uh... Cool. Hold on, I need, to, I need to scan it. I don't know if scanning this actually, like, matters. But it's fun, so I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, I love the little swipe. Ooh, shiny! Nice. All right, so this will get us through purple doors. Press on. Okay, so it's essentially an upgrade, if I understand it correctly. Okay, guide said not to worry about that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. It's essentially an upgrade to this to the super missile. Observe. Oh, oops. What the fuck? Did I not, did I not read that? Do that correctly? Okay, fine. Oh, you have to sit here and hold it. Kick ass. So, all right, I I I did it wrong. So you have the super missile, and now you have the seeker missile. Okay, great. So now. 
if it's purple, we can get rid of it. That's yellow, so we're just gonna ignore it. And we need to head back down to... Bug? That sounds right. Is that right? Tortoise, tortoise bug? I mean, there's a purple door there. There's, there's two purple. There's, there's two. Pur uh, uh, I, th I think. <laughs> Max, you don't actually remember, do you? I'll. Okay, so my main source of like, uh, of memories for like what to do and where to go is because I just recently I've been I'm trying to keep up and I'm trying to do better about the. Uh, highlights just doing them as quickly and as efficiently as possible so that way i can work on side projects like i keep saying i'm going to but i never do and um you know just like real quick going through real quick going through all the like footage for uh footage for different games and the collabs for uh, Phasmophobia and Outlast Trials and stuff, and, you know, it's just like, ah, I need to play more Outlast Trials, ah, I need to play more Phasmophobia, but it's also kind of given me, like, I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but, like, kind of a refresher on this game. And, okay, I just want to do that for fun. Right, oh, pff, screwed me up. But, um, I, I want, I remember complaining, uh, one of the bits that I kept was me going, tell me to go to Taurus. So I went to fucking Taurus. This is just like me complaining about going to Taurus. So I'm going to take it for granted that my next required location is in Taurus. How right am I? I could not tell you. So, so, so. So, 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 so. Do I, have to, do I have to walk my happy ass all around? I thought I thought I thought I could like. I thought part of this area's puzzle was that you could like jump and. I think I walk my go. Okay, fine. I'll walk my happy ass around. I don't mind doing that. I'm more wondering if there's like weird monsters that are gonna eat my leg or something. Yeah, you have this. Oh, uh. Ah. I see the problem. Jump, 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 jump. Eat my butt. Actually, please don't. Oh, so that's like a one way back. Okay, okay, okay. So this this should take us to Torvis. I don't even remember like how many keys we have or anything like that, but um I know it's the next location for keys. Uh so yeah. As always, there's a question. Do you think you're going to finish the game tonight? Probably not. But you know what? I'm fine with that. This game is fun. It's just, um... It's just the issue that I have with a lot of Metroid games. That every now and then... This always happens at least once. Sometimes, like, two or three times. But at least once. That, um... They kind of, like, put you in an area. And they're like, hey, figure it out, bo uh, boyo. And I'm like, you know, damn right. I'm, like, I'm going to sit here and figure it out. I'm the man. And they're like, yeah, you're the man. By the way, go all the way back to the beginning what yeah do it for me just, just 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 go all the way back to the beginning why it, it it'll be funny it's not funny though well it's it's funny to me no it's not and like they they argue with you until you decide to go back and like on one side you know it's always good to like that feeling of going back through territory you've already been in and like seeing how much you've improved getting the secrets that you couldn't get previously you know, that stuff, like, I get it. Okay, like, I get it. You know, it's not it's not lost on me. But, that doesn't mean that shit doesn't get real old real fast. Uh, there's no reason I need to choose between up or down, so I'll just choose whichever. And... Oop. And... Oh, oop. Oh, lost my charge. So now that we're here, oh wait, um, now that we're here, there's a bottom path. Come on, come on. There you go. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I don't know how well 
this is gonna work considering we're kind of close by okay never mind it works great awesome that's what we love to hear uh it's elevator oh wait access to egg on waste aren't we no egg on waste was the first area right so why is this just like a nice uh is this like a quality of life thing or Strikes me I've explored this area pretty well. Mm. <sighs> That's a big area. That's... Yeah, okay, okay. I, I feel like they wouldn't poop me here and have, like, a big obvious, like... If you go here, you'll get something cool button. Unless, like, there's... I feel like there's something good there. If I if I go there and I discover I can't actually, like, utilize the area, I'll be pretty disappointed. But, like... Ah! Sorry, I just, I just wanted to see what happened. But, um... That's, that's a little... Mm, you know what I mean? Like, it, that's a little... If it was like one tiny little room, that'd be one thing. I'd be like, I right, whatever, you know, I, I don't need to go there. Let's continue the mission. But that's a, it's a, a decent sized little area. Okay, if I had to make a bet, that's the escape hatch. So we need to get straight across. That feels more, uh, whew, I missed. That feels more, uh, what, what's the, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Satisfying. You know what I mean? Ooh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Dylan, hello. It's good to see you, man. How's it going? Oh, wait, am I? Are those breakable? All right, good, good, good. Those weren't breakable. I was going to get bit concerned. Boop. Uh, boop. There you go. Yeah, how's it going, man? Oh. Oh, that's right. I remember this area now. I forget what exactly I thought I needed, though. I didn't do it. Uh, okay, well, that's the exit. So let's, like, look around real quick. Okay, so if I'm holding a charge. Bloodcat's cool, but like. That doesn't exactly like launch us upwards or anything. I get the feeling I'm not gonna actually be able to uh, get up and. Yeah, uh, uh, unless it's like. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Oh, I'm tired, so I had the army's attempt to drown in me. <laughs> I'm finally missing the frigate. I'm like. What? Wait, 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 wait. You say that like it's a good thing. Also, sorry to hear about the army trying to drown you. That, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's see what this big old galosh is. I can't tell if that's white. I think that's white. Okay, I was gonna say, I can't tell if that's white or yellow. If it's yellow, I'm gonna be mad, but if it's white, that's fine. Like, we can work with it. What do you mean, finally missing the fingernail on your, uh, hang on a second on your left middle finger. Was that a good thing? I'm trying to convert into a weapon. Uh, Denzium. Denzium, Denzium, Denzium. Uh, everyone who's like watching this episode one right after the other, they'll remember. Shit. Alright, uh. Oh, shit. Let's see, dimensional warp being able to face out like a tiger creature before it is to damage it. Well, I don't really have a reason to damage it, so I'm not going to. But there's a portal in here, and there is a drill, which is interesting. Into my real way. Hold on, okay. Alright, let's just go through the tradition. Let's just, uh. Okay. Ha, da, da, da. Okay, that might not be it. Well, I guess let's, uh, turn this bad boy on. 
Uh... All right, Max. There's a timer. Hold on. I, I, uh. Why would I want to get on top of that? Okay, let's uh, let's let's ex let's explore around a little bit. Let's let's explore around. Wait, hold on. There's like two things to for cannons, right? Let's so uh, let's uh, let's investigate the cannon. Let's uh. Okay, what does this lead? This leads me back up. That's not where I want to be. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry. Hold on, let me scroll up a little bit. Yeah, that, that goes back to AT. I was helping one of my guys with the tire back onto the house. He lost control away, and my fearing got caught between got caught between the steel rim and the hub. So the hole underneath filled with blood, and then I could take a drain. They said they said they don't do that, so I popped it. Then I kept a nail for it in the hopes that it would reconnect back to the nail bed, and it did not. Wait, 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 wait. You popped the entire nail off and then put it back in? My guy, nails don't work that way. They, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I could have told you this myself. They do not reconnect that way. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to inform you of this. Oh, well then, what, what was the, what was the point of all that? What was, what's the? Uh, day transferred to your logbook for further review. Let's see, our studies of the ink review revealed the source that- Does that mean it's just sitting there floating the whole time? You have to like, keep putting it back in and bleed everywhere? The source of the attacks are dark energy. We built weapons to use energy, thinking it could overload enemy targets Linda. We soon learned our errors. The dark beam was not on great effect beam. We then began to develop the use light energy. I just bet you a terrible efficiency. No, I popped the blood pot by going in from under the nail. Oh, so you like reached in. You didn't take off the nail. You reached in until there's a pocket so it would- Okay, okay. That's pretty gnarly, like, just saying, that's impressive that you did that. Okay, I, I, I see, I see what they need me to do. I see what they need me to do. Heck, I might as well stay in ball form the whole time. Okay, I essentially need to, hold on, go bunk. It starts spinning. I, oh, yeah, I, lo I lose sense of where I am. Okay, hold on. I go in here, I go bunk. And then I go bunk. Now, what does that do? Makes a portal, which then lets me do this. But it doesn't help with the densium. Let's see, uh, have you ever cleaned dirt from the nail and drew blood back by accident? Yes, I have. I've also, uh, a lot of self-surgery with, uh, ingrown toenails. Oh, no, trust me, I've done that. And depending on how well the nail's on there, that shit hurts like a bitch. Which is why when you say you're just like, oh, yeah, I, I did that. I'm just like, jeez. Like, that's still, you know, pretty, pretty ballsy. Okay, hold on a second. Um... Where is, okay, I think that's the, uh, let me just, this might be a waste, but, oh, okay, never mind. Pass the target on to stuff. Well, hi ho, hi ho, into hell itself we go. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so a new way to pop that was not doing what other people do. Well, isn't it normally you take what is effectively like a knitting needle and just kind of like jam it up there kind of thing? Which, nah, nah. I don't know my I've never had to do that for my fingers. My big toes, I'm pretty emotionally okay with doing that for, just because I'm used to doing surgery on myself with the big toes. But um Young Yin Bao, fierce opponents to prove their metal in combat pierces is almost one of the many shit. Like just thinking about it, the big toe, I'm okay with doing it too, just because like I've done it so much, but like other toes and stuff, there's a part of me that's like Ugh. Let's see. The guy who taught me about dream blood said paperclip and a light, then poke through the hole 
pull through the top of it. Oh, yeah, like burn through it. God, that that sounds just as bad, if not worse. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I guess let's uh, go through this hole here. Maybe we can like find a path. Uh huh. Oh wait, wait, wait. This is a butthole. Uh, yeah. That's that's their invincible butthole. They're like, you shall not pass through said butthole. Jump, jump, all right, perfect, jump, jump, there you go, all right. Yeah, as a quick reminder for those of you who, uh, for those of you who are rejoining us, oh shit, as a quick reminder for those of you who are rejoining us, while in the dark zone, we basically have to go from bubble to bubble. The bubbles will very slowly heal us, and outside of the bubbles will kill us, so, uh, Good luck, because I think we're about to get our shit wrecked by a boss. Or not. What is what is this accursed area? What is this? Yeah, I've, I've, I haven't personally seen it, but I've heard of it, where they like just like get the top right hot, and then you just like poke through. And it, ugh, can't imagine doing that. Like, I check on ugh, like a wuss, but you know what I mean? Like, it's, that's... There's like, you know how there's like a steps to level of pain where all of a sudden you're just like, I'm emotionally okay with, emotionally okay with doing this to myself. I'm just thinking about that, I'm like, uh, hey, that you look for the smallest and put it, oh, jeez. I mean, it makes sense. It's the same logic, right? But, god. The closest I ever got to something like that, uh, as long as you're telling gross stories, is, um, I remember once... Uh, what in the world is this thing? Dark burst. What the fuck is a dark burst? <gasps> is it? Oh, is this the missile version of my? Yeah, imagine just walking in and in on that out of context. Oh well. Yeah. We did. Okay, so is this like the super missile version of the dark beam? Use the dark beam. Press. It. Yeah. Okay. Now here's the question. They sent me down here with it. Oh, shit. What do you want? Ow! Fuck that. I'm just, I'm just gonna missile you. Yeah, think about that actually, asshole. They're like, don't you want to use your new toy? I'm like, ah. Eh, I got missiles. I'm good. So cool. I got the dark burst now. That feels pretty good. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, wait, wait. that feels pretty nice. Okay, so let's see if the dark beam can take this shit on. Oh shit, you did! Nice, like the superly duperly strong one. Was lame. Can't even break through dens. Oops. Can't even break through. Nice. That's awesome, man. Little jealous, not gonna lie. But still, that's good. Alright, we need to we need to head back. So I think that's uh we need to we need to take the ball up and work our way back. Uh next time we can hit a save we should do so and yeah, okay. The mountain will schedule to arrive next week. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm jealous, not gonna lie. Find the computer. Oh, uh the story I was gonna tell. Um just as like a real quick gross story, right? Uh, so I got I got ingrown toenails a lot. I got ingrown toenails a lot just growing up, and I, I shouldn't even say growing up because I got them in the military too. And um, oops. Now nah, that'll just make us go all the way around because uh, if we had like a super high jump, then I could sit there and work it, but I don't. But um. One time, I forget, I think this was in the military. No, 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 this was, so I was like well out of the military at this point. And um, I w went to the VA just to be like, hey, I got an ingrown toenail. And they're like, nice. And um, I was like, hey, I got an ingrown toenail. You know, like obviously I'm not gonna die, but like, you know, it's hurting a lot. I'd like to schedule an appointment. You know, it, it, is, it does not seem to be resolving itself. And they said like, all right, cool, we'll schedule again. And I went to the guy, and I was like, hi, right, you know, this sucks, but I'm ready to go. And he's like, you've done this before a lot, haven't you? I was like, yeah, you know, it, it's, it sucks, but what are you going to do, right? And he's like, you know, if you think you can take it, like, 
you know, a, a lot of the discomfort a lot of people have is because, you know, having to, um, having to, uh, inject the needle itself and wait for the numbing agent and, you know, like, it really hurts and we could just skip it if you think you can. And, and, and I, when I say that, it makes it sound like a little confrontational. It wasn't whatsoever. It was more just the guy being like, hey, this will suck. I think I even mentioned it as a joke. That I was like, yeah, if there's a way we could just, like, get it done, get it over with, I'd take it. Just because, you know, I didn't want to be there. I had to drive an hour to get there. And, da, da, da. and he's like, we can do that if you're okay with it. And I just, just kind of looked at him. I was like, you serious? He's like, yeah, just, uh, you know, off record. I was like, okay. And um, I was like, yeah, let's do it. And yeah, he's just like, all right, well, take off your shoe. And he's like, oh, that's that. Yeah, that's a pretty bad ingrown toenail. All the ingrown toenails I've had, or at least the majority of them, I should say, rather, have all been bad enough that I had to go to the doctor. Like, I would try to do surgery myself, and it worked for a little bit, but eventually I'd, I'd just have to go. Ooh. And, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the guy took what was effectively a Dremel tool. So, or, I, I think that's the right term. Michelle, correct me if I'm wrong. You're the hardware guy. You know, tiny little disc on a little thing. You know, as fast as possible. He's like, all right. You know, grab onto something. Grab your leg. Hold it down. Make sure it doesn't, like, move. We don't want to catch skin. And I'm like, of course, of course. And he just cranked that shit. And it was agonizing. It was freaking aw. It, it sucked trying to walk out of the hospital. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I think this underground transport is actually perfect. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, the underground transport, it'll take us down there. Uh, there's one purple, we'll do that, and we'll explore, and we'll figure out where to go from there. But, um, he was just like, you know, he was like, you just get ready, let's do it. And I was like, alright, let's do it. And, um, he just cranked on it, and it was basically like out of a torture movie. There was a lot of blood. There was a lot of like me going like, ah, ah, you know, like because there wasn't anything to block the pain, so I was just so, so I was feeling it. And then once he cut it enough, he had like the uh, like the fingernail clippers that were like vertical instead of like horizontal, and he like reached in enough and like you know kind of like made some room. And then he was able to clip it just enough that he was able to yank it out and then clip the rest of it. And it was, man, <laughs> it was, it was, it was not fun. But as much as it was not fun and as much as I did not enjoy it, he got it done. He got it done quick. You're know, like, he, you know, he told me the situation. He's like, it's going to suck, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it taken care of quickly. And lo and behold, the man did not lie. We got it taken care of quickly. Oh, shit. It looks like a, oh, ass. I, I I don't got I don't got too many more missiles, so I can't like play that game for too long. Also, if I remember correctly, there's like a lot of really big dangerous fish in here. We have a lot of health, but we need to save the missiles. So that's a bummer. Did did you tell you did you tell that he did not lie? I think I joked to him about it afterwards. I was like, jeez, you weren't kidding. He's like, well, you know. You're like, hey, did it quick. That was the goal, right? You handled it well. I was like, thanks, man. Fuck. <laughs> well, like, I didn't swear, but it's just like, shit. He's like, hey, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Wrapped it up. Gave me some stuff that, uh, it was a specific cream. The guy was, like, pretty laissez-faire with, like, yeah, obviously, I'm not going to say his name. A, like, A, because I don't remember it, and B, because I don't want to write him out. But he's like, yeah, so the VA will not give you this, but this shit will help you. And he just gave me some kind of topical cream and worked out great. And I was like, ah, yeah, I really appreciate it. Oh, that's right, that's right. You have to use you have to use the little bowl thing. I was like, oh well, thank you, you know, I really appreciate it. He's like, yeah, no problem, go to help. <laughs> you know, if they ask for a review, leave me a good review. I was like, I will. I will I will leave you a good review. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> what he did not give you a sucker? No, no sucker, unfortunately. The bastard. It's because it's the military, you're not allowed to have fun. 505 Yelp review. <laughs> Pretty much. That was my reaction. I was just like, wow. That went to... Because, like, isn't that, like, a lot of the time what everyone wants when they, like, do hospital shit? They just want to be in and out. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, where am I going to get rockets? Oh, no. I don't, th I don't think I'm going to be able to do it now. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Okay, maybe I can, like, kill one of these guys. Wow. Holy shit. 
Um, oh, please, 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 please. Yes. Okay. Okay. Try number two. Shit. Okay. Got them all locked. What the fuck? That's so annoying. What the fuck? I did it right. I. Stupid. Okay, so we're just gonna. Oh, oh, there's a, there's another guy down there. Well, too late. Okay, hopefully these little floating bastards, which I know explode, like painfully, drop like. Yeah, that's what they do. Does that have fun? Alright, um, I know, hopefully they're like infinite and we can like. Okay, health is good. Yeah, hopefully they're infinite. We can kill them at like a little bit of a range. Get some more missiles. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I, th I think they are infinite. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ow, okay, that was a lot bigger range of poison than I thought it was. Okay, let's just uh, not sand underneath them. Turns out poisonous gases are heavy and they fall. Alright, uh. But yeah, like. I don't know, like, I, I think about that, like, with a lot of surgeries. That, like, man, if I could just get in, get it done, get out, I'd be happy. And it's like, well, I went in, I did it, I got it done. I'm in excruciating pain, but you know what? The man did not lie. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, Joe, probably just like you. I, like, I had to, like, limp out a bit, and some people are like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Of course, it's my right and not my, uh... If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. It was my right and not my left. So, like trying to drive and like it hurts so it's like okay either a i try to switch feet or b i just suck it up and i sucked it up and it's like oh god this sucks but um i could tell many a gross toenail story but i figure not everyone wants to hear those okay bunk thank you that took way longer than i feel like it should have but i was still in school so my mom drove ah okay yeah, some some of mine were in a some of mine were in high school, some of mine were in the military, and then some like afterwards. Okay, I, Jay, I forget. Stop me if I told this story before. Um, I will t I will tell one real quick. So, in boot camp, which I was in a shortened version of boot camp as an experiment, and frankly, thank you God that I was. Um, oh. Oh shit. <gasps> Sup, bitch, I'm back. Bet you didn't expect to see my toad ass here. You maniacally laugh. I love it. Did that do anything for you? <laughs> you, li you like that shit? I just walked in, made fun of your bitch ass, and left. Uh, Max, aren't you going to take... Uh, bomb slot detected in statue. Bring statues... Oh, okay. I was gonna, what about that giant thing that's like running at you? I'm not worried about it. Oh, anyhow, boot camp. So, uh, so in boot camp, I, uh, oh, ah, damn. Oh, I actually killed that one. I didn't, I didn't even realize that I did. Um, boop. Okay, we're just gonna shove a super missile down this thing's throat. Pop! But, uh, oh, perfect. Excellent. But uh, yeah, so during boot camp, I developed, uh, I developed an uh, uh, ingrown toenail, which sucked. But I kind of had like a problem with it. I knew from other people, or rather just from witnessing other people, if they got stuck with insert whatever affliction, and I mean that when I say that, insert whatever affliction that, um, Okay, let's see where this let's see where this goes. Um, insert whatever affliction, right? That they would be put in medical, and there was a decent to good chance that they would be held back for a week or so and have to stay for longer in boot camp on account of having to, you know, go do like medical stuff. And in my little heart of hearts, I said, "Fuck that! I ain't doing nothing." Okay, a uh, new Lauren tree has been downloaded. Oh, let's read this real quick. We developed crystals that brought the light of Aether to the Dark World. Using these crystals allowed our warriors to explore the enemy lands, to bring war to the Ing. Sadly, the crystals weren't strong enough. We need stronger weapons. 
We withdrew from Dark Earth while Greatest Minds advised to engine support. Cool. But, um... Yeah, I was like, fuck that. The last thing I want is to spend any more time here, because it's boot camp. It sucks. Like, well, it's designed to suck. I never said it wasn't. I was going to say, you undulating on me, boy? <laughs> boy, you undulating? Hmm. I feel like later on, if I get a puzzle, uh, later on, if I get some kind of, some kind of something that's going to let me do super jumps, there might be a secret or two there. But, um, where am I by the, oh shit. <laughs> it was like, oh, wow. Oh, perfect that I went the way that I did or else I would have hit that and been like, motherfucker. So, uh, perfect. A little bit of a glitch there, but what else? Um, yeah, so I was like, fuck that. And so I just started to develop more and more of an ingrown toenail. And it got pretty bad. And, um... Okay, so there's a portal thing there. I hesitate in jumping into the portal just because... What hit me? What hit me? Um... Yeah, so I, I was basically just like, fuck that. Yo, I, I am not staying here any more time than I have to. This place sucks, and I hate it. And um, so I just kind of dealt with it. Did all my running, did all my exercise, did all my marching, did all my everything. Just to the best of my ability, despite my affliction. Boink. I really don't need that many missiles. Keep forgetting that. And, um, it was getting pretty bad, and I had to switch out socks a lot, and it hurt like a bitch, but you know what? Did what I had to, right? Afterwards, at A school, I went to ITA school, so that's in Pensacola, uh, Florida, and, um, oops. And I was like, hey, you know, like, my first week or so there, uh, you know, my toe was still hurting, but I, I kind of got, like, used to it after a while. I was like, hey, I'd really like to go to medical to, like, get this, you know, to get this taken care of. And, um, oh, hang on, let's, uh, let's read this real quick. What, cra what craven savages of the, the ink trapped in the catacombs, no chance to escape. I fought them till last. I watched them feed upon their dead. I heard them pressing lesser the number into the front ranks that my blast would take them. At least their leader stood against me in battle. He was a foe worthy of a Luminoth warrior. Oh, he's a foe worthy of giving me a freaking water suit. Okay, so there's the black portal there. There's the portal downstairs. What the fuck is that? is in vault oh a mix of light oh that might be our next upgrade okay so we can't get to that one i don't think i can scan it oh it's lore it's not we are not prepared to fight a long war the force of the enemy outnumbers our fast we sought a way to end the war quickly without extending copy decided to build a device to recover our lost planetary energy for darker wow so from that description right there that would suggest that they started it Know what I mean? Like, yeah, we take we take their energy and then they can fuck off. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely uh, we're gonna get the gravity suit, and uh, we're gonna bunch our way through. But um, yeah. So in A school, I was like, hey, I like to get you know, cause it was get it was getting bad enough where I was having a problem walking. I had to limp. I was marching. It was bad, and um, they were like, all right, fine, you know, petty off or Steven Pink about the time. Steven Pink was being a wuss, like, sure, we'll give him to medical. And they did. And, um, they took me to medical, and I freaked out the nurse. For reference, like, you know, if my thumb is my big toe, it was, like, three to four times the size. It was pretty big. And, um, the nurse, like, you know, I just took off my shoe. I was just sitting there just hanging out. And, um, you need current missiles? That's exactly what they apply. But, um, it got to, like, yeah, three or four times the size. Uh, God, I told it, I never went to sick call, and I must never said, but when, when fuck this, you just suffered through the whole cold or whatever it was I had. <laughs> yep. You, me, a lot of guys. It's just, it's boot camp, man. It sucks. You just sit there and suffer. And you shouldn't sit there and suffer. It's bad for your health, man. It's boot camp. Do what you gotta do. I get it. Oh, I forgot. I can see my face. I love that. But, um, it was so bad 
the size of my uh, ingrown toenail that the nurse freaked out. It was just like, oh, oh my goodness. You're like, what in the world? Like, you know, you know and then like, um, how do you feel right now? It's like, how do I feel? And they're like, yeah, how do you feel right now? And I was like, I mean, I'm in pain, obviously, but like, I'll live. Well, it's freaking weird because I was cold outside in 90s. I mean, oh yeah, that's that's pneumonia now. Right? <laughs> it was like, it was like, well, hold on. No, that's pneumonia. That is pneumonia. <laughs> okay, uh, looks like there's like one more that we actually have to get to before we can like activate this shit. So we could try to get into there, and that will probably get us to it. Now we did unlock one of the paths. I don't know which one though. So let's see if we can. But, um, yeah, so the nurse brought in, like, three or four other nurses and a lieutenant, which is, like, you know, like, pretty much a doctor. And they were all just staring at my toe, and they're like, can, are you okay with us taking pictures? You know, so we can, like, they basically, I don't know if they ever went through with this. Golly, I hope they did, because it'd be funny. Um, you know those pictures that they have that are basically, like, uh, Wait, hold on. Oh! Perfect! This actually works out. Ow. Fuck off. <laughs> Just fuck off. Fuck off. I think these are the baby versions of the one things. I didn't actually read their little oracle. But, um, you know the pictures they have where it's like, when the machinery says to take off your ring, you take off your ring, or you get, like, de, uh, like, skinned and... Which would you be trust if you're this sick in summer? Good answer. Oh, shit. Uh, I like that it like, lets it slide back if you like misstep it or mistime it or like do one more. That's what I'm trying to say. I like that a lot. But, um. I'd be depressed, dude. But, um. What was I saying? Oh, wait. Symbolism. We had to use dark for all the doors. Now we have to use light. Oh, if that's what they're actually going for, that's that's really cool. But, um... What was I saying? Uh, yeah, so they brought in a whole bunch of, like, different lieutenants and stuff. And were basically, like... Like, just taking pictures because they wanted to use my toe as an example. You know, for whenever, uh... When, whenever there's, like, you know, please, you know, talk to your bar, bar, bar to make sure this doesn't happen to you. They just want to show, like, the worst case scenario because my toe was, like, the worst case scenario. Like, you know, short of having to cut it off kind of a thing. And I'm just, I'm just sitting there chilling. I thought it was hilarious. So I was just, I was just letting them do whatever. Uh, I don't have anything that can break Denzium. It's bullshit. This is why you take care of your feet. Pretty much. Like that, like you say that as a joke, but that is ex oh the grapple beam. Yeah, I don't got the grapple beam shit. Luminophilia is device same with the spinner system. Oh perfect. We'll fuck it up real quick. Something's in the water. Bitch. Ah, that that one's not being fun. Alright, well. I still don't got anything to do with uh, that, so let's just read this real quick. <laughs> That's what the capture was above the picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know it. You know it. Oh, oops. Uh, I hit the wrong button. In time, the ink began to possess Luminoth as well as creatures. Friends and families became the enemies, spilling Luminoth blood across the land. Desperate, we devised shielding to prevent ink possession. It was effective, but not perfect. Should the shielding fail, all Luminoth were prepared to self-terminate rather than become a weapon for the ink. Damn. But, um... Yeah, so they took pictures, and then I forget if they needed me to wait one day for whatever for whatever dumb reason, or if um, power can be restored. Oh, I bet I bet if you shoot it, you can, like restore it. Uh ah, damn it! Oh wait, portal, 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 portal. Where's the portal? portal where's the portal you've got to be kidding me son of a bitch how do i get that shit down if i can get that shit down i can i can do this room 
Ah, oh, damn it. Do I need do I need to go to the dark? Oh no, that's probably what they want me to do. They probably want me to go to the dark side, hop into the one portal, and then come back here so I can unlock this. Like shit. Oh my goodness. How do I flip you over? Shoot light crystal on lower surface to flip the pad over. Oh. Designed to confuse ink. It's working on me. Hold on. Uh -oh. Uh, why isn't it working? Shoot light crystal on Lord to flip the pad over. Is this not? Uh. Weird. The photo's still- I hope it is! I, like, I genuinely hope it is. But, um, yeah, I forget they had me, like, wait a day, or if, um... Or if, you know, they, like, came by pretty instantaneously. But, yeah, I basically just had to go off and do that shit. And I thought it was hilarious. I was all... I was laughing. Like, and they, like, they were all, like, worried. And they are like, oh, you know, do you need anything? Do you need, you know, do you need any, like, medication? Or da 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 They were, like, they were, like, really con Oh, wow. Uh, okay, game. Okay, game. Tell me where I need to go, asshole. I'm working towards it. Ugh. Damn it. Like, uh, at least I'm going in the right direction. At least I don't have to, like, leave the whole area. It's just the game's like, man, he's taking his sweet ass time. He must be a bitch. And he's like, shut the fuck up, man. I'm working on it. It's like, I don't know. Kind of seems like you're being a little bit of a little bit of a bitch. That's what I'm trying to say. Just a little bit. Please lower the one great. Please lower the one great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Kick ass. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm taking so fucking long to move through. It's only fucking water. But, um... Yeah, I was happy. I was giddy as a schoolgirl. The moment that, uh, the moment that they, like, cut it out and everything, and they're, like, you know, pressing the pus out and stuff, and they're, like, you know, they're telling me all this stuff, and I was just sitting there just happy to be alive. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just felt good about life. That's concerning. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, you're dumb. Oh, whoa. Okay, maybe I should actually scan you guys. Oh, uh, I have shield shields right now. Okay. Dar uh. Oh, able to phase in and out of time space. Okay, so it's not. Do it's not doing anything particularly special. It's just. Uh, it's just. It's just badass, and it can uh, short circuit me. Which is great. Boop, boop. Oh my goodness! I'm freaking annoying. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, you know, I feel like a light's supposed to like kill you guys really quickly. Ah, yeah, they like they show up just long enough for uh they show up like just long enough to fire off their Oh my goodness. Asshole. Okay. Fuck this. Alright, can I buy oh nope, that's a shield. Alright. Oh, they, their assholes did their ass just left fuck those guys but um yeah sorry i that, that was that was a long story but that that is my gross tony story i hope everyone enjoyed it i enjoyed it not the actual process of getting the toe ripped out but um just finally having it out is it is painful as i'll get out but it's such a liberating feeling Okay, so what what am, what am I doing with this? Oh, that's right, wrong button. Boop. Boop. What are you trying to what are you trying to get this to? No idea. But I'm hoping that's where I move the actual beam, and that'll do something in the real world, if not here. Now can't get into that yet and it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else for me to go so 
Well, if I wanted to reclass into the MOS I thought about, I would have to go to the schoolhouse for 14 months. Oh, God. I don't, that's something I've honestly, like, thought about. Like, would I go back to the military? And, um, as a part of, you know, politics aside of current administration, which I'm not happy with whatsoever, or the weird politics being forced into the military, right? That's being used as a kind of a breeding ground for different ideologies in a way that's not actually, like, a conducive to a military, you know, usefulness, maybe a combat readiness, if you will. But, um... I don't know, I thought about it. But the thing is, they'd want me to do boot camp again. They'd want me to do, like... Oh, shit. They, they would want me to, like... You know, they'd probably, like, take away my rank and make me work for it. And, like, they would mess with my, uh... They would mess with my qualifications. Yeah, exactly. And on one side, like... I get it. I get it. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I understand. You want me to... You want me to redo da, 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 because you want to make sure that like I know what I'm doing and that I'm physically fit and like da 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 da. But jeez, you know it would just suck. It'd be miserable. And I know like on one side you'd be like, but Max, you've already done it once, so therefore it, it should be a breeze. You should be more disciplined. You should be able just to rock right through it, right? Sure. Oh come on. But also. I could see it sucking even more so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, like just double the suckitude. I, I could, I could just, I could just, in my mind. Okay, so we got that going, which is great. Uh, magnetic, magnetic rail system, which is meant for a spider climb. Yeah, you know, you know, they'd make me do it all again, and it would just, it, it, it would be hateful. And I, I don't want to do it. Also, probably they wouldn't pay me enough. We'd have to figure out, like, how to get Megan out there. Once again, the politics of, like, whatever I'd be doing. Oh, are these things, like, infinite? I think the idea is supposed to be that I don't kill any of them. Yeah, I just need to, like... I just need to, like, move through without, without disturbing them. Granted, you know, now that I know different secrets about the military, depending on where I get stationed. Oh, gall. If they were like... Okay, obviously, there'd be a lot of things I'd be giving up. But if they were like, hey, we're going to station you in Japan, do the same job you did before. I... I would be hard-pressed to say no. You know what I mean? Because Japan, the way that you can get, like, a lot of money, the da 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 Oh. So that's a little better, at least. Yeah. But still, you have to do basic again. I mean, granted, the boot camp people, like uh, the RDCs or whatever they're called. I imagine if they, if the RDCs know you've been through boot camp before, like, they'll still, like, they're not going to go easy on you, but they're going to go easier on you. Because, you know, like, a, a big part of boot camp, for those of you who don't know, is they need to psychologically break you. You know what I mean? Like, it's it sounds horrible and cruel and twisted to say that. But yeah, to a certain extent, they have to psychologically break you. So that that way they can mold you and, you know, make sure you're willing to listen to orders and obey stuff and da da da. Oh no, there's no individualism. Well, a lot of it comes down to you just need to get the job done. And, you know, sometimes there isn't time to ask questions and like, do I personally like that? No, but... He handed them a fold and he went, oh, shoot. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But, um, yeah, like, to a certain extent, they just, they have to break you. And, you know, if you cannot mentally handle that, then you're not fit for duty. A big, po oh, God, this is a boss fight if I ever saw it. All right, let's go. What's this button? Oh, shit, I missed. I feel like this is going to go really poorly, really quickly. But, um, that is funny, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, they we need to make sure you're, like, fit for duty and ready to for action and ready to obey orders and da 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 Magnetic rail system. Oh, son of a bitch. Are we going to get the spider ball? I always get things in not the right order that I think I would. Oh, look at that. 
But, um... Yeah, so I imagine if you already went through boot camp once, there'd be a certain amount of them just kind of looking at you and being like, Yep. <gasps> host. Don't take this away from me. Do not set. Okay, good. I was like, do not, do not summon some Twilight bullshit to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, I got a little... Ooh, it makes me almost look like the uh, Chozo. Ooh, ooh. Sexy. Uh, is it functioning? <laughs> I know. Dill. Uh, while underwater, press B to jump. While moving, press B again. Press all after that. Just slowly rise to the wall. <gasps> is it full mobility? Is it full mobility in the water? Cause ooh. Oh wait. Oh shit. Well, you got your toy. Oh shit. Okay. Are gonna put me in a blender? Oh, that's not that bad. That's pretty bad. Look at you. I imagine I'm gonna solve you the same way I solved the others. Let's see. Immense blog pack leader. Water with fire. Some it has all strengths and weaknesses. It has all the strengths and weaknesses of its brethren. Good to know. Boop. Yeah, just uh. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can convince it to rush me. Bonk. Oh, that, that, that didn't actually do that much. Oh, shit. Sh 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 Bonk. Ah, damn. There's like no good way to do that without taking a hit. And I think he knows it. You know he's gonna get. His butt is gonna get. Okay, we got. We got piss him off. We got piss him off. Okay, I don't think it's gonna reach him. Wrong way. Ah, damn it. Okay, come on. Damn it. Okay. Ah, come on. Oh, there's. Oh, there's not a good way to do this. I'm losing health fast. I'm trying to, like, trick him into, uh... I'm trying to, like, trick him into hitting the wall instead of me. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Oh, no. Mm. All right, defense, defense, defense. Oh my goodness, bullshit. I'm like slowly rising up. Oh, it's only temporary. Son of a bitch. Uh, we might lose a lot of progress. Oh, you faked me out. Mm, this is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. Son of a bitch! Oh my goodness. Do you know how much we're gonna have to redo now? Unless the game's really cool about it. And I don't think the game's gonna be really cool about it. Okay, well, they would ask him, let's see. They asked him. They would ask him, let's see. And the drill started to be honest. Let's see. They would ask him what he would do differently than he would punch him. They were asking him what he would do because he had way more experience than they did. By the time he retired the second time, he rose up to make a first search. And here we see Max landing on the planet. Ugh. Honestly, yeah. Shit. Oh my goodness. This fucking blows. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. We are so far back. And what sucks is that there wasn't really that many save spots. Like, oh, Max, you should have. Oh, fuck my life. Okay, hold on. Um, is this the right way to go? Yeah, because we basically have to. Yeah, okay. Damn it. 
Yeah, because basically we have to go in here. God, that is heartbreaking. But, um... There, like, was not really any safe spots there. Like, around. It wasn't like there was one right before it that we could have, like, gone into. Like, jeez, we're gonna have to sit here and do this all again. At least now I know, like, exact, like, that, for example. So we don't have to waste time with that. So, you know, that's positive, I guess. We don't have to sit here and waste, like, there's, there's all sorts of just things I can think of now that's, like... We don't have to waste our times doing that. We don't have to waste our times doing that. I don't have to sit here and be like, okay. I don't have to sit here and be like, you know, let's read this lore. And I'm just gonna, just for sake of like the log book. Okay, so this is, this is the first one. So now I, now I know which one I can sit here and spin. Okay. Oh, okay, so you're, you're good. Okay, then I think you're the second one. That, that's the fourth one. Okay. We'll, we'll just scan this real quick. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. You're the second one, then. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, so. So that's good. Let go of me. I'll just scan that real quick. You're number three. So then we'll go. Okay, and then we'll just like let go of that. I really hope I didn't get this like magically wrong somehow. Like, I'm pretty sure this is how they want us to do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. And then let's see what we got. This is the four statue. Son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? I did accidentally do it the right way. Oh my, I don't even know how I did it the right way the first time. Oh my god. Okay, so I need to do number two. Nope, oh, that's not it. Damn, I did figure out the right way the first time. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna fuck with that one. Because it's glowing, so Hold on. Okay, go. I was gonna say like son of a bitch. Oh my goodness. That one fight though was rough. Like I know okay, obviously they gave me like the uh Okay, I'm trying to Okay, skip cutscene. I, I, I don't know if I'll let... Oh! I like that it actually does let me skip it a little bit. Even if it's only like saving a few seconds, like it's still nice. You know what I mean? It's nice that they let me do that. Alright, um, spinner unit offline, okay, okay, now I can do that, walk like I own the place, okay, next up is, we, do we want to get the dark burst again? Yeah, we probably do, okay, so we need to get to Torvus Bog, which is taking a right, okay, oh, this is gonna take a little bit, sorry everyone. What gets me also is that, like, I, it's not even like I did that much damage to the creature. Like, it seemed like there's only one real way to attack it, especially because, like, lack of mobility options. You know, like, oh, but you had you had the jetpack, so that's good, right? Well, not exactly, because it didn't give me... It didn't give me perfect mobility like the gravity suit normally does. It instead gave me shitty mobility that I can sometimes go up and down. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it gave me. It gave me a little woof, a little fart cloud to rise up in. It's like, eh, I don't need that. 
Give me the ability, you know, give me, do what you do in literally every other Metroid game. Give me the ability just to jump. That like, you know, going into the water is like not different at all. Like that, that's what I'm used to, damn it. But Max, it's different, that's a good thing. You're right, but shut up. That's basically how I think about that. It's like, you're correct, but I don't appreciate it. So yeah, now we gotta you know, march our happy asses. Well, at least now, you know, hey, let's talk upside down sides. That's right, we have to still go this way. I just did a nice little twirl. I hope you guys like it. Hey, upside down sides. Yeah. We know exactly where we're going and exactly what we're doing. Something. We're not going to sit there and be like, what do I do here? Like, we'll know, like, hop in the water. Hit both the plat, hit both the plat, uh, the, the bottom platforms with the uh, spiky things. You know, hit hit them both with dark specifically to get back on them. Jump into uh, jump into the one thing. Hit the switch. You know, jump to the one thing. Hit the switch. Go into the shadow realm. Ignore the grenadiers. Just get to the other side. Move the thing. Hop back out. Go back to the actual world. <laughs> get to that one bottom area. And this time, when we get there, instead of hopping down and dying, we'll look around for a bit and we'll actually see about. We'll act, uh, you know, we'll like look around for a save point and then we'll hop down and uselessly die. That way I don't have to redo an hour. We lost an hour. Blah. Ugh, that was awful. That's fine though. Alright, um. Okay. Alright, Max, where do you have to go? Uh. That's right, yeah, because if we want. We want the dark beam. Yeah, we're gonna have to. I mean, do you want the dark pulse thing? I imagine, like, if I if I blast the dude with the dark pulse, like that has to do like a crazy amount of damage, right? No way they would just give me the dark pulse and it would just be fucking useless, right? Right? They'd never do that. They'd never hand me a weapon that is like ultimately obsolete. That'd be that'd be such a dick move, right? Yeah, of course. They they never they would never they would never do that to me why would why, why would they why would you even insinuate that like no of course no, no. of course they'd make sure whatever weapons i get are like useful and great of course hopefully they want to sit there and grind for rockets trying to figure this shit out right. i mean i'm not gonna be wasting i'm not gonna be wasting all my rockets trying to I'm not going to be wasting all my rockets trying to kill the Grenadiers. Or... Heck, or the one guys who try to kill me when um, when I get the Dark Burst. I'll just ignore them. There's no, re there's no reason for me to kill them. Oh, nope. Shh, 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 shh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. say everyone thank you so much for watching i hope this is entertaining yes i'm being a little bit of a grouch right now but that's because we fucking die ah! oh um assuming it's still on we'll check right before the uh we'll check right before the allotted time of uh, shiny trash panda does minecraft on mondays we'll probably see about joining them you know like once the once the crack of nine hits you know nine my time we'll uh We'll see if we can get to a good, satisfying stopping point, and then we'll, then we'll hop over. We'll hang out. It'll just be nice, chill Minecraft times. Probably just chatting stupid. God, all the games I play involve exploring caves. Like, I, I joked about this to Megan that, like, um... That it's like, well, I'm gonna be playing a game where I'm a boopsy girl, uh, gaining weapons through different cavernous areas, exploring, you know, Doing platforming puzzles and just like exploring for treasures, being attacked by the local wildlife, trying to find different treasures, you know, treasures and artifacts and stuff in order to save the world. And fun fact, I'm describing both, uh, both uh, Metroid and Tomb Raider. <laughs> like I literally, by saying that, I'm describing both games. You know, just one girl is blonde, <laughs> one girl is blonde, the other girl's brunette. <laughs> Which one you think is hotter is up to you. 
preference at that point. I'm biased towards Samus, but that's just me. Yeah, it, it, it is pretty funny to me that, um, it is pretty funny to me that I am essentially playing two very similar games in concept, you know what I mean? That, like, obviously they're not the same kind of game, there's a, there's much different gameplay, but, or, that's, that's not good grammar, but you know what I mean, like, the, the, there's definitely a noteworthy gameplay difference between the two of them, but it's close enough, I guess I could have just done the one thing and just jumped down, but well. There's, like, definitely enough similarities that it's noteworthy. Oof. There you go. Alright, we know the answer to this puzzle, so no need to worry about it. It's pretty easy. Step one... Uh, let's just, uh, if I'm just gonna scan these real quick, just for sake of, just for sake of the logbook. And yep, let's just, like, walk over, make sure that's set up and good to go. It's set up and good to go. Alright, so that starts to spin. Got a limited amount of time to play. Alright, uh, Shkadunka. Thank you. And Shkadunka. Perfect. Smashes through that shit. And locks very nicely into place. The ground. We'll scan just to make sure we didn't miss any lore. Any delicious lore. He was like, aren't you going to read that? And I'm like, heh, no. I read it in a different timeline. Woohoo! Shit balls. Woo! Woo! But yeah, now if Minecraft, since uh, the last time we did it, it was, uh, I did it off stream. So, you know, if you go to their, if you go to their VODs, you'll see me, like, talking to them and stuff. But, um, they were giving me a big old tour, and I asked very nicely. I was like, hey, you know, I'm not really interested in, like, building big giant houses like everyone else is. Is there just, like, a place you're cool with me digging? And they're like, what do you mean? And I was like, you know, just, like, a hole that I can dig in. And they said, sure, and they handed me a hole. And I said, great, and I just started digging, and that's what I was doing while I trying, so. That'd probably be more of the same. Nice, nice chill times. We, we all know. Now, do you remember what the deal is in here, Max? Uh, where's that platform? Then? Where's, where's? Oh, wait, that's right, that's right, that's right. There it is. Jump up here. Oh, that's right. That's the butthole. Ignore the butthole. I know how tempting it is. I know how tempting it is to focus on the butthole, but trust me, it'll just, it'll just work out for the better. Just ignore the butthole. You're the one bringing up the butthole. No, 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 just, 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 just trust me when I say this. Ignore the butthole. And poop. And that poops us right back up. Good stuff. Skip the cutscene. Oh, God, this is taking a while. Ugh. At least we didn't go to, like, other than getting this, uh... Other than getting this beam, there actually isn't that much stuff that, like, I went off to the side and I did this and forgot, oopsie put. you know what I mean? Like, it's all pretty, like, linear, which is a big help because the worst situation is when, like, you play these games and for whatever reason, you, like, lose progress. And then you lose track of what you have done and what you haven't done. And as a result, you kind of, like, even more so forget where you are or what exactly you're doing because you know like wait i've already done this well yeah but you haven't done it this run like that shit's the worst but now uh, but now since we're pretty dang linear i can just oh, just take my lumps and keep on 
fact, you guys are kind of damage boosting me up a little bit, so uh, thank you for that. I appreciate you, little bastards. Alright, um, you just, you just wait until I get my, my dumbass jump thing. Also, is the third gun really going to be the, uh, well, okay, so the one door, basically, you know, we saw a door that's like, well, a combination of light and darkness will open this door. I'm sitting there like, are we really gonna have, like, a door that's just both? Or, are we really gonna have a gun that's just both? Because that feels kind of lazy. Uh, straight but slightly down to the right. Got it. And I'd just like to point out the lack of savings. Us just running by. There's a. I think I have that one. A surprising lack of save rooms. Which means I'm gonna get my ass chomped again. But this time will be different because we'll make sure to for realsies find a save room before hopping down there. Because whatever time it takes to find a save room and to walk back from the save room is gonna be less time than if I die again. Next location is up here. All right. Oop, there you go. Oh, uh, jail. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it showed up on the Discord, but I did post something to Twitter, which I think you'll find interesting, cause um, or you'll you'll be happily entertained by. I need an opinion from you. So, uh, like so. I bought two games on Steam, and then immediately the uh, Steam Summer Sale started. <laughs> it wasn't for either of the games I bought, so thank goodness. But, um, else I would have been punching myself. But, um, uh, you were asking about Amnesia the Dark Descent, right? Or Amnesia Bunker, right? I did buy Bunker between, uh, I believe it was you, but I could be wrong if, if I am, I apologize. Uh, between you and Spook. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I think what we'll do is we'll do, uh, we'll play it after, uh, do, you know, try to keep up on the hype. We'll play it after we finish Tomb Raider. Yeah, we'll play Amnesia the Bunker, which I watched the trailer again, and I forgot, like, in a lot of ways, that game reminds me of Alien Isolation in a good way. That it's not so, like, it's it's you and one monster. And, um, I know I asked what the game was about. Oh, okay. I, I, I apologize. I, I apologize if I got that wrong. But, um, that's right, yeah, because you missed the, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit, did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way because we actually need to go down. But, uh, yeah, it's a new game that came out, I want to say, like, last week. So, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty new. And, um, so the base premise of the game, okay, so the, the other Amnesia games... It's, it's a lot of Eldritch Horror, it's a lot of, like, things that make you go insane just by looking at them kind of a deal. And, um, the Red, Red Rust is the one who originally got me on playing the first one. And it was a six-hour game, we did it in one stream. And I liked the game for about half of it. And then I got really sick of it because it was reusing a lot of the same mechanics, it was just, like, it was just stressful and annoying for sake of being stressful and annoying. And I just got really sick of it really quickly. And, um, uh, since then, like, I mean, uh, they've been out for a long time, but there, there's Machine for Pigs, there was Soma, there was, okay, so, real quick. <gasps> okay, so there's a save point at the very top. Awesome. Great. That's good. Okay. I didn't think I need a save point, but here we fucking are. But, um, jump, boop, just do that, just so it, it, nothing doesn't do anything else. But, um, yeah, it just seemed like, they just seemed like really fun, or sorry, um, well, I, because, I liked Amnesia, but the, uh, it just, it just killed the fun for me, and, oh, I love that, <gasps> so this is the energy of Dark Samus going through, I'm like, bitch, get back here, and that bitch is like, Fuck you. And then she just like yoinks out and now I gotta kill these things. Fucking die. Okay, 
time. Fuck you, how's that? Oh, come on. Bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, how's that? Fuck you. But, um... Oh, there's also was a... I think it's called Amnesia Rebirth, which is like their soft reboot as well that came out. I haven't played any of them, but I've seen some playthroughs of some of them. Not all of them, just some of them. And, um, you know, they seem fun. But Bunker is, a, is you are a soldier, I don't know from what country, in a World War I bunker. And you're isolated for whatever reason. You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Uh, Spooky started a playthrough of it, but I didn't watch it. Instead, I just kind of asked her, like, you know, hey, what are you thinking of the game? That kind of a thing. But, um... Oh, shit, there's, like, a giant machine in there. I can see it. Yeah, I asked her what she thought of it, and she said she really liked it. And I asked if it was, like, alien isolation. She's like, yeah, and like, you know, there's a lot of similarities. Because you're locked in this bunker. I don't know why, but there is one monster. Oh, and, like, the bunkers are, are connected to, like, trenches. And, um, there's one monster. Just one. And, um... It's your job to survive, and you have to do things like keep the lights on and da da da. But what's also interesting about the game, and what interested me specifically, is that you got a gun. Yeah, you actually had a gun against said monster. Uh, my controls are actually good for something. You actually get a gun against said monster. And I don't know how effective the gun is. I don't know if we're going to have. Rants similar to uh, Alien Isolation, <laughs> where like uh, you know they hand you a gun, but it's like worthless, and like you might as well not even have one. I don't know, to be honest. But it seems really cool, and um, they kind of show in the trailer that like, sure you have a gun, but you can use it to like bust open padlocks and the like. You know, like it's not just a weapon, or you know, an escape. But it's, um, it's also, like, a utility option, which I just thought was, like, so cool. Anyways, I'm excited about it. Uh, we'll probably play it. Yeah, we'll play it after Tomb Raider. And I, I just, I just wanted you to be aware of it. Sorry for rambling. Um, the thing I want to ask you was, the other game I bought was actually Street Fighter Six. I don't want to do World Tour. I, you know, the World Tour is, like, the, uh... World Tour is like the campaign mode where you make like a custom character and all I know about the plot is that you meet each of the different like Street Fighter characters in their own country and you like learn from them and you like do challenges. I heard it was like super grindy. I'm gonna be honest, I have zero actual interest in um, playing that game on stream. It just seems really grindy and like, here's a me thing and I'll acknowledge a me thing. I really don't like it. I, I get why a lot of games do this, but, like, I get really annoyed when games are, like, how do I put this? When it feels like fan fiction, you know when people write fan fictions and they have their, their, their self-insert OC and they're always, like, best friends with but somehow either equal to or stronger than whatever the main character is and, like, Oh, it's also a secret. Another, you know what I mean? Like that's what it felt like. That's like, do you want to run around the world and be best friends with characters that you enjoy hanging around, like Ryu, Kami, Chun Li, like Guile? Like, you know what I mean? Like that's just what it felt like. And the 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 more I like, I kind of looked into it. The more I was just like, wow, I am not interested in this at all. Did I go the wrong way? Son of a bitch. I did. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it, it just really did not seem that interesting to me. Plus, a lot of, um, what I see online about World Tour is people making custom characters or, like, I made Nightcrawler in, oh, we gotta, we gotta return back the way we came. Damn it. because uh, I went the wrong way. That's fine, that's fine. You know, like, um, the, well, okay. It's cool, it's just not my thing. Where, like, someone's like, I made, you know, by com combining these characters' moves and doing these visuals, I don't think I read or really watched a fanfic or something. If I did, I didn't know what it was based on, I thought it was really cool. I don't know. Fair enough. But, um... 
you know, people are making, like, custom characters that, uh, that's like, this character is like Magneto. This character fights like Sagat. This character, well, you know, like, Sagat is a Street Fighter character, but he's not in the Street Fighter game. And I was like, look, that's cool, but I'd rather just learn the actual characters that they have going for them. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Story, okay, so here, here's a game I haven't played, but I've watched some gameplay of it. Sonic Forces. Right, where you make a custom character and you and Sonic literally as a power-up hold hands in order to stop the bad guy in for whatever his name is, right? To me, that's just lame. You know what I mean? Like, it just, like, that's not fun. Like, why, why, like, but Max, don't you want to be your custom OC? Don't you want to be best friends with Sonic the Hedgehog? That's very clear. That's very cliche. Like, yeah, I just, I don't know. Those those kind of storylines annoy me. Like, I would, you know how Hogwarts Legacy, I kind of talked about how um, I was pretty happy that Hogwarts Legacy didn't involve, like, I'm best friends with Harry Potter, and we go to school together, and we're rivals, but really best friends and lovers. Like, it just gets weird. And it gets, like, hero worshipy. I'd rather just be, like, my own wizard that happens to be in the same world and if harry's there and like if harry's there fucking cool whatever i guess but i don't want to be involved with him i don't i don't, don't want to do whatever harry wants i want to do what i want i want to i want to explore the world myself the only series that made sense to me was in one of the movies for uh my hero academia well aren't there like a lot of um okay i've never i haven't played the uh I haven't played, like, the Dragon Ball Fighter games or, like, the Naruto Fighter games or, like, you know, I, I haven't played any of those. Actually, that's not true. I played, like, one of the uh, one of the Naruto ones once. But don't they do the same thing in those games where they're just kind of, like, where they're, like, look, it's you with your best friend, Naruto. Isn't that cool? You eat ramen together. Yes. Ha ha. Like, I know you're, like, I, I know people are probably, like, Max, why are, you, why are you putting that weird voice when you're, like, talking about this? Because it's what it feels like. It feels robotic. You know what I mean? And I'm just, I'm just not about it. Like, it, I just, it just does not gel with me. I don't think it's fun. It feels fan fiction-y. It feels like someone is, like, so unbelievably desperate for some kind of experience that they have to, like, forcibly insert themselves into it, into a fan fiction. Max, don't you regularly, you know, imagine what you would do as, like, a superhero or whatever? Fighting characters, your strategy, you imagine for yourself if you're in a... Yeah, sure, everyone does that. Fair enough. But, like, it feels weird as, like, a video game to do that. You know what I mean? But, Max, aren't all video games just a series of, like, playing pretend? Sure. But even then. You know? Am I an asshole? A little bit. I'll accept. I don't actually remember exactly how to solve this. Uh, there's that lore over there. That's pretty cool. Well, I see these fishes. Okay. Uh... But Max, you imagine yourself as a superhero all the time. Yeah, but I never said that's what I wanted. And that's because AFO is transferred by either hair split by anything as long as all at once transfer by either as long as that's actually. Okay, so remind me of, like, the My Hero Academia, which someday I'll actually watch lore. Like, re remind me on the lore of that, right? So someone gives you their hair, and they're like, eat this shit. And you're like, okay, sure. And you eat that shit. And good for you. You, you Good for you. You ate that shit. So, to, like, does the person who... Does the person whose power that is... Do they lose their power? Or is it like multiple people just have it now? Because could that could like get silly real quick? Damn it! Um, I genuinely forgot how to do this. Son of beach. I forgot how to. Do I I know I know that portal is the goal, but I don't think I actually have a. Ah, I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. Yeah, because all for... Yeah, it's all for one when you say AFO, right? Um... Did... Oh, no... Mm. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right, that's right. For some reason, I didn't register this as a switch. 
Yeah, because you hit this and it opens up the thing down there. So in the movie, Deku and the Baku grabbed hands and both had cuts over their hands and fighting. Baku got a boost along with Deku. Because they shared A's? Full turning? Max, it's not eight. Is it though? Kinda seems like Kinda seems like it's AIDS. Look at Max, no! Right, okay, it's AIDS and what else what else transfers from blood? HIV? No, I can I can be wrong about that. Kinda sounds like they're just giving each other AIDS. Just like it's not giving each other AIDS. But like you see where I'm coming from, right? Kinda seems like it's just giving each other AIDS. Also, do you like how they have like this cool, big, dramatic fight, and I'm just completely ignoring it? I hope everyone appreciates this shit. Okay, they're they're stacking me up. I just jumped in acid. I'm a genius. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's scan this. I don't care if I take some damage. Find control crystal. Fuck that. You wanna know what I'm gonna do? Leave. I know all my loss of strength, but he was already on his way out the door at the start of the enemy. Right, isn't that the thing? Yeah, that like normally he looks like Johnny Bravo, and then he like he gives ha like, you know, me with my zero knowledge, right? Deku does something that basically like makes him like, you know what? Uh, I'm looking for an heir. You did something selfless, and I'm proud of you. Therefore, I'm gonna entrust this ability to you. And everyone's like, "Fuck you, Deku! You didn't earn shit, bro." And he's like so strong, he like breaks himself. When it, like he's so strong he breaks himself with his ability kind of a thing because it's like his body like physically can't handle it it's some shit like that right because i know we've talked about it it's just been a little bit i've been catching up on youtube stuff admittedly so uh or admittedly grammar so uh i need to uh, i need to get back to watching an anime i think i said the next one i was gonna watch was uh was uh komi can't communicate which I know is like another slice of life, so it's like, what? Why? Why are you watching slice of life? Because they're funny. And they make you happy. What more do you need? Tomo-chan as a girl was a delight. Boop. Okay. So. It took... Okay. So I think we died at like an hour 10, and it's now an hour 50. So it took us 40 minutes... To get back. Okay. So this time, we are not going to immediately jump down there. Like, look, I know it's tempting, right? It's it's cool. It's beautiful. Like, we all we all want to go explore down there, right? We're not gonna do it. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me like I can't. Uh. Oh no 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 no. Don't tell me there's no way up. Don't tell me there's... Don't tell me there's no way up. If you tell me there's no way up, I'm gonna throw a hissy fit. I'm gonna cry like a bitch. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on, come on. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a way back up, please. Come on, come on. Can you let me in through this? Mm. Oh, that's a pisser. Okay, here's the deal. If I can't get back up for whatever dumbass reason, I will Google how to kill that monster as efficiently as possible. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I will cheat. Because fuck having to do all this. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I'm just stuck. Okay, okay. Wow. This blows. I mean, good thing they give me the fish. Like, right? There's like a swarm of fish that come through here that like I can shoot and get like a lot of shit. Which is good because we need a lot of health. Awesome, yep. Yep, that's the, that's the point of these fish. That's the point of these fish. That like it's a the this is your full heal or at least like enough of a full heal to make it work. Oh, what a pisser! Oh no! Oh no! Now! 
All right, I'm I'm so cheating. I everyone can sit there and complain all you want. All right, I'm not doing all that shit again. Okay, I'm not. All right. Also, by pressing and holding B, uh, after performing a space jump, it will slowly allow you to reach high platforms or now to travel back to exit to find a nasty welcome to main hatch. With the main hatch, the single open line of the alpha bug. No choice now, you must fight this thing and refer back to the boss guide for tips to send it on its way. Alright, so let's just uh, like that. Okay, Torvis! This fight, let's see. If one scores a hit, your visual board, you won't be able to fire for a few seconds. Keep the creature locked inside straight in front of you, see thanks to the gravity boost. Fire missile at the creature, grass into the lot more missiles at or a dark realm or dark beam blast when it starts you. Just don't be too eager. Make sure you get out of the way before it reaches you. You can also try to score a super missile hit. Well, yeah, this will sap a considerable amount of health for us, so try your best to so you'll lose it. Wow, so literally I was doing it the right way. I just, um, yeah, okay, great. So all might sell power, but you can only use the hard stick, but so you had to choose where and choose from as you go. He was hiring not the overall form of deep flight. It's funny that they say deep flight. Oh my goodness. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay. Play this time. Yep. Learn your lesson. What lesson am I learning? Um, don't fuck up. Also, don't be afraid to take this shit real slow. That was literally part of the guy that's just like, take it slow. Don't sit there and try to force it and think you'll win like you did last time where you lost. Like, sit there and take your damn time. Yo, you, you can't you can't just go in and do whatever. Okay, well, underwater, press B. This is the B button. To jump while moving, press B again. Press and hold B after that to slowly rise in the water. Also, I should know. I actually do move faster. I actually do move considerably faster in the water now. Like, let's look at the speed. I I am actually moving faster. So, let's get the gutsy. Let's get the gutsy. Okay. Take it slow. See, it's fine, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just pepper, we'll just pepper it. We'll just pepper it. We'll just pepper it. Give it plenty of room. Okay. I don't know why I fucked up on that earlier. Did so you know what? It's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ping, 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 ping. Yeah, it's like it's like normal shots don't really piss it off that much, but the missile shots do. Charge shots too, for that matter. Okay. Warning: Re remotes batteries are low. Shit. We'll ignore that for right now. Because uh, these games are usually pretty good about pausing. Oh shit, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, I just realized, um, it actually shows... Oh, shh, ow. At the top there, I, it's showing... Oh, I never noticed that! That like, if you... Oh, that's so cool! I never noticed that, if you lean up it does... Oh shit. That's so cool! Is that actually like, is that top bit like my battery? Where's my good now? Yeah, that's a waste. I'm sure. Okay, fine. Alright, uh, let's go on a small break actually. Now would be a good time to do that. Um, I'll go to the bathroom and I'll grab some batteries, right? We'll be right back. So, bloop.
All right, and we're back. Got myself new batteries, and look at the top, the very top there. It actually shows all four. So yeah, it does actually show the batteries. That is funny. All right. For those of you who are back with us, I'd like to say thank you all so much for watching. We're taking on the Alpha Bog, who I really like to fuck her off. Okay, thank you. All right, we need to make a suitable amount of distance as he tries to ram us, and we need to play this. Oh my goodness. We have to play this very slow, which sucks. But the alternative is he murders us like he did last time. So. Oh my goodness. You can see he takes, he takes chunks. So we're just trying to make, oh my goodness. Just, I just gotta stay on the ground. Damn it! I keep getting up into the air. I keep getting up into the air, and it's like fucking me up. Okay. No, I re oh, I really, really don't want to redo all of this again. I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness! Don't, you're gonna make me cry. You are actually gonna make me cry. There we go, okay. I don't know if that actually hurt it though. We're waiting for these. No. We're fucking it up and this is infuriating. We're gonna have to redo, we're in a bad position. Oh my goodness, no. No. Okay, nice and slow, nice and slow, come on. What sucks is you can't fire the... That was a bad idea. You can't fire the missiles until you get really freaking close. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> One more hit and I'm out. That was too, that was way too early. That's the other thing that sucks about it. I don't think any of those counted. I don't know if I'm actually doing damage. I also have no idea if it's like low key, a strategy to um, try to launch into one of the fans. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> so now we gotta redo all that shit again. Because what we didn't realize... What we didn't realize from the first time doing it was that when you actually no shit unlock... When you actually, oh, when you actually no shit unlock the way to um, get to that boss, it locks off. So this makes me mad. It locks you off from getting to the save point. Yeah, it locks you off from getting to the save point. So, if you're having a little bit of a hard time with this boss, like I am, get fucked. I didn't realize that the first time, and I realized it too late the second time. That is so...
And now I gotta figure out this puzzle again. I know I got I gotta I gotta go around. I gotta go around and scan everything. And I just gotta just gotta scan scan this. Really wish the scanning thing was a little faster. Cause now it's just pissing me off. Oh, that is so infuriating. That is that is such a beginner trap thing. Is just absolutely infuriating. Okay. Okay. What also sucks is I don't actually know if. I'm just going to assume that's right, because fuck if I know if it is or not. Oh, that's right. It glows white when it's in the correct position. Right. So technically right now, none of them are in the correct position. Awesome. Because my theory before was you go like that, but no. Now I gotta. Okay, so that's in the correct position. So now I gotta go over here. Not that one, because that's in the correct position. None of those are in the right position. Okay, awesome. So the center one is in the right position. Which means if I'm lucky... Okay, not that one. Please be in the right position. Okay, great. Oh my goodness. That is such a beginner's trap thing. And that's why I'm sitting here being all pissy. Like, because that's what it feels like. If it, it feels like I was trapped. And if this was a situation where they, like, auto saved me right before it, so I could sit there and try against the boss multiple times, I wouldn't be complaining for a second. I'd be like, all right, fine, whatever. You know, no big deal. You know, let's go again. Let's actually like sit down, and learn this fight. I I wouldn't care whatsoever. But because it puts me in a situation where I am not like fully prepared, and it takes me, it took me an hour and twenty minutes to get there last time, or sorry, the first time. <clears throat> it took me an hour and twenty minutes the first time. It took me forty minutes the second time. Just, just, it's annoying. Okay, okay right. Because that's the goal. So we just got to. Okay. I've done this enough times, I've basically memorized it. Obviously, I haven't, but I might as well have. Ah, it's annoying. But I would like to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope everyone's enjoying this. I I recognize we're kind of doing the same thing over and over again, but that's just the situation we're in, boyos. Okay, jump, jump. Just kind of flick your wrist. So yeah, this time, this time we basically, we're going to do one door and then we're going to leave, get the save point, and then do the second door which is so annoying but like i'd rather not have three for three when you know two for two is already pissing me off and i missed because right. now we need to get to Yeah, now we need to get to the dark. The dark thing, yeah. I don't even know if the dark thing's good. 
Watch it not even be good. How do you get there? How do you get there again? You go straight and then up. Yep, just just, just, just go. Actually, wait, hold on. Let the force guide you. Let the Schwartz guide you. Doop. We're killing that fish by the end of the episode, I'm just saying. Like, that fish is gonna die. Wait. Hold on. That's not the right way. Don't we need to go the... Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm sitting here like... This this is the shit I was talking about where now I'm doubting myself. I'm like, hold on. Have I Shit, have I been here before? I, I'm not I'm not even hundred percent sure, have I? Fuck. Okay, hold on. So we get there. This gets us to that, which is what we want. I think I think I'm skipping a step ahead. I think yeah, just thinking about it in my head. I think I'm skipping a step ahead. Alright, poop. Alright, good stuff. And then I can do Awesome. Okay, and then I can do shun chun 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 down. Yeah, and then we can scan this. Okay. Back up, do all that shit, come back down. <sighs> we'll get there. We'll we'll get there. Rest assured. Sorry, I'm I'm just annoyed because like literally this whole episode has been trying to do essentially the same challenge. Because of the save how the save system is set up, which is just absolutely infuriating to me. As I said, if there was a save point, I wouldn't complain for a second. I'd be like, I'd say perfect. I'd be happy. And that, yep, this is what I was thinking of. This area is what I was thinking of. Yeah, if there's a save point right before the fight, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, all right, awesome. Let's go. Let's learn this fight. But since there isn't, I'm going to sit here and complain. But Max, you used to do this kind of shit in Dark Souls. That mean it was fun. This meant it was part of the territory. Didn't mean I was like, yes, this is my favorite part. This is what completes the Dark Souls experience. Is sitting there and fucking suffering. Like, you know what? That's, that's what just gets me going. Yep. That's just what gets me going. Not having any save points for long periods of time. That's my favorite. That's just my absolute favorite. Dark, punk. Uh, oh, that's right. Then we gotta do this, but we can do this to speed it up a bit. Only works one way, but I imagine later on we'll. I imagine later on I'll get something to make it so I can actually. Make it so I can actually just like do it in one go, you know what I mean? Scan that as I walk out. Scan this as I walk through. Scan that. Oh, gotta. Gotta scan that. Okay, that's, I think that's it. Make sure that's operational. Oh, 
Tango, Skadunka. And Skadunka. Skip the cutscene. Hop out. Scan a land. Nothing to scan a land over here. She yo ha ho. Ship state as a ball form. And drop. Go to here. Grab that. Skip this cutscene. They're like, nope, you're gonna witness it. <laughs> Max, you gotta. <laughs> Max, you got. <laughs> okay. Nothing to do here other than to scan a few bodies. Can't jump up there because I'm dumbass. Excuse me, little bastards. Er. We give you help. Ah, ah, there's a butthole. There's, there it is. The anus of society. Thinking a little bit, I'm going to need a light beam. Just kind of ignore that shit. It's very cool visually, but let's be honest, it doesn't actually apply to anything in the situation. Shkadunka, shkadunka, that's some cool stuff. There you go, shkadunka. And right back out, we do it again. Ah, gag me with a spoon. Okay, scan it because that's what all—that's what all of God's good children do. Skip the cutscene because my arm's glowing. Jump, jump. I love that. Like, if you move fast enough, you don't even give him a chance to like react. They're just like, hey, oh, no, there, there she goes. Okay, now we gotta work our way back around. Which involves going up this. Shook. 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 Okay. Shook. I love that little, like, just the visuals on when you roll the side to side, just, like, side to side like that. It always looks so good. Boop. Okay, there's the hole. Shit. Still made it, because that's what we do. Itch my eyeball. Three of three for this spot there. Max, let go of it. It's fine. Mm, I don't know if it is. It's fine. You'll live. Well, I know. I don't. I don't know if we have confirmation if I will live or not. Kind of feels like I won't. What's that up there? Oh, it's it, it's probably like uh if I could like for realsies super ball up there, then I could like for realsies. Get like, uh, or I could get, I could get a portal that gets me somewhere cool. I don't know. Hope everyone enjoys that ASMR. Just. All right. Okay, so now that we're here, go on the one that looks like a butthole. What's with this place of buttholes? Good question. Like just, what, an, what an astute observation that everything here looks like a butthole. All right. And the 
just takes us down to the elevator that doesn't actually take us out of the zone it just like makes us go down which is fine you can see a little mini map up there I love that though that like moves the screen like that's it it really does feel immersive like I'm not just saying that to say that like it really does okay we're just gonna go down and try to land on one of them it doesn't matter which it matters a little bit because we're gonna be doing this we have 33 missiles to make this shit work congratulations you have made that shit work. you have made that shit work well done and we're just gonna walk pick a direction you know pick one of them it doesn't matter which we'll probably do the shot one first because i think all rolling it does that one first fire off our little lemons there's the aura of dark samus being a bitch She's like, look at me, I'm a bitch. I bet you wish you had a super bomb like me. I'm like, you're kind of right, I do. Oh, did you just cancel out of that? Fuck you. Fuck you. You ever, you ever consider that? You ever, you ever consider that? You, can, you ever consider that you can just go fuck yourself? This is what about. All right, um. All right, yep, the red one's first, so we'll do the red one. And then once we do the red, oh. Once we do the red one, hiddly hop your way, oh, wrong one. Hiddly hop your ass the way out and go save so we don't have to do all this bullshit for a third time. And I'm not butthurt. I'm a little, I'm, okay, you caught me. I'm, I'm a tad salty. By tad, I mean pretty damn salty. If I'm gonna be completely honest with myself. You know, before man and God, I'm a tad salty. Alright, like, you could use me, like, cows could use me as a salt lick, okay? Like, I, I acknowledge this. It's fine. Come on, come on. You know, people tend to get that way. But people tend to get that way after having to do the same thing however many times. Okay, uh, do you remember how this area works? No. And I missed. Ow, fuck. Fuck off. Just fuck these things. I don't even remember. Do I even need to kill these things? I'm just doing it out of spite. Get your ass over here. Just get your ass over here, boy. Bye. Bye. The annoying thing is, is that you don't even get anything from them. Like, if I got, like, missiles or something, I'd be like, you know what? This was kind of worth it. But no, it's just the satisfaction of a job well done. Which, I mean, hey, what are you going to do? But also, fuck you. Like, I'm, I'm kind of half seized on that. One side, like, I get it. But on the other side, I really don't like it. Alright, that's new. It isn't exciting. That's new. It isn't that exciting. Don't forget, we do actually need to, like, blow those things up, even though they hurt us just on the grounds of, uh... We need ammo. Jump, jump. Excuse me, little crab. And then we do this. Go. Okay, here's one. <laughs> Did you see that fish explode? <laughs> like, oh shit. Like, here's one. We did it. The game's like, hey, we're going to give you a one. I was like, you know what, man? I appreciate it, honestly. <laughs> like, yeah, we know. You're kind of having a hard time on account of being dumb. And I was like, look, you might be right, but it still hurts to say it. So, like, please don't. And they're like, no, we kind of we kind of have to bring you're kind of dumb. I was like, well, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Ugh. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating that I had to do that. That is so frustrating that it's the third time. But you know what? Hey, now all we have to do is the one time, and then we can just go and we just kill. That's my determined look on account of me being pissy about a dumbass fish. Okay, uh. Okay, where's the one that's like normal to open this one boink oh come on come on there 
<laughs> I was like, <laughs> excuse me, little beautiful fishies. I think I just went through the camera window in one of their mouths, but I'm not gonna worry about that. If you see the little inflator dudes, just ignore them. I'm actually, I will sit here and do this just for sake of the missiles, which you may notice they all dropped missiles, which is phenomenal. A little thank you God right there. Now we can fight these things, but let's, I'm starting, you know, I was, I was about to say like, I don't actually need to, you know what I mean? Like. Technically, they aren't harming anything, but now you're starting to piss me off. So, like, you know. Wow, they all were like, you. Yeah, look at them. Like, fucking velociraptors. Okay. Ooh, ooh. There you go. Okay, and. Okay, we hit that. That's what we do here. We hit that because that's a nice, reasonable thing to do. We hit that. Good stuff. We hit this. And we're out of here. Why have such a complex system when you could have just let me through normally? Because it's a little mini puzzle and it makes you feel clever, does it? Does it, asshole? I don't know if it does. Alright, I'm just going to reach over and of that the big blarg is like what if i hear me out what if i just fucked you up real quick when you weren't looking and i'm like boy i'm looking boy i am oops bought more more all right um we gotta do a bunch of scanning so that way we don't like lose track jumped into the water like a Neanderthal. Ow. Okay, we'll hit this up. Poink. Skip, 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 skip. I know exactly what it is. I know exactly what it is. Let me out, let me out. Okay. Jump to the water. Where's that log? Okay, got that. And there's no wrong gun. Let's grab this gun. Donka. Okay. Y'all you know, remember those games from, uh, from like Mario Party? You have to, you have to like do this, or you have to like do this, and it really feels like a jacking off. Right, anyways, uh, <laughs> just saying, a lot of those games kind of felt like they're jacking off simulators. Is that what they were? Of course not. But you know, it's really what it seemed like. Okay. Oh. What if you like, yo, I go in here because like this is the objective and they just like, one of them just like shoves the grenade launcher in there with you just starts firing it because their armor can take it but mine can't. Alright, we take this, we switch to the light. I feel like I'm doing them speedrun strats right now. Okay. So now we're out. Switch to the normal gun. Dunka, dunka. Ah, shit, I forgot. Yeah, we have to. We have to do that, or else they get pissy. Uh, I don't think. I don't think I actually took it. Uh, shuka, dunka, dunka. There you go. All right, good stuff. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I just heard one of them like rushing at me that they're like hey fuck you <laughs> like hey wait a second i don't like you hi <laughs> you're trying to kill our boss i was like fuck off and they're like no i'm gonna kill you all right um so now we can do this and Bakonka, there you go good stuff and we, uh, this is still like so much you have to do like, okay, honestly, it's not, like, right? Like, I can take a step back and be like, it's not that bad. But, like, it kind of is. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it kind of is that bad. Okay. Moment of truth time, boys. 
skip the cutscene. We're gonna see. I want to see if there's a way to climb out before you jump down into the pits and start screaming. And I don't think there is. Yeah, because there's no spot high enough and there's no... Uh, the thing that we would normally use to get up this thing is totally blocked off, which is bullshit. Yep, so it's... Literally the game just looked at me and said, get good. So, lovely! Okay, so just remember. Take it slow. Also, you're kind of banged up, so... I mean, you're down to like 80% health, so really make sure to kill all these little bastards until you get that full health. Full, that full health. You know what I mean? Like, we, we need every little inkling. Alright, that was not quite full, but you know what? It's It was at least a bar. So I'll take it. That's like 20% of your health, so, you know, good stuff. Okay, here's another thing. Yeah. Stay on the ground. I know it's like, but I have the ability to fly now. That flight... Oop, oop, oop. That's a Mitch Mouse. That flight is not good. Alright, like, it, it... It seems like it should be good. It sounds really good on paper. But it's not good. Okay, like, it's a nice little... You know, for mobi- like, you know, for, like, puzzles and shit. It's not for combat purposes. Now, maybe there's some clever way to, like, trick it into a fan, and maybe the fan will, like, fuck it up. Okay? Maybe. But it really doesn't seem like it. Okay? It really, really doesn't. <laughs> so, suck it up, buttercup. Let's do this shit. Okay. I would love it if, if, like, you could, like, suck it into the fan, though, too. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm, like, just short. Say, this could be a secret. Ah, damn it. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. That's actually kind of intimidating. Not gonna lie. Okay. Well, here we go charge to charge to piss it off oh my goodness I hate I hate this thing so much I hate this thing so much okay there that right there perfection well that was not perfection and we wasted five misses but you know what fuck it we, 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 we do what we gotta do Yep, you wait until... Okay, so you fire the charge shot. You get to the far side, but not quite into the wall. You fire the missile. Damn. Let it pass. All right, good. We are down to 20% of our health. And that thing has taken maybe an eighth. Okay, come on. We can do this. Okay, Bakunka. Okay, we're doing good. God, this fight is a freaking slog. You better not have, like, a fucking twilight form. I'd be really annoyed. If I had better water mobility, I would feel a lot better about, like, trying to get it into the fans. You know what I mean? But I don't. So I, I don't care if it's, like, not the cool way or whatever. But I'm sick of this guy. So I'm going to sit here and do the bullshit method. Which really sucks, because half the time I don't even know if I'm hitting, and the other half I have to take a hit in order to confirm a hit. And look at his smug ass, like... Oh my goodness, he got me twice! Look at his smug ass! Oh my goodness, fuck this guy! Yeah, look at him, he's just like, oh, if I, if I do my little... Oh, and I hate that you can't jump up to get away from him. You have to jump to the side, which is really counterintuitive, considering that you you get something that gives you aerial mobility. You would think, or, well, you know, it's not really aerial, but, like, you get what I mean. Like, it, it, it's vertical movement in a waterlogged area. So you'd think having vertical movement in a wa- Oh, fuck this guy. 
you would think having vertical movement in a waterlogged area. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna focus on dodging. He tried to fake me out there. Doing a lot better this run already. Thank you. This guy pisses me off. Like, uh, it's just, it's a slow fight. It's a lot of waiting. And I just, the save, the save thing. The save thing just being a trap just pisses me off so much. And I don't like that you are basically, you basically have to take a hit to hit him. Obviously, there's a window. Obviously, I'm hitting it. But, like, it really doesn't feel like it. It feels like I'm just getting lucky. And I did it. See, I did it way too early. So he flashed yellow instead of flashing whatever. There. But see, to get, in order to hit him, I had to wait. Oh my goodness, it's so dumb. Oh, I hate this. Okay, there. There, okay. We definitely, like... Okay. There is there's very little room for error. I am clenching. My hand is hurting from grab... Oh, shh. Okay, we're down, down to our bomb wire. Okay, good. I think like two hits, maybe three, probably. Okay, good. Nope. Come on, we got 15 misses to play with. Okay, yep, one more, one more, one more. Come on, come on. Nope. Piece of shit, fish. Oh my goodness. Fuck off. Ow, my hand. Oh my hand. I was gripping the Wii remote. We, we gotta get to a save. Holy shit. Alpha blog defeated. A devastating blow. Thank you. Oh my. Fuck. Uh, okay, okay, I'll drink some water. Okay, I'll drink some water. Thank you for reminding me. Oh my gosh, my head hurts. That was infuriating. I just, I hated how... I hated just, like, how small of a window it was. I hate... That you get this cool power up. And it's like, yeah, full water mobility. And it's not. It's not full water mobility. The game is lying to you. It's like, it's full water mobility. And it, it just it just isn't. Makes me mad. Thank you. Samus, our hero, you slayed the tyrant. Oh, God! <laughs> Max, you gonna make it? No. I'm mad. I'm pissed. Okay. Now let's see. It is the crack of nine. I did just get the little notification that the Minecraft Monday thing started. And we could argue this is a satisfying point. To stop at. I'm not going to though. Like, I wanna fuck you. I'm gonna go for a little bit longer because it feels like this episode was a lot of um. To me, at least, it felt like this episode... Hold on. Oh, great. There's a ceiling there. It felt like a lot of this episode was uh, doing the same thing over and over again. Rip Max's plans. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to... We're just we're just going to go for a bit longer. Shoot. Yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to go for a bit longer. We hit a save. Thank you, God. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ow, my hand! Oh my goodness. I hope Wham is there, because Wham is like a Metroid expert. I want to rant to him how stupid this Blarg is. Like, it's literally called a Blarg. Fuck that thing. That thing was miserable. My hand hurts. You know what would make this better? Is if I didn't have to use the damn Wii Remote. But I do. Fuck. I bet there's something cool in there, because you need like the Shadow Beam or whatever bullshit to do it. Okay. 
Okay, so we, we don't have the power bomb and we don't have the shadow bullshit. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna exit through there. And if Shadow Samus is around, she's gonna look at me and be like, Oh, how'd you do that? I'm just gonna be like, Fuck you. So just fuck you, Shadow me. Like, oh, well, lucky for you, I never needed the shit. I never needed that because I could just fly. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. 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 Oh. What is this thing? Elevator platform active. I don't think this was here previously. Nice! That's really nice, actually! Oh, I'm locked! It's a long way! Really hope I didn't need to go down there! That would suck. Alright, um... Okay, so now let's look around. If I'm understanding this correctly, there's nowhere else in the normal world for me to go to. I don't know what that A stands for. What's that A stand for? Ammo recharge. Oh, yeah, that's right. I went down there and I was like, what the fuck? So now we can hop in there and we can we can literally just hop into like the nearest dark portal. I, I don't know if it actually matters which one. Um... Well, I can only access the, the I can only go the direction that the, the, the black door is, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go we're just gonna go that direction. Whoever is over there can fuck off. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh, wait, I've seen those things before. Yeah, you can fuck off. As far as I'm concerned. Don't you want to know? Okay. Um, I think I already got the power up those. Or it, it wasn't a power up, it was like a, it was like a missile or something like that. Okay, so now we can head to the next nearest portal, which is jumping we can't actually access that one. Great. Okay, so uh we can access the uh one to the left. Which is um Don't actually know how to get there. There it is. <laughs> it's like how do how 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 do I how do I uh, how do how do I how do I get there? Okay, and we can kind of just like weasel our way through. Is this wait? Hold on. Is this the one that has like the tentacle thing that tries to grab grab my ass? I think it is. I think this is the I think this is the thing that has the tentacle thing that tries to grab my ass. Yep, there it is. Behold, the tentacle thing. That tries to grab your ass. Alright. I kind of like how bulky that this, the, the backpack makes me look. You know what I mean? There's like, um, I've talked about this a little bit, but um, there's a lot of fun to be had in armor that looks bulky. You know what I mean? Is, is that a me thing? Like, um, we, I, think the, I think the version that I talked about was like the Iron Man armor. Comparing like the nano suit to like the normal version. That like, I like the bulkier look. Kind of goes to Samus here, not gonna lie. I like the, it, it's the same thing with like Space Marines. You know what I mean? That like the, the like the over the top bulkiness of it just makes it look fun. You know what I mean? Okay. So we got all these toys now. We got all this shit. What can we do? Okay, we probably can't do that. We got one key. Uh, it does not say in the map where the other keys are. So awesome. All right, it looks like I mean, okay, so I don't think that one's connected, so we're just not gonna acknowledge that one. Um, I mean, I could, I, okay, I'll make Gloom Vista, which teleports you to right there. So that 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 path doesn't do anything for us. Okay, uh, there's that door. That's um, I can't tell if that's purple or gray. I think it's purple. Okay, so that might be something, but I doubt it. Because all the doors keep... Oh, wait, hold on. There's a tiny... Does everyone see that? There's a tiny little hole there. Fuck it. Let's investigate that one. Yeah, fuck it. We're already here. Shit. <laughs> Just sick. Sick. Uh, hold on. Let's just, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to... You have to use fucking... You have to use fucking smell-o-vision on it or something. 
There you go. That's the smell of vision. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Awesome. What just happened? Oh, shh. I, I just... I just... I like that as a mechanic, but it also gets really old. Okay, hold on. Okay, there you go. So you flip over, and then I jump on top of you. Yeah, I just I just glitched for a second, so I got uh, stuck inside its leg, which is miserable, honestly. But the fuck. Okay, I don't think we actually need to mess with this. Um, I can't really think of a reason to, because we can, we can just jump over there, and we don't have the super bomb yet, so we can't go to the yellow one. So instead, let's just head over this way. Uh-huh. Okay, I think this is the one that we need to just shoot with the dark crystal. Shoot with the... Okay, what about shoot with the light crystal? Okay, awesome. Excuse me, poison. Just fuck off! Just fuck this place. Fuck everything it stands for. It's like, that is why we are trying to kill the Ings, because they are such absolute dick baskets. It's like, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of witnessing that firsthand. They're awful. It's like, yeah, we know. Okay, there's one of them. How do I get there? Let's do the first test. If that's it, you have got to be kidding me. Shit. That thing. Did that kill it? I don't know if that actually killed it. Piss it off. Awesome. Awesome. I don't remember how to actually. I think it just died. Sick. Alright, okay, so. Hold on, hold on. Where's. There's, there's something I was looking at up there. There's something I was actually looking at that might be the. Oh no! Oh, okay, so we're not going to be able to get that shit until we get the grapple beam. Awesome. Okay, so, in that case, so, that way's dud. Uh-huh. We could try the black path that's right beside me. Like, okay, I doubt we're going to be able to actually make it, but we're already here, so why not? You know what I mean? Like, might as well just do a quick look, cursory glance, if you will. To see if we can figure it out. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh huh. Oh shit! There it is. <laughs> it's just like oh shit. Awesome. Uh. Huh, huh, huh. Let me just wrap it up. This shit. Okay. Sick. All right. Uh. Shkatunka. We're literally going to teleport out, grab a thing, teleport back in. But you know what? It's ours and we have it. So I'll take it. It's mine now, motherfuckers. All right. Awesome. What is this? Great. <laughs> awesome. Max, how much good does that actually do you? I'm not going to talk about that. All right. Just the point is we have it and I no longer have to sit there and wonder. I no longer have to be like, hmm, I wonder, like, yo. When are we gonna get around? When are we gonna get there? When are we gonna get there? Don't gotta worry about it. Done. Clean. Alright. Well, don't, you know, don't spend too long celebrating, okay? You are dying after all. Thank you for reminding me. Alright. Okay. That's me dying. <laughs> like, hear that sound? That's the sound of my suffering. Did... I think I got caught for a second. And the game must have some kind of fail safe where if you get caught, it just like stops and backs up. Which is objectively, fuck you. Which is... Ob okay. Which is objectively... <gasps> It is a seeker missile thing. Awesome. Okay, so I just shoot the shit out of it. So it like, it goes away. 
if you hit it with anything except power beam shit, except basic power beam shit. I really don't understand that enemy, okay? Like, it makes no sense. And later on, they're gonna, later on, they're gonna lock me in a room with one. And it's gonna be really annoying. Like, I guarantee it. I'm gonna be, what, what is this, what is, what is, what is this? Beam ammo. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. Like, um, yeah, man, some dark light. Cool. I honestly wasn't expecting that. I mean, good. I don't know how I feel about it. I got to fuck you up with that. Let's see, does hitting it with dark actually do anything? No, does hitting it with light actually do anything? It just like weirdly tendrils out at you. Did that actually kill it? Cause I don't think it did. I feel like I've done that before and they've just gotten back up. I guess I killed it actually. No, I can't tell you what exactly I did differently. Okay, so we got that, which is great. Um, okay, so now if we go in there, and now if we go in there, hopefully we'll be able to bust through that green and that'll lead us into the next objective. Hopefully. Which will probably culminate with us getting out. Getting the, uh... See, now that we know that we pretty much have to have the grapple beam to get one of them, now I'm kind of anticipating, like... Uh, we're... Actually, so, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I looked at the boss guide for the, uh... Speaking of, we should look for a save. When I, when I was looking at the boss guide for the, uh, who'd you call it, um, the brog, the blarg or whatever the fuck, uh, the next one mentioned was actually, like, the, like, I forget what it's called, like, the grapple guardian or the grapple demon or something. You know, whatever the fuck. Oh! Oh, that's really good. That's super good. Okay, upside down side. Uh, that's really good. Downside, it's not progress. But that's good. Like that's that's really nice. Okay, hold on. Okay, so if I go that way, that's the ammo refill. There's something up there. The heck if I know how to get to it. Key code acknowledged. Lock deactivated. Oh, this must be where you actually go and get the energy. Okay. So that door, don't worry about it, because we literally don't have what we need to make it work anyway. But hey, now I know where to go. Now I know where to go once we do have it, so. Progress! Oh God. Okay. I don't know if we'll actually beat the grapple demon tonight, but um, like I said, just progress. Um, real talk, I don't know where to go. That's where the first one was, wasn't it? Um, son of a bitch. Actually, real talk, don't know where to go. Hang on. I couldn't access that. Son of a bitch. We gotta go back there. Son of a bitch, we gotta go, okay, okay, yep, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, okay, it's, uh, it, wait, 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 no, 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 okay, wait, hold on, actual door out, actual door out, okay, it's to the left, it's to the left, okay. I was gonna say, like, you know. Oh, fuck. Wow, you're an asshole. Eat, eat. how about, how about, how about you eat? Oh, wait, that's, that's right. It's, uh... You know what? Eat this shadow... Eat this light barrier. How about that dick? Remember that one portal that I saw? That I was like... It doesn't look like we can get to that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. We can get to it now. Because we have the, uh... We have the, the whatevers. And if I knew that... 
we could have saved time instead of going all the way back out and leaving we could have just hopped into it because we'd be like well that's the next area let's go so yeah we have to head back So I was kind of thinking about like, um, okay, how do I get, how do I get down the fastest? Um, okay, we can go through the twisty twoo or we can go through the black and then the white and then we're there. Yeah, let's go through the black and white and then we're there. Okay, deal. I was kind of thinking about like, you know, which game, you know, you know, you, you've been playing this game for a while, and, you know, you play Metro, the first Metro Prime twice. Which do you like better? I'm going to be honest. So far, I'm not sure. Because they both have the problem that I got annoyed with. That they're like, hey, come back up. And, um, you know, like, hey, you made all this, dis you made all this distance. Well done. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's... Yeah, because then you get through the underground tunnel, and then, it, and then you're there. Okay. You know, they both have the... They both have a similar problem in that, like... They have beam weapons that don't really feel like... They're needed. Except for their situational thing. You know what I mean? Like... I tried to make the different beams work in different situations in the first game, in the first Metroid Prime. And the times that they actually rewarded you for that, like when you had to like melt the uh melt the ice or freeze the enemies. Like I wish there was more of that because those kind of puzzles are interesting because it's like you have a set of tools, you know learn how to use them but since they only really were useful in certain situations it didn't really feel like it didn't really feel like it was Hang on. sneezy <laughs> ah sorry max you know where, do you, where you need to go why are you saving because there's no fucking saves down there but um Love the same. Yeah, it's um. In the first game, the different beams didn't feel so much like um like I have the power of fire. How can I use this creatively? I have the power of ice. How can I use this creatively? As opposed to simply being like, well, now I have this shit. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a portal down there. There's the one in white, and then there's the one that's like all the way down there. Which one do I actually want? I don't know. Let's do let's do this one first because we're already here. So it, I think it was down. Hold on. Uh, God, there's like three different connecting portals there. I don't know if that's just them being nice or if like or if like something's up. You know what I mean? Like, I, I honestly don't know. I'm not just saying that to say that. Like, I, I don't actually know. There you go. All right. But I already saved, so I'm not going to worry too hard about it. But, um, yeah, the first game, it, like, each time, it didn't really feel like you had creative to, okay, let, let's, let's make an example, and I know this probably isn't the best example, for Breath of the Wild, right? How you could, well, I chose correctly, get fucked, everyone else. Thank you, God. Yeah, damn, damn right, fucking. Damn right, fucking. Yeah, that's right, fuck off. I don't like that I have to press it three times. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, now I know. Probably gonna spring back out. I was gonna say they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna spring back out any second. So let's, 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 let's leave that shit. Um, okay, good. For a second, I thought Megan was texting me. I was gonna be like, Megan, what's wrong? But um, 
because Megan's been all sick. On account of being the preggers. Am I underwater right now? I can't tell. Alright, um, well, awesome. I'm glad that we chose that one. Great, good stuff. We picked the correct one. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it felt a lot. It felt. Uh, so, in Breath of the Wild, when you got, like, the lightning. When. Shush, phone. When you got, like, the lightning or the fire stat. Or, you know, weapon, whatever, right? Like, you, you got these different tools. It felt gratifying because there's a lot of situations. Like, it. It was never just, okay, I have a sword that could do fire damage. Cool. Sure, that was a factor. But you want to know what it also was? I can make fire. How can I use this creatively? And other games did this too. Uh, Red Rooster, hello, it's so good to see you. Ah, well, I hope you and your cousin are doing alright. Um, I will be, yes. I will be joining in on Minecraft. But, um, I want to hit a good... A stopping point, but yes, I will be joining in Minecraft soon. Ish. Uh, is that a portal that I don't have access to? I think that might be a portal I don't have access to. Hope you and your cousin are doing well, man. If it makes you feel better. Oh shit! Yeah, we can. I don't think we can access that one. Oh what I. <clears throat> Redress kind of fuck the fuck this game a little bit. Okay, well, I'm drunk, so I hope you come through. <laughs> oh, good! <laughs> kind of fuck... I'm kind of getting to the point of fuck this game. It'll be fun. We'll vibe. <laughs> we'll vibe. We'll, we'll vibe. It'll be chill. But um, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm kind of getting to the point of fuck this game. Just a little bit. I'm, try I'm trying my best to stay positive, all right? But I'm starting to get there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me, let me get to a good stopping point. And a safe spot, and I, I will definitely, I will definitely come visit. Thanks for popping by, though. I hope you and your cousin are doing well. But what was I gonna say? Um, Wind Waker did it too. Uh, like I'm sure there's other like Legend of Zelda games that did it as well. Heck, a lot of puzzles in like Breath of the Wild, or not Breath of the Wild, but Ocarina of Time and stuff. You had fire or Twilight Princess as well. Like, it felt like items had multiple uses. I think that's the main thing I'm getting at. Like. All items had multiple uses. They were multifaceted. And sure, sometimes those facets would only come in certain situations, but still, they were multifaceted. Hey, hey what's up, man? Are you, are you just bringing that up because I'm talking about Ocarina of Time? Wrong. Damn. Like, most items were multifaceted in nature, which is great. We love that shit. Like, it encourages creativity, and we're all about that. Right? Like, that that's everyone's favorite. But, Metroid Prime, you don't really feel that way as much. You know what I mean? Like, there's a few situations where, like, the fire beam is used to, you know, to melt something. And that's pretty nifty. And I'm like, that is pretty nifty. Okay, um, where's the portal? All right. You're like, I'm like, that's pretty, that, that, you, you said that's pretty nifty? And, oh, god darn it, that is pretty nifty. Thank you for telling me that. And it was cool. And we all loved it. And it, it, didn't, it doesn't come up very often. There wasn't any puzzles that was like, use the ice beam to freeze a walkway. Or I don't fuck something, you know? Like, shit. Uh, that's the one that's like indestructible. I think I actually need to kill you guys. But you know what? As long as you assholes, hold on. As long as you assholes aren't like teleporting. Okay, they're actually they're actually hammering me. Let's say they 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 are actually hammering me a bit. Jelly, you can come too if you redeem joint server to max raise pants. Yeah, you should definitely do that. They have a really cool place. So like, it's it's a lot of fun. You should check it out. Oh wait, hold on. What happens if I just like keeps? Can I keep spinning this shit? Son of a bitch. But um. What was I saying? Basically, just like the tool, the tools felt multifaceted, and in Metroid Prime they don't. Now in this game, because of how the portals and systems and the like work, it feels a little better. Okay, it feels like there's a little bit more going on. 
but if I have to be honest, it doesn't feel like it that much. It feels like it a little bit, and that's it. And that's really disappointing, if I'm going to be completely honest. Like, it feels like I should be able to do more. Now, I like the idea. You know, if we're going to talk concepts, I like the idea. Oh, I like the idea presented that it's about two different worlds and balancing the two, but it doesn't really feel like that as much. It's And it's not like a Link Between Worlds situation where, um, where you're, like, constantly hopping into the two of them and, like, they are separate places. Like, you can't really affect them. You can affect it just enough that it feels like you have an impact, but for the most part, going into the Dark Aether feels like going into the shit zone, okay? that That's the only way... Actually, wait, hold on, Redress. Um, I'm actually going to be streaming when I go into there, So when I go into the server. I just realized that, so... I won't be raiding, because I'll just stream. I'll just stream. I just thought of that. But, um... Jail, you definitely should, like, uh, hop into Panda's chats. So that way you can redeem that shit. If you, if you would like. There is no pressure. It's meant to be a nice, chill time. And if you make me look bad, I swear to fuck, I will take it out. Nah, I'll probably be in bed by then. I'm getting pretty tired. That's all good, man. You, you like, dude, you, 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 you work for a living. I get it. I don't work for a living. Boop. But, um... Yeah, like, it does... The tools themselves don't feel multifaceted. It feels very, like, here's the purpose, get it done, move on with your life. Da, 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 and just keeps going like that and I find that really disappointing but it, that's not necessarily a problem okay I don't know where the fuck else to go next <laughs> straight up okay that portal's useless um I can't access that portal and we already did that portal oh so I have to go to the black great great good good for me that I didn't realize Okay, can I, like, go up? No, I gotta go the long way around? Awesome. Do I really have to go the long way around? Yes. <laughs> Just... Yes, I do. Yes, I fucking do. You got update to 1.2. Uh, sorry, Metro Prime is butts tonight. It's all good. Like, I'm, like, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm a whiner. Oh, yeah, that's right. We go over there. Um... It, okay, so Red, you missed it because you were drunk. Um, I We basically spent an, an hour and a half getting to an area that, um, you remember in, uh, I remember in, like, there was a few times in Resident Evil where, like, they would put you in a situation that you didn't realize come line in Minecraft. I will, okay? I will. Just give me a bit. I will. But, um, you remember, like, Resident Evil, how there's, like, a few situations where they were just kind of, like, oopsie poopsie, you're in a place of no return, and now you have to deal with a boss fight? Fuck you. That happened to me. I lost an hour and a half of progress, and then I did it again in, like, 40 minutes, and then I didn't realize that it actually locked you out of games, uh, out of a save way earlier than I thought previously. So I had to do it again. Shit sucked. Alright, shit sucked. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a happy camper, and then I almost died again, and oh, hi, I don't remember how to kill you, oh yeah, okay, I kind of remember how to kill you, alright, um, here's the question, do I want to kill you, uh, I bet if I kill them, if the one thing will go down, uh, isn't it basically like, get, oh, shit, that's intimidating. Also, is it walking on water? Hold on. Oh my goodness. The water levitation shit doesn't actually fucking work in order to get out of the water. Fuck this game. <laughs> Next, what is your current opinion? Fuck. Oh, great. You're amphibious. Who the fuck decided you were amphibious? <sighs> Actually, no. They had air bubbles coming out. They might just fully... They just might be... Well, it's not really amphibious so much as, like, they, they, they could just simply do both. Okay, great. Good. Good. Love it. Meanwhile, those guys are just, like, screaming and just trying to murder me. I'm just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give a shit. But no. We're almost at one key. 
and probably the boss. So once we get that, I will very happily quit. Oh, oh, good. Also, I just shot you and it hurt you like right from the get go. Uh, target the back shell to reveal a weak spot. Okay. Hold on. Bitch. 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 I think there's another one attacking me, but. <laughs> I love that, like, it kind of, like, stopped for a second. It was like, where, 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 where'd you go? There you go. There you go. There you go. No, come on. I think I don't think the other one actually died naturally. I think he just like fell off a cliff a certain way and it just kind of worked out. If it, oh my goodness! Oh wait, you're not actually dead. I thought you were. I was gonna say like, oh, you know, mission accomplished. All right, now it's actually dead. Give me the damn goodies. All right. Uh, there's another one, and I think it's in the water. I kind of don't want to go down there though. Like, I, if I could save state, I would and then jump down. Because it feels like there's something interesting down there. But also, huh. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. Whee! I was going to say, the whole area is shadow and evil, isn't it? Or shadowy and evil, because I bet it is. Oh, great. I bet I... I think I was supposed to do it that fast. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just that good. It's like, um, I just kind of sped through that. Oh, this is a boss room. Awesome. Awesome. Can I just like, can I just like stand here for a little bit? Oh, fuck off. So I'm just gonna shoot the shit out of it. I'm just gonna shoot the shit out of it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Oh no, I can't target it because it's his, it is an asshole. I can't target it because it's a huge old dick. But you know what? I'm sitting here and I'm regenerating health. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna sit yeah, I'm gonna i I'm gonna sit here and just regenerate health. Yeah, you didn't see that shit coming, did ya? You didn't see that shit coming. Motherfucker. Okay, okay. If you could if you could stop. There, there, I tried I tried to bait it. Oh, okay, there, 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 it's solidifying there, it's solidifying, oh my goodness, fuck this thing. But you know what, I'm regenerating health, so I'll take it. I forget, if I hit you with light while you're like this, do you, like, fix yourself? Ah, maybe it does. Oh my goodness. This thing is ass. Shotgun. Nope. That's, I'm just gonna leave. Like, no, don't leave me. That's literally what he just did. Like, I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm just gonna leave. Like, I have no obligation to actually hang out with you. You're just the worst. And he's like, no. Don't leave me. I like playing tickle time with you. It's like, I don't like you. I just, I do not like you. I'm out of here. I've regenerated what I believe to be a sufficient amount of my wrist. I just realized how much it hurts. I've regenerated what seems to be a sufficient amount of health. I'm getting the fuck out. I didn't realize I was doing a, a pipe puzzle. That's a nice callback to uh, that. That's a that's a that's a nice old callback to uh, who do you want to call it? Um, Super Metroid. Ah, look at that. Let's give this thing a little scan of land. The barrier will deactivate Crystal's engine by dark weaponry. Oh, cool. Uh, just, uh, bump, bump, go. Awesome. Awesome. Will it open up the. Oh, no, it raises us up instead. What the fuck is that thing? Oh. I see. They go up and down. Well, you know what? Oh. Ooh, they climb. <laughs> uh, let's not. I was gonna. I was about to, but I was like, eh. I don't, oh shit! I was gonna say, I don't. I don't think he knows where I am properly. 
Go. Go. Yeah, there's nothing else in this room, so let's just get out. We're already losing health. Okay, go, 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 go. Just gonna, just gonna light up everything. Yep. Yep, we're just gonna, just gonna light up everything. Shit. <laughs> He's like, shit, it's coming for me. Okay. Now, hopefully... If they're gonna put us in against a boss... Yeah, that's not what that is. Okay, that's a whole lot of grapple beam spots, so they're definitely hinting at the grapple beam soon. Oh, shit. Alright, uh... Shit. Okay. Oh my goodness. Just fuck off. Fuck off. You know what? Okay. You know what? There's two of you. There's two of you. So I'm just going to take the time. Okay. So missiles do actually hurt you. It's just y'all move around so much. Yeah. Like y'all move around and you like phase in and out of existence so much. It's kind of hard to like actually score. Yeah. And since you like you do the Poe thing from Ocarina of Time where like you um. Nice. I actually got both of you. Yeah, like, you guys are just very confusing to actually target. Okay. And I feel like I'm wasting all my missiles. Okay, there's one, there's one, there's one. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, go down, go down, go down. Nope, 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 you gross, gross. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, it's like, I've done it. <laughs> it it's gone now. Alright, we are slowly regenerating, which is good. But I'm not entirely sure where it wants us to end up. Recover missing gear. Yep. There it is. That's the grapple beam. That is so... So the grapple beam. This whole area is the same chamber as before, just without water. It would be so nice if there was a save point. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. I say there's a save point, but there's also these things. Ow! Okay, the super missile bounced off, but the normal one did not, because that's how fate works. Okay. We hit a save point, and we know we're about to fight a boss. Thank you, God. This is what it should be. <laughs> this is what it should be. Ah, uh, okay. God, my wrist hurts. It really does. Ah, uh, okay. So now I can sit here and we can shoot the dudes and hopefully get missiles, or we can just jump. Actually, or we can just jump down and say fuck it because we have the uh, we have a save point. So I'm nowhere near as worried as I was before. So, oops. So honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna. Um, hmm. Shkadanka. Okay, hold on. Um. Sacrificial chamber. That is funny. Um, it might honestly be the way we came. Cause I okay, hold on. So I open up that path. How did I get here again? Should it be the... Is the answer really just to go back the way I came? That's, that strikes me as weird. Okay, so I go there. And then I go here. And there's the door I came from. Oh, here it is. I was gonna say, I was like, no, hold on, like, hang on, this doesn't seem, that doesn't seem right, like, they, what, they would just, like, let me go all the way around, and, like, no, 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 like, that, no, that, there's, 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 there's gotta be another way to do this, and lo and behold, there's another way to do this. Now, yeah, we are gonna be going into this fight with pretty much no missiles. 
as a general fair warning. But look at all these look at all these little supply crates that hopefully will have missiles. I mean the health is really good too. I really appreciate the health, but like missiles. Oh wait, hold on. We got that purple stank. We got that purple <laughs> Oh, what is the um what's that one meme that's like it's like talking about like that purple dragon blood cush. <laughs> Like, this is that dark necromancer shit. Alright, um... Did I just get turned around? I did! How? How? How did... Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna worry too hard about it. <laughs> I was like, how did I just get turned around? <laughs> like, so, this is one entrance... Oh, look at your big ass. Oh, God, you were kind of horrifying. And you got that, um, you got that jaw that's like the bottom of it isn't connected. So you don't actually have like the bottom, you know, like the skin. Like, I think eels have that. It's creepy. Grapple beam powered dark lane. Well armored target utilizes grapple beam to its enemies. Weak spots detected. Back shell and eye. Do special attack when angered. This is the probably a fire. Oh, Ooh, I never actually did that. Oh, that's really cool. This sense of damage can induce a state of anger. A weak spot in the back corner. I, oh, I never realized that. Like, oh, I get, that's lovely. Okay. So, when you shoot in the eye, it gets pissed off. Boink up. As they apparently doesn't get pissed off, pissed off enough to... Apparently doesn't get pissed off enough to really do much about it. Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't have enough missiles. I was, I was sitting there trying to like, I was sitting there trying to do like the super missile attack. I was like, eh, it's not working. But I would like to point out, compared to the, uh, compared to the previous guy. Oh, shit. Uh, oh! <gasps> Oh, there we go. That oh, that's fun. I like that. If I was to say compared to the uh, compared to the roly poly one, yeah, compared to the roly poly. Oh. He, uh, like, since there is, like, an actual light area to sit here and hide in, sure, I don't have missiles, and that sucks, but, like, I can just, I can camp in here and just do charge shots. Like, it'll, it'll take longer, but I can do it. Okay, so he seems to be pissed. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, hold on. I can't tell. Is he smart enough? Is he smart enough not to shoot at it? Or is he like, or am I missing my window? There you go. There, okay, that's that's taking some good chunkage too. God, the other asshole had way more health. Yeah, we, we can sit here and play this game. I'm, I'm cool with that. My only thought is like, sure taking a long time to piss you off. Yeah, so. Oh, sh oh, come on. A little slow on it. If I had missiles, I could just, like, load in, but um, I don't, so. We just kind of have to deal with what we got. Yeah. He's literally, he's trying to fake me out. He, that, I think maybe what I need to do is, like, when I piss him off. I need to, like, make him think. I need to, like, make him think that he actually can hit me. Or, oh, wait, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. He's actually smart enough to dodge it. See? Oh, God, seeing that face come towards me is really freaky. Yeah, I can't trick him to fire into it. He, has, he wants to fire. Boom! Did it actually hit? 
<laughs> I don't I don't actually oh god like that that is a genuinely intimidating face coming towards me yeah I, I have to sit here I love that though I love that he's I, oh come on there you go I, I genuinely love that he's smart enough not to just like fire at the pillar, pillar straight on like he wants to have a chance to fire at me Okay. Oh, let's see, uh, Redis, if you're still here up here. Yeah, thanks so much for coming, man. It's always good to have you. Um, Tomb Raider on, uh, Wednesday. But, yeah, thanks so much for coming, man. I hope, I hope you have a good night, and I, I hope, I hope things with, you know, military drowning you on your finger. God, seriously, like, please keep track of that. Please keep track of that finger bit. Like, that, that's concerning. Yeah, thanks so much for coming, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, come on, come on. Yeah! There you go. Got enough time for two charge shots? Well, the bed is hard and dry as fuck. I mean, it's a good thing, right? Well, I guess not the hard bit, but the dry part. All right, let's see if we can, yeah, oh. Oh, yeah! Also, I appreciate that this guy's giving me ammo. You know what I mean? Like. Ah, he actually got me. Yeah. I think so. I don't know what the bit of a nail is when the nail's still on the finger. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. For some reason you said bed, I was thinking like lip like bed, not bed of the nail. But um yeah, if it if it's hardening up slightly and everything, that should be that should be a good sign. Yeah, so maybe it's moist. Yeah, like a little it, it's like a little it's a little bit of raw flesh. Oh, I just realized the energy source is turned off. Oh fuck. Um The energy source turned off. The energy source turned off. What do I do? But um yeah, I'd say just, you know. Keep, maybe keep it covered. Keep, you know, just stay careful with it. It'll, it'll be just fine before you know it. And, like, the nail will grow back and stuff. So, it's all good. I just know that, like, that shit can get inf that shit can get infected. Or, at minimum, just be, like, really painful. Shit. I don't know what he's grabbing onto. To be honest. So, I'm just kind of going now. I think that's the point. I think this is the part of the fight where you just kind of go for it. But I bet the same principle applies where, like, you try to convince him to, like, do an attack, and then you hop around. Jeez, he's at... Really, this guy is just... This guy is just freaky as... Oh, get out to look at. Shit. I'm okay. I can tank a surprise... Since I have, like, these to heal off of, I can tank a surprise him out. Oh, I'm actually hurting him. I'm actually just hurting him by, like, shooting him multiple times in the front. I decided to get into work because the side frame did not stay on the restaurant. Jeez, you have the worst luck. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. I think that's fate, though. Like, the, the like the moment you have a finger that, like, should not be touching anything just because, like, you know, it's weak for whatever reason or, like, it's vulnerable, immediately it starts touching everything. Like, I get that. Hey, come on. Ah, I missed. Come on. Ah, I, I can't quite. Yeah, I, w I would. <laughs> it wants the pain. The pain reminds it that it's alive without its armor. <laughs> How am I supposed to get around to its butt? Oh, shh. Lock, lock on, lock on. No, that didn't quite work. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it wants me to do it. I mean, like, there. Ah, shit. Shit. All right. Hey, on. Hey. Yep. Yeah, thanks so much for coming, Jail. It's always good to have you, man. There. With Jail's blessing, we. Oh, I can unclench my hand. Shit! Yeah! Grapple Guardian defeated. Fuck.
Yes. All right. Let's hit the next save point and we'll call round two fight. Honestly, that's what I was waiting for. Yeah, let's let's grab the grapple. You know, regardless of not or whether or not we actually can get, I don't think we'll get to the the last key tonight. We'll uh, ah. let's get to a save point and let's call it a stream. Hot damn! Grapple beam acquired. We'll also take another small break just to go to the bathroom. Initial data downloaded. Oh god. Nope. For a second I thought, oh, that's how it's gonna like teach me. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. I like it. Alright, alright. So let's find the nearest grapple beam. There you go. Just like the first game. Nothing to it. Ease peace. And you can see it's like locked off the two doors. Alright. Oh god. That fight felt so much more fair than the than like the, the Blarg fight. The Blarg fight was just like the Blarg fight was literally just fuck you. Like it was fuck you the fight. And oh my goodness, I was so infuriated. But this so much nicer. So much more like reasonable in nature. It was great. Okay. Uh how do I get out? Okay, well, the save point is up, although I could just take a portal and jump out if I'm understanding this area correctly. I could just take a portal and jump out, and then, uh, I don't remember where the last one was. It's not, it's not down there. It might be over there. There's one, there's one somewhere, or, oh, I don't remember where. There's one somewhere around here that's like... Might be that one. Shit, I, I actually don't remember. But like, literally, you walk in, you see it, and you're like, ah, shit, there it is, and that's the end of it. Like, it's that obvious. Um, I think if I like, oh, come on, fuck you. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, I was gonna say, I think if I like just hop here. And it'll zoop me all the way up. And then from there, we can get to that. There we go. And we can call it a stream. Or rather, instead of saying call it a stream, we... Uh, there we go. We can call it... Let's see. We can at least call it a Metroid stream. Alright, so, we're going to shift gears. Uh, Monday, a friend of mine named... Uh, shiny trash panda plays minecraft and uh let's see they're currently joined by uh ghost arcade who i think we played be with before and uh Redress, who is a good friend of the channel so uh yeah we're gonna go on a small break i'm gonna go to the bathroom we're gonna get metroid set up and uh yeah we will be there in just a bit so bloop.
Uh, oh, weird. There we, go. Cause we are live now. Cause mine, mine went automatic too, so I had no problems like click playing. Weird. So. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Hey, Matt. Well, anyway, hello. hello. Welcome back. You wow, that was a short problem. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> right, let me make sure let me make sure real quick that I have a ghost are you live right now uh, no I am not I'm not streaming because I'm not in the right headspace to stream right now so that means you're gonna say some out of pocket shit since, since both I and uh, Panda are streaming right yeah, yeah. they are I, I've got some stuff going on I just wanted to pop in and say hey to you so Oh, well, that's all good. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good night, though. I gotta take off. That's all good. See you later, Redders. Later. But no joke's on you. I'm all for the out-of-pocket shit. I've been playing Metroid Prime 2 and ranting like a motherfucker because uh, okay mm -hmm. so have you um mm -hmm. have you played a like resident evil zero or like code veronica yes Hello, yes. i know what it, but i have not played it yet okay so you definitely know what i'm talking about but um for you panda there are multiple stages in both of those games that are beginner traps where like if right? you do not know something is coming you will simply be put into a situation where um you know, like, hey, it would have been nice to save before this really difficult boss fight. Sucks to suck, bitch. And Metroid Prime 2 uh, did that to me, uh, like, two or three times in a row. Like, it was so annoying. It was, like, it took me an hour and a half to get to a spot. And then I was, and then I lost to a fight that was kind of bullshit. But, you know, hey, whatever, I lost. No big deal. No autosave. Hour and a half. And then, like, I... Try to save before it, but I didn't realize like how early on it cuts you off from a save point. So I lost another hour. <laughs> I'm sitting there just like this sucks, but it's all good. Yep, fell for one of the oldest ones. Yeah, it was the. What's worse is the enemy is literally like it's a fish, but like a bigger and a bigger fish. Like you have like the baby fish, the normal size fish, the big fish, and it's called like a blarg or something stupid. So I can't even take it seriously. It's not like Elvarg the Destroyer or whatever. It's just like Blarg. Would you get killed by Blarg? Dude, I am done with these people calling me. What? Stop. Who's calling you? Fucking, like do like hi. We got like I think someone put my number out on on something. I don't know what it is. Oh god. They're like, they're like hi. We. You contact this about this and this. I'm like, no, no, I didn't. And they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, I'm positive. Do not call me. And they're like, okay, we'll call you six more times. It's like, just to make sure. <laughs> you piece of shit. So all of Indian telemarketing is just like kicking your ass right it wasn't, now? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know how they got my number, but I'm super annoyed. It's, it's like 10 calls a day, and I'm getting extremely annoyed. You're not, like, blocking them every time you get them or anything? Oh, I do, but it they, it's a different is. number every single time. It doesn't matter. You about to say they from, like, six different, 16 different locations, and I'm just getting absolutely, like, irritated. No. Uh -huh. I don't even answer them anymore. I just, like, hanging up on them. Sorry to hear that. No, yeah, it's fine. It's frustrating, but it's fine. <laughs> We're all just in very ranty moods. It's a good sign. I'm pretty chill, but like, god damn it, it's cold, um, man. I'm mostly chill right now. Okay. And just re and recovering of a hangover. Oh, jeez. So. <laughs> you and Redress? Yeah. Uh, I did not know drinking. that Redress Red was drinking. Yeah, he, he said he was drinking with his cousin. Yeah, I am just recovering. That's all good. So I'll fully acknowledge I, I kind of come back high energy from streams, so I, I can make it a point to sit here and calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, you're, you're just streaming? 
Yeah. Oh. I normally stream on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, and I feel like I'm or Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I feel like an asshole that's plugging myself. I apologize. No, no, no. I'm, you can do that all you want. Yeah. But, um, I was like, I just didn't realize. Yeah. But that, that's why I wanted to make sure I ended a bit early so I could come and hang out. Oh, you don't have to do that. You're always welcome. You don't, you know. That's all good. I need to be more sociable. Uh, Tall Star, can I be seen? Um, in chat or I'm, I'm not. I... What? Uh, Tall Star's talking in the uh. Yeah, I'm confused with what she meant. Yeah. Oh, it's a she. I apologize. No, that's all good. She just hit you. She just hit you with an arrow, so it's fine. Good luck. I'm I'm embracing my inner dwarf right now. Hmm. Well, it's only if you come near this area she'll shoot you. Ah. Next. Next thing you know, it's Ace Ventura when nature calls all over again with the spear <laughs> in the leg. <laughs> Looked at her like. Ah! <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that movie. I, I need to collect a suitable amount of iron so I can make a, so I can make some auto things for the beginner area. Oh, her mm. back again. You know, you're really spoiled. You know that. You know this. You know this. No. Oh. Her chubs. You're chubby. You're so chubby. You're getting fatter. I swear to God. You don't have to call me out. Jeez. Jeez. Look, I know I'm look, I know I'm behind on working out, but I'm not like over the yeah. edge. I'm fuck. Back up for a ball. You're in my grill. Back up. She just it. wants your attention. I know she does. She just wants all my attention. She just wants it all. Here's the dog. Go bother William. He's he's not busy at all. What are you looking at? Hmm. Oh, fuck. Oh, come here. And you? speaking of someone uh getting attention. Hmm? Uh no, sorry. Saying things out loud, texting to someone. It's fine. No, oh, good. Sorry, you're dropping, you're dropping a lot of glass. Every time I look over, there's always glass in the water. What are y'all working on? The library. He's working on the library. I am venturing out and trying to find some cherry blossoms, Ooh. and they are pretty far. Oh yeah, yeah. so there, there's a new enough. update. Is that part of it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. What all I didn't I know it's like read the patch notes to burp burp burp, but I'm a heathen and I can't read. So what all is the No but I forgot uh, that. So we as much. there's new like bamboo things you can do. So there's like you can build doors and stuff. Ooh. And then there's like the new plant, the cherry blossoms. There's the sniffer. That's the sniffer? The, the sniffer, you heard you heard me. Oh okay, what does the sniffer do? Uh, it sniffs. Nips. It's in the name. Well, <laughs> what is, and yep, tall star, I can, I can see you. It's all good. It's, it sniffs something that's in the ground, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what it sniffs. I was going to say, to what function my... does it sniff? It. It's like a it, bloodhound. It's like a bloodhound. It, it, it finds something in the ground and then it tries to find it. Seeds? Okay. If you, if you look at my, my stream right now, you, you'll see it. Okay, it's like huge. Like a bloodhound. Oh, it's still really showing like me an ad grill. for Diablo. Look at that little bastard. <laughs> oh, and it and it just loaded. Up. God, it is behind. That's fine. God, I, it's like a beak nose thing. That's kind of cute. It's huge. But we also named it Karen because it keeps sticking its nose where it's not supposed to be. I was violated by the sniffer. Yeah, it, it gets up in your face and like sniffs your asshole and you're just like, bruh. 
She got up in your face. She got up in my ass. That's true. There on the right hand. There you go. Not gonna lie though, it's kind of cute. Just waiting for the plushies. Just waiting for another Minecraft I... plushie to come out. Oh, you know they will. They already got the bees. Now the sniffer is next. Kind of yeah, no, like that much, but. It. It's reminding oh. me of a striped shirt. Oh, hey, my tunnel. Awesome. I honestly didn't think I was going to find it like that. Alright, we'll do a nice little restock. Don't look at me like that star. <laughs> I should probably put stairs here. Especially if it goes off. <laughs> I should probably get away from this mob. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. I never actually claimed my bed. Alright. Can you please stop shooting at me? Are you upset with me? I like the other one. I like the one that the first one you did. All I said was move one strip up one block and then put the uh, like two more squares of black. You have offended, That's all I asked. You have offended my Not add another blue stripe. You have disgraced I know me I might have explained that people. horribly wrong the first time, but <laughs> god damn. I demand... What, what's the phrase that's always said what? like the old Japanese movies where like, I demand satisfaction. Yeah, it's that, it's that one. I demand satisfaction. Yeah, I think that's that's the line. Yeah, hmm. I need to watch more old Jap like old Japanese samurai movies. Like I never actually watched the uh, oh what is it called the uh, the Seven Sam the thing that Bugs Life is based on. The Seven Samurai. Oh. Like I never actually sat oh, down and watched it. So, if I'm going to make an automatic... I forgot, I have a goat horn. Hold on. Ah! Yeah, I heard my, my doggy cough and so I had to go figure out if she was okay. She already threw up once today, so... Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, she likes to get her snout and stuff where she's not supposed to. Right. And then she regrets it later. Hello, Logson. Hello. How is your day? Mm. Well. Alright, so we'll let those cook. And while I cook, I have to sit here and mentally remember how to make an automatic sugar cane, bamboo, uh, pumpkin, and watermelon farm. Uh, you need redstone, a... something that starts with a C. <laughs> uh, I basically need a bunch of pistons, and then the bamboo and the... Uh, the bamboo and the sugar cane, it just depends on how big I want to make it because that's just going to be like um essentially there's going to be like a watcher that once it gets tall enough they'll throw out a bunch of pistons and then hopefully it lands in a mine cart or uh, I can just make, make it a stream. big say what make it big make it big make it, big. Make it huge <laughs> tired is my day oh Okay, so then how many hoppers and shit do I need? Because if I do it with the mine card, I'm going to need that. You make a lot. Ah, I can never remember how to do it naturally. Um, I also have to check in the uh, starting house if there's any quartz, I believe. Is the... Any what? Quartz is what you use to make like pistons and stuff, right? Quartz. Okay, there's... Mm. They don't make quartz with pistons. What am I thinking of that needs quartz? Not that. Not that? Does a watcher need? No. Does a watcher need quartz? Oops. Hang on, now I gotta be an old man and Google it. I don't have it memorized like the kids do. Fine, right, here, I can look. I've created them before. Okay, hold on. Uh, 
Okay, is it called a watcher? Observer. Okay, observers need nether quartz. Okay, you, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? And a piston. So, to make it like a piston, you need iron, redstone, cobblestone, and planks. Just, okay, okay. An observer, you need, yeah, you need quartz, cobblestone, and redstone. Yeah, so if, uh,. If the starting house has quartz, I will nab it, but otherwise I will have to venture. Um, I don't you might, think you might so. not have to venture far. That's fine. No, but hold on. Let me let me go look real quick. Just watch myself jump on the bed while I'm waiting for the furnaces to work. <laughs> And then, you know, he's jumping on the bed. One falls off and hits his head. Mama called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more monkey jumping on the bed. Cool. Actually, while I'm waiting for that stuff to cook, no one say nothing. I'm stealing some sugar cane. No one will ever know. Uh, let's see. And when it comes back, who took my sugar cane? What the fuck? <laughs> that where, shit does not grow where? back! Where are you taking the sugar cane from? Uh, I think I'm on Red Rooster's Island. I don't actually remember. Wait, what? I'm, I'm not taking the bottom stump of it. I'm just kind of like swiping enough yeah, to like. from where? Wherever my. Uh... Oh, wait, I'm on Wham's Island. <laughs> You'll never know. You're on Wham's Island? I think so, yeah. Like. You will never know. Red Rooster dumped me <laughs> off in the middle of the wilderness and was like, this is a good hole to have. And I'm like, oh, this is a good hole to have. And thus has been my life. It, it, I, I didn't take the bottom things. They'll grow back. It's fine. No, that's just the... I don't mind you taking from other people's because he's usually a but like, doesn't really care. It's Schaefer that I'm pretty sure he would kill you for it. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to raid chest or anything. Like, I'm just, I'm just taking no, enough to start my shit. I know. There are some at the starting house, which you're really far away from. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I have almost two stacks of iron. That should Did be I find it? Should be I think I found it. Did I find it? I'm trying to find. I think I found it. Did you? Cherry blossoms. Noise. Stream it so you can see. Uh... I just want to see if it is. If it's not, then my eyes are playing tricks. Bless you. Bless you. Wait, those, are, you. those were sneezes? Yeah. Oh, because you died. They were so quiet. I was like, I didn't, I didn't, oh, I yeah, I don't see loudly. Well, I try not to, anyway. Just like the most polite little. Yeah. Okay, okay. I guess, like falling from high places on purpose to like reset or purpose right. wings just died oh my god i found it Stream? all right all right all right all right all right i'm gonna cheat all right here it is finally found it a single tree. Oh, nice. No, there's two trees. Uh, spotted. Yeah, spotted just only the two from up the top and uh, oh. three. Four. There's three. Go into the biome. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, they are. Well, then. Oh, I realize you could Time to them. harvest them and bring them back home. That's so much easier. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's keep that picture on the side. Uh, I always forget exactly how, like, redstone works with, like, different blocks. So I have to, like, keep Googling huh? to remind myself. You know, like... Do you know um, where the arena is? The... Yeah, cherry sapling. Yeah. I was going to say, it's me or Ghost. Uh, I was talking to you. Ghost knows where it is. Okay. I mean, vaguely. 
Because if you go to the arena, I can give you some cords. Oh. War. Alright, I, I will I will do so. Alright, um, do I need anything important from here? Green world, diamonds are blue. Do 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 okay. Uh, Let's see if I can navigate my Ooh. way home. Um, okay, Panda, uh, for your tree farm, there's going to be room for these cherry saplings, right? I have to make room for them, but yeah. I think I actually have an empty plot that we can put them in. Okay, cool, because I'm going to try to, um, you know, Grown? bring yeah, some as fine. much as I can and then... Because I can always expand the tree farm. Oops. I got the blaze and cheat one time. Uh... God, everyone. I just thought it wasn't me. I was gonna say, everyone's going nuts on that. We don't. Well, we're also working from very high areas, so. Makes sense. You know, it's not shocking that we at least got one of us or two of us don't. God, I forgot just like. Red Rose's place is just like absolutely chock full of nature, and I love it. Yeah, he does a really good job. That's why he's in charge of my garden. Yeah, it's just for like. The library. It's like flowers everywhere. It's beautiful. So if you follow the pathway, you should be able to find either the church, which is under construction. I think I'm looking at the church. Or the castle. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe that looks church like. Okay, so if you go towards the cathedral and then you turn, like, go towards the cathedral, keep going down that pathway, you'll find the arena. Oh, I popped into someone else's house. And a giant. Steal their shit. <laughs> Steal their shit. Steal their shit. <laughs> it ain't a full B and E if you don't steal their shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's also illegal in this uh, server. That's sir. only if the lawman catches us. Duh. You were literally talking to the law. What? What? Only if, what? Only if someone from the law catches us. Yeah. She, I know she's here, but you know. They'll, 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 they'll never. They'll never know. Just, just panic. Just don't yeah. tell on us. This don't isn't a laughing matter. Just don't be a snitch. <laughs> All right. We'll be fine. <laughs> I think I went to the cathedral the wrong uh... way. Uh, okay, I see a sign that says There's down. There's only one with... entrance. What are you talking about? I came into it from the wrong angle. It says down with the establishment. <laughs> down with this. And I see a down heart. And... Oh, wait, is that the cherry tree? That's wait, oh, I know where you are. You're near the You're near the library. Oh, that's... this is Man! <laughs> Hold on. Man, they look the same. <laughs> How's I supposed that. to know? Do not say that to me. Whoa, shit. Hi. I feel like I went Hi. full circles. <laughs> How dare you say that my creations look the same? Well, like, it's the same general shape. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Well, then, never mind then. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> <laughs> We're very far away from the arena, so you're just gonna have to... You have to hoof it. Come on along. Oh wait, you know okay. what? Hold on. Uh, Panda, if you want the coordinates, it's. Just write them down for me and send them to me because I'm not gonna remember. And she flew off. Hold on, stay there. It's fine. I'm, yeah, I'm getting some. Yeah, I'm getting some. All right, come on uh... over here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Writing them down. Oh, oh wait, can I not? Write... Is this a bamboo boat? Yeah, it's I a bamboo love it. Boat. It's so cute. It's like a little raft. A little raft, it's adorable. So I'm trying I'm trying to look around just like remember exactly where everyone's house is. This is my island's pretty easy to find, mostly because it's right next to Redress's. Uh oh, I made the wrong turn. Hello, goodbye, chicken. When I make the KFC, yeah. I'm coming for your ass. I'm gonna go through this way. The KFC will be another fun invention. I have a full farm like of chickens. Table. I have a full farm of chickens. Nice. I'll be. You can go ahead and take them, and uh, don't forget to. Uh, well, you know, don't kill all of them because they will breed like rabbits. 
um for the automatic <laughs> kfc uh actually ghost i don't think you're there when i talked about it so the basic idea of it is you get like okay you got me yeah the cathedral does look different but i was more referencing like the peaks of it you know what i mean but yes it does look different you got me there but uh so the uh, kfc works by like we get a shit ton of chickens all on top of one hopper and then the hopper feeds into a dispenser it you know it fires the eggs and then basically on a timer we have a a dispenser that like releases lava for a second and then pulls it back in so it kills the chickens with the lava cooks the meat automatically and drops into another hopper bam infinite chicken like a literal fast food chain yes I never said it was ethical. <laughs> just that it's efficient. If you want to go faster, you just add more. You just add more chickens to the top. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Give me a fan. And with this, I shall. Uh, move. here, just take the pistons. There's two pistons on me. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Do you need a dropper? Uh. Oh, hello there. But, um, oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> Water breathing. Ow. It's. Sorry. But, um, let's see. Him. Two pistons, the furnace, the wool, it's for him. Oh, well, thank you. But I don't think we actually need that. We have the, uh, what's the one eyeball thing? Oh, well, thank you. Oh, yeah, that's only around my island, though. Oh, okay. Um, uh, do you need cobblestone? Whoa, that's a lot of eyeball. Okay, um. It's a lot of what? Eyeballs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these. Aww. We have a, we have a, we have a Thank you thing all. in the nether that kills them. We Wait. have a lot of eyeballs. Wait, you have a thing in well, the nether that kills them? Whoa, ow. This is cobblestone. Yes. I, I put it beside Enemies the other cobble. Oh. There you go. I put Enemies it are way out here. I put it beside the other cobblestone, I'm sorry. This is all the supplies I use for the arena, so Oh, so I'm donating to the cause. <laughs> how the fuck do you get crying obsidian and why do you have so much of it? Oh, you can trade with the, the pigs in the nether. Uh... They like gold. Well, I didn't know they did that. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. And then there's beds up here. Oh, well, it's okay. Someone took the beds up there. There's no more beds up there. That's crazy. There used to be five beds. Now there's only one. <gasps> they moved out to college. I'm so proud of them. You're going into the glass there, yeah? That's, no, that's a glass that. factory down there. No, just look at it here. Okay, so... One day I'll finish this. One day. <laughs> Alright. So now... And she's gone. Alright. Now I gotta find a way back to the beginner island. Uh, just keep following the path all the way down to yeah. the cross bridge. Like the four-way bridge. And then take a... A right, right. Right. Yeah. Maybe I should put signs. Honestly, signs would be dope. Well, now that there's hanging signs. Oh, is that is that part of the update? Yeah, it looks Ooh. really cool. It actually is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I like what they added with all this update. We can have, like, the old medieval, like, signposts, you know, that there's, like, eight of them all po pointed in, like, different directions. Yeah. If I knew the place better, I would make those, but I do not. Also, is which this is not the wait? Oh, this this is the this is the tree farm. Okay, this is the tree farm. Yeah, if you go past the tree farm, it should be the bridge. Yep, I I saw bees on some of them. That's why I was like, ooh, I don't know if I wanna, I don't I don't know if I can steal from that. Yeah, you're almost there. Yep, I'm I'm gone. Ow, I'm gone. God, I'm still amazed at this place. Alright. Uh, what do you need at the starting house? Well, I figured 
it would be a good place to if i was gonna make an automatic sugarcane bamboo uh pumpkin melon chicken farm right all those things that are infinite for new people that'd be a good place for it why are you going over here say what why are you going over here isn't this isn't this it no this is not this is uh megan's cabin so it is you got me there yeah she accidentally built it on the um the tree this the tree the spawning tree house tree farm we already we already established that it wasn't an okay thing, but she wasn't here when the the talk happened. Yeah, the t the talk. So she wasn't around. Also, when we her discussed house the birds will be up for bees. auction for in another week because she hasn't appeared in the server. Ah. All right, so this is it. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, great. If you're gonna build anything like that, please don't destroy the building. No, of course, of course not. I was gonna like you make a little build... offshoot on the side of it. You can like work here, or you can build next to it. Yeah. There's a lot of room. No, re rest assured, I I'm, I do not plan on destroying any houses or anything. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say you can build like out here, or right here, because there's a lot of room next to this one house. Yeah. So go for it. Yeah. Just don't spawn. You can't build on this spawn island because it kind of refuses it. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So. Hey. I, I must I must sit here and visualize my masterpiece. Go for I forgot I'm that I'm done this shit. I probably won't stay for for very much longer. I'm pretty wiped. Oh, that's all good. And physically, mother, so. mother, mother, mother. That's all good. Last thing I want to do is keep you up. That's all good. You're not forcing me to do anything. Oh, I can do that when the cherry blossoms are done? Oh, I did not know that. I did not know I can pick them up. Okay. Spiders. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I have to build... If I have to build the island manually... How much... Jeez, there's another entire chest full of enderize. How much do I care about making it look good versus just practical? Please make it look good, or else I will rebuild it. Well, <laughs> because I have, if it like if there's a really good looking building right next to it, and there's just like this if building, I'm gonna have issues. I I am sorry. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm not very good at like architecture. I'm I more you go need, for like you very need practical. Plans? I can give you some to use. Uh, okay, now, now I have to look at this again. I have to think how to make it look good. I have blueprints. <laughs> I, I designed quite a bit. I've noticed from the giant yeah, freaking you see cathedral. My <laughs> have you seen this shit? <laughs> you know, I was having the barn this way. I started with a dirt house many years ago. I still use I still use dirt houses. Bobby House has not been sold yet, but it's been on hold because there's a rumor he might be coming. So oh god, I put it on hold for now. Now I'm scared to even build the things nearby this nice house because I'm gonna lower its property value. <laughs> like, oh god, now I'm nervous. Fucking, what's the organization from Animal Crossing that like judges the shit out of you if you aren't matching? I don't know. It's like the homeowners associate. Oh, oh shit! Luca, hello! Oh, shit already? Well, I need to make sure I give Luca a proper shout out. Sorry. Luca? Yeah, thank you so much for rating. I really appreciate it. Hello! I don't know if I actually have it set up to shout out Lord Luca. I hope I do. Yeah. It did, uh, no, I thought I had it set up, but I do not have it set up. I apologize. I apologize. How dare you? You can't give people support? Um, well, I, uh, okay. <laughs> Make me feel it's like funny. an asshole, why don't you? <laughs> yes, that is my job. Oh, <laughs> it's, your jo oh geez, it's your job now. Mm. It's not, it's not my job. It's, it's not. Thank you so much. It, oh. The, and probably, like, immediately. The least person to, to have that job. 
immediately mm. people are posting the web is coming for you because Luca knows that I'm afraid of spiders. So. <laughs> she is the spider queen. Yep. Ah, uh, thanks so much for playing, Tall. It's always good to have you. Are you you going out, Tall? Oh, good night, Tall. No, I'm going out. Thank you so much, Tall. I really appreciate all your help. Actually, if anything. Good night. Also, category doesn't say Minecraft, bro. Does it? <laughs> have I told you so that I'm a professional? Just immediately take it. It's kind of uh, annoying. Have I told you that I'm a professional? Yes, you are top grade professional. I am the I'm the bottom F tier professional. <laughs> okay, look, I'm, I got I got I got double checking to make sure it says Minecraft. Thank you for thank you for telling me that. I really appreciate it. Okay, okay. It, it says Minecraft now. Okay, I think I've got. All right. Well, you know what? I got nine cherry saplings and That's pretty a couple good. of cherry logs. A couple of cherry logs. Okay, time to die. In game. In game. <laughs> time, In game. Time to die. <laughs> we both In get game. banned. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's like, dang, Ghost, you're trying to take both of us out. Yes, hello, Luca. Thanks so much for coming in for the raid. I really appreciate it. How's it going? Bye. Hello, Luca. <laughs> Since I'm an asshat and I don't have the shout out thing, I don't know what game you were playing previously, but but I really appreciate you saying bye. And yes, you can quote me on that. And also, you guys can help me. Where in the world should I put automatic farms so I don't lower the property value of Panda? Underground. It's not my property. It is your, it is your property. It's not my property. It is it's your not, property. It's not my property. <laughs> You literally own the server. It is your property. That would mean that I own everyone's island. You that's kind not of okay. do. You're the land. You just told me. You just told me that if I build this and it doesn't look good, you're going to rebuild it. Because if people spawn in and there's an ugly building. That's, that's you know, exactly. You're the landowner. No, underground. No, like that. Okay. You're saying I should build it underground. Yes. But if I do it, that, way, mm. it will not lower the property value. This is true. No one will know. It's a secret. <laughs> but that's exactly. the but that's the problem. I need I need it to be publicly available enough so that like um so you know people know to like come in and like grab the food and stuff out of it. Do Do you not know how underground club popularity is or right, get, get over. the word out? You, ma your make everyone over. Oh, make everyone. <laughs> Use thieves can't. Oh, I, I, wait, we're using thieves can't thieves now. Can't. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I'm an elder tonight fighter. Sonata. I'm not a rogue. <laughs> Ass! I'm gonna Moonlight die. Sonata, chicken wing, riddle riddle, wink wink. This is the worst thieves can't I think I've ever heard. <laughs> wink wink. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. Oh, I'm sorry, that got me. Uh, that was good. Uh, 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 oh come on! In every D and D group, like. No one can establish like real thieves can't. So they all go um, uh, middle of the night. Uh, tink tink, dink link of oh Macbeth, whatever. The I had one person, so um, so I'm not. Gonna... I've arrived. Hello. Hi, Hello. Uh, sorry, I'm late. I got held up with all kinds of shit. Oh, you're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. But right. um, hi Max, hi Panda, hello. and hi. hi Ghost. Hi. Hello. But anyways, you were saying. So as a quick, so as a quick story time. Um, so I've been playing D and D for however many years, but uh, my sister and her friend like asked like, "Hey, could you run a game for me?" It's also the first time that um, my now wife played D and D as well, and her, mm -hmm. the the friend, her name was Michelle. She wanted to be a ro. A, yeah, she wanted to be a rogue, if I remember correctly. And she actually, without really even thinking about it, came up with real thieves can't. Like, she would always, like, talk to people very vaguely about things, like, almost like mafia levels. Like, I have a certain friend that has a, you know, they can help you around back if you need anything. Or, like, when she was threatening people. Oh, I'm trying to remember exactly how she would say it. She would just, like, allude uh, to, like, you'd be wearing a new scarf that might not match your current clothes. And, like, that was her way of saying, like, I will gut you and, like, slit your throat. It was actual Thieves' Can. It was really fun. <laughs> As opposed to That's just, like, awesome. weird jar. Yeah, it was, like, genuinely threatening shit. 
and I was all for it. Even though it was How a one-off, like it, it was still How many a lot blocks of fun. Do you need? Say what? How many blocks do you need? How many blocks do I need? Yeah, for the like, how long is it? Okay, so about yay long. Thank you. In You're this welcome. long. I'm sorry. My first, Thanks. my first instinct was to say six inches. Wow. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's another joke. Who just like, yo, like, how deep is the snowbank? Six inches. So is it like six inches or like six inches? It's like, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> freezing yeah oh, oh freezing six freezing. inches oh, okay i understand i understand <laughs> all right freezing. anyway how long is it um oh god i'm Man, not i'm said, not good inches. at designing shit i'm sorry i'm, I'm no, just blocks how many blocks is it how i don't know six, 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 i don't know <laughs> considering a block is one inch six of them uh okay you just said uh, come on man how Okay, let's let, let's let, let let's just let's just establish this. Where are you okay with me making stuff that might be kind of ugly? Just period. Underwater. Well, shit. <laughs> well, fuck. I'm gonna have to move the Look, entire tower underwater. Like, damn it. Back. I'm back. gonna have to Look move my head underwater. Damn. Look at me. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to help you design it so it looks good. <laughs> She. But, I, but I, why are you backing up so fast there i need to know how long because you're intimidating the man panda oh my god <laughs> he's fearful right now honestly i'm getting secondhand fear right now because of you <laughs> take some of my fear <laughs> take some of my fear damn this is a lot <laughs> okay look i if i knew the exact numbers i would tell you but i don't <laughs> well have you built this before yes but that doesn't mean I know the numbers by heart. Well, okay. I'm trying to figure out how long I need to make the building. Well, Probably got... long. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad to help. <laughs> Anytime, Panda. But, um... No, that that's why I'm more asking about, like, is there an area you're okay with me defacing in the name of God? Because then I could just go and figure it out and try to make it look nice and, like, get the right blocks What if I stuff. build an area for you? Sh sure! Is that a no? Yeah! <laughs> Let okay. it be known, this is just the point where Panda is just completely <laughs> sick of trying to negotiate and is just saying, fuck it, I'm taking matters into my own hands. A little point. bit. I... <laughs> As soon it as he told me that it was gonna look, oh god, I glitched. Nope. As soon as like he was gonna tell me that like he, he does not know how to design, I was well, like, bruh. Well, okay, it's you know not. What? It's not necessarily that it's gonna look ugly. It's that there's gonna be pistons and observers and like machinery going around and maybe a minecart going back and forth and it's not well, like this idyllic okay. like, perfect neighborhood that you've made here and it sounds beautiful to me the clank of machinery, perfect. the squeeching. That's because we're dwarves. The screeching deep of down. steel on steel. We get on, it. Man. Yeah. Okay, oh my right. god. Oh my god. I made it as a joke, no, here, but here, here, but here, you know here, what? Okay. But you know what? Underground sounds pretty pretty nice. Make it underground. Yeah, this I know, is an right? abandoned mine. Use this. Well, it needs sunlight. Actually, wait, no. If you have enough torches, does not count as sunlight. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you could just put like these. Make a right fucking here. hole. That's it. We're taking, <laughs> we're taking a <laughs> fucking <laughs> hole <laughs> that leads up. It will devour the sun. I've per I've perfect. done enough um red like underground uh plant like stuff down uh, although there is a zombie spawner down here but you cool. can always just put like trap doors to make it hidden I'm gonna beat my head against shit. every part of the <laughs> ceiling panda's too much in the underground scene she just never stops talking about it i'm trapped here i just Bro. realized no there's a door behind you so there is sweet freedom yeah. wait hold on so like how do the zombies like get killed or is it just that they like show up down here i don't know this i don't know this was Don't built by. This shit. was built like at the when the server was first created. Cool. Which was two years ago. Yeah, it has been and around been since the ancient since. times. Since the days of yore. I was there Yola. when it was written. <laughs> <laughs> I beheld it with mine own two eyes. So yeah, this you are welcome to take over this mine shaft and 
build and we could just put signs saying, hey, there's like food down here. Yeah, I was there when Moses created the 15 commandments. <laughs> there were 10. We don't talk about the third tablet. He threw one of them. Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> he threw two technically. But... <laughs> that, uh, that one had some stuff on it that uh, didn't exactly forbid, but encouraged some things that maybe ought not to be encouraged. Talking about Narnia, but this is fine. Okay. I, don't yeah. have like, I was talking about Mel Brooks history of the world, but you know, that scene was oh, pretty yeah, fucking hilarious. Oh, God, you know, oh, that went right over my fucking head. Gosh damn it. Hey, everybody, uh, God gave me these 15, one of the tablets breaks, 10 commandments. Oh, yeah, because he dropped it. He's like, ah. Oh. It's been a minute since I've watched those. I feel uneducated. Okay, well, oh, let's... my God. I right. cannot believe that went right over my head. I feel so ashamed. Right. And I call myself a Mel Brooks fan. Gosh, I was hoping I, I was hoping you you would catch that whim. I didn't. I failed. I'm gonna have to tell Mel Brooks that I'm a fake fan of his. I'm gonna have to write him a letter and flog myself in shame. Right. To be honest with you, I didn't even know that was Mel Brooks. I just knew the video. This this uh, chat yeah. is our goal right here. This is what we're gonna make. It's gonna be great. Okay, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, I, I hear zombies. 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 Uh, so like how much shit. insane uh like lights do you In need the to how, how much insane lights do you need to make things believe that it's sunlight to light uh, up the actually, world actually not that much not that you much you just need to make sure that the entire ceiling is covered okay i could do that have it's you ever pretty, been to a disco tech before it's not before. that hard for the plants to think that they're in an open air shit shit Shit. 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 Yes. Okay, so you being the avid Metroid fan you are, right? Have, yes. You have played I Metroid. Like where this is going. You have played Metroid Prime Two, I assume. Yes. That Metroid Prime Two Echoes. I am fully familiar with it. The Blargfish is bullshit. The Blargfish remind me. That's the uh, one. It's that's like, like this the big third cone. boss in the. It, it's no, um. Okay, I'm, I'm, you get I'm just remembering that. Never mind. The the blar it's like this cone thing that basically you have to like shoot it with a missile so it gets pissed at you and rushes at you, but it only can actually be hurt like right before it hits you. Yeah, you have to it's like if you hit it just right at it you can hurt it, but you have to do it like multiple times. Yeah. That fish is bullshit. Mm. Not really. I'm trying to remember. Like, able to like, you know, dodge and roll every single time. But you're underwater and, and they, they well, give wait, you yeah. wait, no no no. Hold on. This is like after you get the dark suit, correct? Yes. Yes. yes, I okay, have the dark yes. suit, and I'm in the second area. Yes. Okay, yep, okay. So I'm vaguely remembering that area. That's uh, Torvis Bog, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I remember the area. I don't remember the specific boss. I'd have to go back through and um replay it, because it's been like a decade since I played Here, the Prime I, Trilogy. I can send you a photo. I don't... Uh, yes. If you send me a photo, I will like almost instantaneously remember. I mean, My if you want. Photographic. Oh, she's already Whichever dead, one. So get it. But, um... No, that fish is bullshit because I didn't realize it, but when you actually unlock the area to get into it, it locks you away from a save. I lost an hour and a half, and then I lost, like, Wait. another hour trying to get back to it. Wait, and it locks you out of a save? Like, you can actually legitimately soft lock yourself out of that? What well, the fuck? Well, no, it's if just that, like... If you don't know beforehand and you don't save, then yes. Yeah. Like, you cannot get back to a save point unless there is some magical way to do it, of which, heck if I know... There's the glitch, but I don't. I've only seen one person do it. I no, do not know no any of these glitches. glitches. No glitches. But um. So like, I don't know exactly how it's done, but presence. apparently when when it like starts charging at you, instead of like trying to get out of its way, you go like run at it and then you dive, and apparently mm. you get into its stomach and it glitches you back to where you originally were. What? I don't know how it's done. I've only seen one person do it. I was trying to do the, uh, like, okay, sorry, the, the other reason that that boss really annoys me is because they give you the, uh, whatever it's called, the little suit so you can actually, like, move around in the water, right? And, you know, God bless yes. you, it's wonderful, it's great. 
but you only move vertically very slowly. And the fight is not designed for you to move vertically. It is designed for you to move laterally. So that's bullshit already. But no, I, I, I got really annoyed with it because I, I felt like I could only hit it if I myself took a hit. And it took me three tries until I like got the rhythm down for it. And I just hated that it like locked me away from getting to a save. So I had to, on the third try, like specifically make a point to stop what I was doing, go all the way upstairs, get to a save point. <laughs> And yeah, I, I, feel I, you on that. I I was a little pissy, I, not gonna lie. I can't say I blame you. So like here's the thing, right? Like everybody knows that like in ninety percent of games, underwater levels are absolute bullshit. The Metroid series totally fucking reinforces that. Yep. I remember I was so fucking pissed in the first game when you were in Padrina Drifts and you went through that long ass underwater section to get the gravity suit. I hated the fuck out of that. Oh god. It so irritated me. It I still have PTSD about it to this fucking day. So Your visibility good. is so fucking limited. Yep. You're limited to like half a mile an hour while going ahead and wandering around down under the deep blue sea where there are literal tentacles that are ready to ass fuck you at any particular point in time this is and true. it's just like come on man please can i just get the gravity suit and go home right. i'm tired so what made that worse for me when i did it was um okay i don't remember the exact names of the areas but it was basically like the space pirate like ship that you're trying to get into right like that was the area you oh, yeah. need, needed the uh, gravity suit for right yeah, so I the, went uh, frigate Orphean, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so I was trying to get into the frigate without, like, I thought the gravity suit would be on their ship, not somewhere mm -hmm. separate. So I made nope. my way all the way there, and I got an energy cell or power core or whatever it's called. I'm sorry, that mouthful of things. And, um, <laughs> that's all good. The, the guy, like, not the guy, but like your little, like, on screen, like, hint thing was like, hey, by the way, you need to leave. I was like, what? Yeah, you just, <laughs> you just need to go Excuse home. Me. Just, just just go go somewhere else where fuck if i know i'm not gonna tell you you just you shouldn't be here and that made me so mad that's like you couldn't have told me this 18 rooms before no you had to tell me this now when i'm all the way so i had to like crawl all the way back up with all the ass fucking tentacles and it was just infuriating <laughs> If it's any I... consolation, I made that exact same mistake, too. Oh, like, God. I would only get so far, and I was just like, how the fuck do I get past this? And then, like, that damn hint system would come up, and like, oh, detecting software, and Fadrina drifts, and it's like, oh, I have to go here. Yeah, which all is all the way all on the other the... side of the gosh damn world. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's all <laughs> the way on the other side, and I'm sitting there just like, son of a bitch. Like, I yeah, love I the metric. Oh, sorry, what? I oh. got distracted. I li like, I forgot how to spell blog, and I was like, oh, it's alpha blog yeah it's blog then, it doesn't have a oh, name it's it, alpha blog the fucking it oh, doesn't even gigantic. have a name that you can take seriously it's not like oh this is the super cool space pirate weapon da, da, da. it's fucking blog that's it's right it's like a, blog. i don't it's care a, it's called blog. that's right i remember it's it now. named after the sound thing. you make when you puke i can't take it seriously <laughs> and that bitch killed me Felt oh, dude, awful. he's killed everybody multiple times. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it yeah, happens. Don't worry, you're not alone. Don't <laughs> worry about it. It's fine. And then I fought, like, the... Okay, I know it's not called the Grapple Demon. It's, like, the Grapple Beast or whatever. But, like, I fought mm -hmm. that thing. That thing was fun. It was engaging. I enjoyed it. I liked, the you know, trying to bait it into grabbing stuff. It was a good time. Blog's a dick! <laughs> I do hate to break this to you, Max, but maybe this is just like a personal thing for me, but there is a boss that is even more irritating than that, and oh. it's a, obviously a late game boss, but oh, when you God. run across it, you're going to know what I mean, and you're just going to be like, fucking damn it, Wham, why? Awesome. <laughs> By the way, Jim like, hello, I see you. You're definitely to, not late. To be honest with you, like, if you're able to hit when its mouth is open, that's 50% of its damage. So. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's how the blards work. Like, because of those yeah. fucking mandibles, they're armored. So if you hit it, like, your missiles aren't going to do shit. You always have to wait until that particular moment when it opens its mouth just when it's about to charge, and then boom, hit it with a missile. Right. It. I hate it. And, like, okay, as a mechanic on paper, that's totally fine. It's fun. It encourages reactionary shit. This all assumes you can dodge worth a damn. And you, you kind of can't. 
Like, if I remember correctly, well, wait, if I, hold, if, I, if I remember correctly, and this might just be me misremembering, but if you do hit the Blarg whenever it's about to charge and it opens its mouth, it should automatically stun it and stop it, correct? Yeah, the uh, the yeah. normal ones and the baby ones, yes, but the boss one, it did not. It would just keep charging. What? No. I'm... Are you sure about that? Uh, I, unless I, I remember. Unless I did Blarg, it wrong the entire time, which I'm willing to accept as a possibility. I'm How recently this have you played? My Today. Is different. I, How recently have you played? To Do you have like? Is your VOD of it still up? Uh, my VOD is my oh current my stream right now. Like Dude, I, I didn't stop streaming. I just, I just joined oh, right into Minecraft. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're playing it earlier. Okay. If I remember, if work does not sidetrack the fuck out of me, which I make no promises on, I will go ahead and review the video and um, <laughs> just let you know uh, from my opinion if you were able to hit hit it correctly or not. I will review the video, tell you that you have resting bitch face and that you're a dumbass. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, I'll review I was... the video, tell you that you're a handsome man and that your wife is a very lucky woman, and then I will tell you exactly how much of a fuck up you are because of balance. She knows. <laughs> but no, I, I'll fully admit, I was I was pissy okay. and annoyed. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of. Now. I'm I'm not afraid of admitting that whatsoever. I was probably yeah, doing it wrong. Man. Hey, to air is human, dude. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We all learn from our experiences. Like, I, I really am enjoying doing the Metroid franchise series. Like, it's a lot of fun. But every game, there's always, like, just one part of it where I have to get really pissy. And it gets really annoying because I don't know where to go. And I have to Google it. I feel like a dumbass. <laughs> it happens well, every I'm... single game. Uh, every single Metroid game, like clockwork. Well, if I remember correctly, like... Echo should have a hint-based system, just like in the first one, where if you yep. dick around for long enough where you have no idea what the fuck to do, like, your HUD will pop up and be like, hey, dumbass, go to this area, and it'll yep. be like, oh, okay. It did that for the, uh, Seeker Missile. Like, I walked into the bog, and it's like, hey, you know, hey, fam, you might want this. So it's like, w w what is this? I don't know. Just, just go. Just get there. It's like, uh, okay, sure. How do I get there? I'll never tell. Blue. It's like, great. <laughs> Here's the general area. It's up to you to go ahead and find out, fucker. It's past these doors with the purple locks with five block with five little <laughs> bolts on them that I need to go ahead and get through. Oh yeah, you need the secret missile for that. But I'm trying to get to the secret missile. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Yep. You, Best you, of luck. You just perfectly <laughs> called what happened to me because like, okay, so first off, when you highlight it, it's also the great temple when you go up, right? So I went mm -hmm. up the stairs to the the moth fucker and i was just like hey buddy how's it going he's like what 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 are you why are you here like leave me alone i'm sitting there like i so confused i thought this is what you wanted <laughs> it's like no i'm here now i could have sworn this is exactly what you needed was my presence nope it's like uh no I, you uh... please save our dying race of people from like the twily if you could that'd be great and i was like uh, <laughs> oh, okay i guess <laughs> I'm so confused. I just watched the like somebody doing the alpha blog. Um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> the stun alpha it. blog, the ultimate of all blogs. I, I the hate one it. you must watch. I hate that thing so much. But it doesn't. It doesn't stun it. No. It's not just oh, me. It doesn't stun it. Ha! Okay. All right. So I misremembered but, then. My bad. Yeah, I I thought I remembered it differently too. So you're not alone. Okay. But good. It does show that you're able to dodge it when it does. You got like your like, little like. You sidestep thing yeah you have the uh -huh. sidestep and then you're able, like it's able to damage the stuff when it runs into the wall when it gets stuck you're you can just charge up your your thing and then it's gonna do like it's mini bolts yeah and you just kind of like sidestep around you can those. hit it again because it's gonna charge once after that yeah I, I basically got into a rhythm of like i would charge shot it like as it was coming towards me i'd like fire the missile and then sidestep so it would like hit it in midair it would hit it would hit the wall behind me charge shot it again rinse repeat it was a very tense yeah, you have, fight. No. It's, it's literally rinse for it's a rinse repeat battle, which, in my opinion, I mm -hmm. didn't. I don't like those type of battles because they're just boring to me. I mean, I feel like a lot of Metroid bosses are like that, though. Pretty I much. I remember yeah. one that's different, to be honest. You like, know, no matter how many how many advanced games that there are, uh, all the boss fights will be the same. Nothing will change that. Rinse repeat. Find the rhythm. Yeah. I mean, like, okay, so just taking, like, Metroid Prime Unless 2. Unless it's Dark Souls and Bloodborne, because then that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. just taking Prime 2, the uh, the fight with Dark <clears throat> Samus, like, at least the first round, right? I assume it's going to be two or three more. 
She felt yeah, like she like had three more. She felt like she had a, like a lot going on. She would have a shotgun blast. She would like charge you. She would fire a beam. There was like a ton of stuff going on. And then you fight Blarg, where it's like I have two things and two things only. Good luck. For oh, her. <laughs> Max. Quick question. Do you mind if I go ahead and spoil something for you? It's not anything related to um. It's not anything related to two. It's actually related to one. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, what difficulty did you play Metroid Prime One on? Out of curiosity. Uh, remind me what the options were. It just like uh, easy there normal was, hard for it, a veteran. It, it was easy normal hard. Uh, I There's wanna no say I played it on veteran, but I know I, I was not no fast veteran. enough. Veteran. <laughs> oh, well, there is but, no veteran. You know what I mean? The hard or whatever it's called. I wanna say, but I could be wrong. Okay. So I do definitely. You remember the do you remember the ending from it like at all? Oh, like how the hand came out of the ooze. Yep, okay, so you definitely yep. did play the hardest ending. Yep, so okay, so you know that Dark Samus is Metroid Prime then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right, that was going to be my tidbit I shared, because most people play it on normal difficulty, and the only way you get that ending is if you play it on the hardest difficulty. So in case you didn't, I was just going to go ahead and let you know that. But you got it, so cool. Yeah. I saw that and went like, oh, shit, Dark Samus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's Dark Samus. I actually didn't realize that until um I went back, because I had played – prime one the very first time i played it that was like my first metro game i ever played by the way mm -hmm. um i played it on normal difficulty and was just like oh sweet and then uh, suddenly out of nowhere i saw dark samus i was like oh cool so apparently everything in the dark world has its own mirror including samus that's interesting so then i after i beat two i was like you know what i want to go ahead and go back to one but i want to play it on hard get a diff really difficult challenge so i played it and then i was like wait i don't remember this scene once i saw like a little pulsating bulb and stuff then i saw the hand pop out and i was like what the fuck excuse me it was like such a fucking mind freak moment for me i was just like no i thought she was part of the dark world you mean to tell me that she flew all the way across space just to antagonize me i appreciate the petty but what the fuck yeah they ha they haven't revealed how she got there yet and that's kind of something i'm wondering too that's like we're on a different planet how did she get here <laughs> or like was oh, she being guy. carried by like the marines or I'm sure they'll talk I about it. I believe that gets explained in three. Don't quote me on that, though. Okay. Yeah, I think um, if I'm going by chronological, I think I have to play other M before three, but I could uh, be wrong about that. I'd have to look, uh, I'd have to look no. at the Wikipedia other, again. Other, other M, chronologically, other M takes place between Metroid 2, Return of Samus, and um, Super Metroid, oh, which is Metroid 3. Sorry, I, I misspoke. Not chronologically. I'm going by release order. Oh, you're going by release order. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I just looked up, uh, there it is, release timeline. Okay, so it's Metroid Prime 2, which is Echoes, and then Pinball Hunters. Okay, and then there's Corruption, and Oodles. then Other M is in 2010. Oh, Panda, thank you for the raid. Call in a day. Yeah. I okay. didn't want to interrupt you, so I deafened myself so I could, like, do my little goodbye, and I was oh, like, yeah. sorry about gonna... that. <clears throat> no, it's good. It's, it's welcome on Minecraft Mondays. Um, so, good night, boys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your good Minecraft night. Monday. Yep. Have All a good right. night. Good night, Thanks for playing. I'll be right Bye. behind you. I'll be right behind you, like, in half an hour. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. same here. I think I got about, like, maybe half an hour in me, too. It was going to be a short stream tonight. That's fair. But yeah, Metroid Pinball is actually, or Metroid Prime Pinball is actually really super baller. I never managed to beat it, but like, I think when the DS first dropped, like that was the game I spent like the most amount of time on. Mm. God, for the life of me, I cannot remember how to make redstone work. Good God. Women. <laughs> Women, am I right, boys? <laughs> uh, no, I, I've been texting... Uh... Well, I've been texting her all day. Oh, so, so. I didn't realize you had a love interest ghost. What's her name? When you get introduced me to her, am I gonna approve I, of her? I okay. Let me let me let me back that. up. You will not order. at the start of the story. You will not <laughs> let approve me answer this. Let me answer this in order. Okay. Uh, I will not say her name on stream. Under understandable. How dare yeah. you? Uh, met her at met her at work. Okay, nice. So, yep. Um, and among other things, yeah, I did get her number. Nice. I would assume so. Otherwise, you wouldn't be fucking texting her. But go on. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
And yes, you would approve of her. So. All right. All I need to know. You have my blessing, my child. Go forth. Yeah. yeah All right. Well, yeah, you're pretty yeah. easy as a dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you see, here's the thing, Wham. <clears throat> mm -hmm. As your older brother, I don't need your approval. So, so why do you, you have to ask me? <laughs> I don't give a shit if you need it or not. You got it. So go forth and smash that, my child. Damn, I am moving a little fast there. <laughs> hey, man, you got to live life in the fast lane sometimes. Uh, uh, you know, I... Hmm, hmm, how can sometimes I... Sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> uh, okay, now, how can I make this a little bit friendly? Um... Hmm. Now you see, I would have, and I know that she definitely was interested. If uh, if she, if it wasn't if it wasn't long distance, mm. <laughs> ah, gotcha. If, if it wasn't long distance, no, yeah, um, yeah. Long long distance is hard, so kudos for you, man. I definitely get that. Uh, uh you know, tr uh, Keyword is trying. Right. And also communication. Communication is key. I say that as a joke, but it's actually very true. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's completely true. That is, that is true. Oh, I just realized I should switch to your chat, Wham. So Man, I've been flying across the sea for, like, ages. My fucking wings are about to break. That way, oh, I can... Oh, land her! There you go. All right, I just found an island full of mushrooms. Who here is into psychedelics? Um, you know, everyone at work that had had assumed was like, "Hey, ghost, did what was your line of work before you know working here?" I was a freelance musician. Okay, so then you lived like a rock star. Uh, you could, I I've witnessed things. Witness things. <laughs> I sat back and saw. I've seen some shit. I definitely have witnessed a lot of things. I have witnessed the dark side of Hollywood. I I will admit that. So I just when you say but, that, uh, I just imagine like it's like mom, dad. When I grow up, I wanna I wanna play guitar. It's like oh, that's good for you, Billy. And just someone picks up a guitar, and all of a sudden their eyes start glowing. Like I have seen some shit. <laughs> I've um, beheld the power of music, and it is all enrapturing. Damn it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the one thing though, I, I always say this jokingly, like you know, I will never do cocaine. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of dangerous. That's not the point. The point is that shit's fucking expensive. So therefore, I can't afford it. <laughs> I can't afford it. <laughs> I was gonna say, if someone know, offers right? to pay you in cocaine, never take it. That I do know. Nope. Uh, now, now you see products are always so damn expensive now that you see wham new because <laughs> i said this before i'm like mm -hmm. you, you see besides the point that it's expensive besides the point that it's just dangerous the point is that it's fucking expensive and my poor ass can't afford it so <laughs> it's either rent or be a bum i like having a roof over my head so i don't know about you Holy shit. Make 16 rails from one thing. Damn. Oh shit, Panda. Yeah, All right. <clears throat> uda, uda. There you go, Panda. I saw that, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> it took me a minute to realize. I was like, oh shit. I was just so enraptured by Ghost Story. Yep. Oh, and there is another story that, uh, and somehow I don't know why, but everyone's intrigued. It was like, Oh, wait, how the hell did you get, end up spending the night in Disneyland? Like the actual theme park and not the hotel. Uh, you see, I you have not lived you telling me this. You have not lived life to the fullest so when you get stopped by a rent-a-cop whose badge is the shape of a mouse. You have not lived life to the fullest <laughs> until you've experienced that. I gotta tell you, if I ever got stopped by a Rena Mouse wearing a Mickey Mouse badge, I don't think I would take his authority seriously. No, I didn't. I I will say this, I did not take his authority seriously, but I didn't want to deal with it. left. 
<laughs> Fair. Uh, to make this long story short, uh, there was a band that I wanted to go see, and it was, and it had to be, be close by there. Uh, I didn't have a cell phone at the time, but after I got out of the show, which was probably close to midnight, I called my brother. Or rather, use a payphone and call my brother, um, and I realized that uh, he was drinking. And what were the words that he said to me? Hey, you got a sweater with you, right? Yeah. Sleep on it. I'm drinking, so I cannot drive. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> All right, so you got clothing on you, don't you? Yeah, you have the ability to make into a pillow, right? What? Well, you're gonna have to learn how, bud, because I've been knocking back some jack. Best of luck to you. No, but you see, here's the thing. I'm like, hey, bro, do you think you can, like, you know, come pick me up? Uh, got out of the show. Okay, uh, you got a sweater with you? Yeah, sleep on it. No, dude, come on. Hey, man, I've been drinking. I'm not in good condition to drive. So, uh,. I'll pick you up in the morning. Fuck. <laughs> so, oh. yeah. So it was a uh, one full night of adventure until I realized that my friend who I went to the show with has a relative living close oh, no. by, and he just mentioned it out of the blue. Hey, I think my uncle lives here. Nah, you think? You think? <laughs> it's almost four in the morning. Oh, Shikibi, thank you for the hydrate. So it was pretty eventful. Mm. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of kids out there who would like to go ahead and spend the night at Disneyland, and you live their dream, dude, when you think about it. It's just the problem is that that dream is not exactly what everybody thinks it would be. I was going to say, like, I, I okay. feel like that'd be horrifying. Okay, you see, I was 15 at the time. So... That does not help the situation. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it that makes glow it skulls. worse. Uh, I, it was Voodoo Glow Skulls. I wanted to go see Voodoo Glow Skulls. Alright, I'm going to be a heathen. I, 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 don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm not familiar with them either, but that is a kick-ass name for a band, though. Uh, Ska Band? They're a little ska. Okay. And does anyone know the genre of ska in music? I am familiar Steady with ska, but that is because <clears throat> I was well, thinking of a band that was neo swing, but eventually turned ska. I was thinking of scat. Never mind. I am a fake. Okay. You almost had that. You were let her off. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I was just one little off. Okay. So, who remembers growing up listening to Goldfinger? The band. I do. Yes, I'm, I'm they are ska. They they are ska, with any any instrumental parts of trumpets, trombones, and heavy punk sound or rock sound that is considered ska. So not and, 007? Uh, no, not, not the movie, or not the book. Finger. No, okay. Sorry, Carol. Or rather, Mighty Mighty Boston's. Jerry Less than Jake. Less than Jake. Not familiar with Less than Jake. Sublime? Actually. Sublime? Mm -mm. I am Can't so uneducated. I, I am sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, like I was having an aneurysm talking to us, man. I have failed. <laughs> <sighs> um. Look, man, be easy on us, okay? I, We're ska. Uh, we still have our ska V cards here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what other bands I can name out because there's there's a lot. There is quite a lot. Wow. If, you, if you're educated, only, you would know them. Like I said, <laughs> the only experience I've ever had with ska was Cherry Pop and Daddies, and I was so more into them when they were in the neo neo swing era mm -hmm. as opposed to like full blown ska. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Streetlight Manifesto. Does, has anyone heard that band? I've heard of them, but I haven't heard anything from them. Oh my god, dude. You would have definitely liked them. 
Really? Yep. Hmm, okay. I'll have to get an elixir. I guess yep, I've heard true. of them, but like haven't heard anything from yep. them. Oh man, it's just like trying to educate. It's like, it's like, hey, you remember Led Zeppelin, right? I'm like, who's that? Oh my god! <laughs> like, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm hey, awful. Now. I'm awful with like artist names and stuff like that, but I know who Led Zeppelin yeah. is. Yeah, I was about to say I may be behind on ska, but look, man, I know who Led Zeppelin is. Okay, don't, <laughs> don't, don't treat me like I'm a child that badly. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay I am a child, but not that much. <laughs> Okay, as as long as you're not one of my students who is a big fan of Trent Reznor and dude, why? I didn't even try off the top of my head who Trent Reznor is, so there you go. The singer of Nine Inch Nails and became hmm. a music and film composer. I actually didn't know he was the lead singer of Nine Inch Nails. Man, that is the sound of disappointment if I've ever heard. <laughs> Just like dead silence, like I can't, reasons. I can't call you on this knowledge or add to it. I'm also <laughs> illiterate. I can't help you. <laughs> uh, Sam's never gonna talk to me again after this. <laughs> like every Minecraft Monday is just gonna be silent from now on. Uh, okay. Oh boy. Okay. So Let's okay, see. I got Susan adding in stuff. The specials, the Aquabats, Spring Hill, Jack. God, that's Thank a whole you. lot of stuff I don't know either. Thank you. Thank you. You never heard of the Aquabats? I mm -mm. that sounds I've never heard of them. that sounds familiar. Like I I may have heard it in passing, but I'm not gonna pretend to be like, oh I know their songs. It's burr, 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 burr. Okay. Okay, okay. Well um The way you said that I was expecting like a like a trigger pull or something where it's like, okay. No, no, no. I'm just expect um I don't know what I should be expecting, to be honest. I'm sorry. Uh, no, don't be. Oh my. Fuck. So this is what a what a music history teacher feels like. Okay, cool. All right, time to lose your V cards. What? Uh, right. <laughs> uh, phrasing. Right. But go on. I mean. Uh, uh, I hope. I hope you're already have orgasms in your ear. Okay. So say, is this with the ropes again? <laughs> Uh, yeah, sort of. Okay, great. Sorry, meanwhile, I'm making, like, the most basic thing, and I'm hoping no one in chat is judging the shit out of me for it. Dude, I was so... I had such an awe moment where I was like, I heard music, and I was like, oh, shit, he's playing it on stream, and then I realized it was the Minecraft music. I was like, oh, damn it. Well, never mind. We're gonna get copyright uh, struck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you guys would get copyright straight, and plus, I... Plus, um... Panda doesn't have a music button in this, in this server, so she does have one in the other yeah. server, though. Yes, yeah, she does. Well, hey, man, I do got her music recommendations. Um, thingy move over on my channel. Go ahead and drop me some musics. Yeah, if you post it there, I can Educate definitely take me, it. sir. If you post it there, I can oh, definitely boy. take a look as well. Oh, I will Let's do see. my best because there is a shit ton of a lot of a uh, good ska. Ska bands and some hit singles that they have played. I just I just looked in your chat. Pretty right much. It was like for songs like like Super Rad, Suhan, My Radio, HHH, Mirror mm -hmm. in the Bathroom. I'm sitting there like, this is, I don't think these are real words. I think you're Those are songs. I think you're <laughs> you have to excuse. You'll have to excuse Susan. He types on mobile and is pretty much all thumbs. So poor man takes him a while to go ahead and formulate a full sentence. I don't think they're saying real words over there. <laughs> I do believe those are hieroglyphics. Well, as long as it's not like Panic at the Disco songs from their first album, which they're all sentences. The, all the song titles are sentences. I, 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 I wasn't meaning to insult your typing. I thought that was the actual name of the song. I'm sorry. I write sins, not tragedies. It was a good song at first, but I just feel like it was so majorly overplayed after a while. It is overly played. Now, I will say this much. The piano cover of This Is Gospel fucking slaps. Like, I will admit that. It, it's really it is good. pretty good. I admit it is pretty good. Thanks for the memories. That one I recognize, at least. Thanks for uh, the memories. Fall Out Boy. Yeah. 
No, I'll, I'll just fully admit, when it comes to, like, a Look. lot of musics, I am I am very illiterate. I will not deny yep. that for a second. Yep. Yep, and also speaking of music, I've been listening to the band that they finally made a comeback after a five-year-long hiatus. And I am glad that they came out with a with a banger with a banger song mm -hmm. called "Awake the Dead" by Bless the Fall, all in one word. The band, Bless okay. the Fall, all under one word. Oh, not bad. So I've been recently yep. listening to. Um, have you guys heard of Dynasty? But it's like spelled with like a Y and a Z and stuff like that. Yes. Yep. Mm -mm. Not familiar. It's like. I have. Would you Would you define it as like melodic rock or like what What would you call it? Oh, it's it falls under melodic rock. Yeah, it's like just this. Like that. Um, I'll post it in, in your one chat at some point. But uh, there's a song called "Heartless Madness." It has been stuck in my head. There's another one they have called like "Instinct or Breathe Me." It's just epic. F you could just think of it like epic fantasy music. It's super well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's yeah. like the perfect. Drop it in. It's like the perfect music to like. You know when you're just sitting there and you're like trying to think of a fight scene for like a character you're writing or something. Yes, it is that kind of. It's music. like that. It's 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 mm. kind of it's definitely like that. Yeah, I've I've been uh, really enjoying it. Like I'm, I'm writing really an arc for a D and D campaign based on this on the song uh, instinct that they have, because it has like nice. different themes that I'm like, okay, that will work. That will work. Okay. It, it, it like whenever I'm writing that kind of stuff, um, music always helps me, especially when I can find a song that has like the same emo. Oh shit, that's water. That has like the same emotion as what I'm going for. Yeah, completely understandable. It definitely helps. Mm. Oh, hey, I found you. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Man, you have dug a deep ass tunnel down here and you ignored the copper. Disappointing. Does it do anything? No, but still. Waste not, want not, man. Ah. So I built something, and I now just realized that I'm going to be building into water. Damn it. Submarine. Damn it. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. All right, cool. Right. Make it work. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to flood this tunnel. And we're Do just going to make it work. Build a box around it, I guess. <laughs> Damn, you took all the way down the bedrock, and it's a dead end. I forget, um, if I make a box with, like, cobblestone or whatever, will it actually destroy the water blocks? Oh, I make a box of cobblestone, that makes a furnace. Well, no, I mean, like, like, in the outside area, like, if I just, like, fill the area with cobblestone, make it a ceiling, and then, uh, and then, like, mine it out, that should work, right? Yeah. I remember once upon a time you could use sand to, like, get rid of water. But I think that was like yeah. old. Yeah, I think it was like during the beta days, if yeah. I remember correctly. All right. Yeah, I remember once upon a time you could use um, who do you call it? Uh, like doors or signs, to make like pockets of air. Oh, you can still do that actually. You can. Mm-hmm. Really? Still can. Yes, sir. That is one of the most common ways of exploring the underwater is by carrying a door with you and having not but a dream. I mean, and also oxygen to not suffocate. That helps too. Like I, I vaguely remember trying that again and it not working. But maybe I try that. I don't have a door with me, but next time I do, I will. Yeah. Get next time you hit a pirate ship, try it. Yeah. It, it works. Oop. It's a very interesting cave you've got here. Very interesting cave. I'm gonna make really? it mine. <laughs> I own it. It now. is technically on my pro it is technically on my property. I do feel like you should be paying me some sort of back rent. You will get paid in fried chicken. What I, I was am gonna say, like, completely okay with this arrangement. Remember, request you beseech these uncultured rules for a poem theme genre. <laughs> Alright. Max Ghost. Which one yes. of you would care to go ahead and give Susan a theme or genre for a poem to read? For a theme. Mm hmm Because I can't just say random shit. I gotta, I got like, actually think of something that's, like, worthwhile. Yeah, you can. Luca does it all the time. Mm -hmm. 
Just last does, time like, I suggested, last time I suggested one, I got way too complicated, way too quickly. Um. Hey, Abandon kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Stupid. Woodworking. Abandonment. Okay. Abandonment. Well, never Abandonment. mind then. <laughs> Sorry, man. Ghost came up with it first, so I gotta go ahead and honor it. That's nah, fine. All right, there's your team, Susan. Abandonment. Shouldn't be too hard. It, it, it. Look, it was either abandonment or loss of innocence. So you know. Man, mine was so much oh, happier. <laughs> it's like, what is it? Woodworking. Yeah, like the feeling of like the crane. Yeah, woodworking. Like the creation of something with your hands. Whittling. Fuck, I don't know shit. Like it's something. <laughs> Uh, the duality of man, feeling loss and hopelessness in your life, and then, yay, look at me, I carve thing with wood. Yeah, like, I don't know, the, uh, have you guys played Sekiro? Uh, you... yes, I haven't beaten it, but I have played it. Super good. For those Dang. of you at home who have not played it, I highly recommend it. Um, there's, like, the it's guy who upgrades your shit, and he just sits there and he whittles little Buddha statues. That's what I was having, that's what I was picturing in my head. Yeah, that's true. He is pretty nice and wholesome yeah. until he gets infected. Well, and, you know, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I simultaneously love, I simultaneously loved and hated that mechanic. Like it was cool in like a, oops, in like a world building sense, but it was also like shit. Now I gotta check on everyone who's ah fuck the vendor I like is dying. Like shit. <laughs> kind of makes you feel extra yeah. shitty too because like it's your own failure that's kind of bringing that on them, and it's just like oh man, the more times I die, the more sick these people get. Yeah, like well, they're fuck. the ones suffering for your failures because the old lady is kicking your ass again. You're just like son of a bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fucking butterfly. Gosh she damn it. was so much fun. Like a lot of the fights yeah. in that game, I just got my ass whooped. But afterwards, I was like, go again. Give me another round. <laughs> Once you finally beat him, it's just like, yo, that aesthetic was so fucking cool. Again, again, again. Yep. So many fights like that. Like, I, I adore that feeling. Where, like, you're almost sad yeah. that it's over. I don't need to be reminded that I'm getting my ass kicked. But thanks for the reminder. <laughs> yep. It's all fun and games until the bullshit lightning mechanic. I still cannot get the timing on that to this day. Isn't it just like you jump and then parry? And like once you parry the lightning basically like zoops to you. I know, it's supposed to be simple, but I can't get it, dude. Blech. Like I don't know what it is. I just fuck up on it every single time. I think I've like successfully countered lightning like once. I say that's it, it. it becomes a big deal later on. I'm not gonna spoil it, but <laughs> Yeah, I kinda figured it would be. It, it becomes something you up need to know. <laughs> If I'm fucking up on the tutorial, oh boy, howdy, am I gonna have fun throughout the rest of it? Not I've somehow fucked off and wandered off back to where I originally started at. Hmm. Yeah, but I think it'd be fine. Without giving spoilers, there's this there's this moment where like someone's whipping lightning at you. It feels so good when you whip it right back. Nice. Like it's it it's great. I was whipped at, but then I whipped it back. <laughs> <laughs> You thought she was gonna whip me, but I whipped you. Pretty much. Uh, oh, the turns have tabled. Wait a minute. Mm. Alright, everyone and everyone and everyone's uh, chat yes. can tell me how I'm doing this absolutely wrong. How the tables have table turned. Okay. Theoretically, if we carry Y and put it over X, we have your mom. So one video stuck in my head. It's like, the missile knows where it is because it calculates where it is from where it isn't. So theoretically, it should be fine. So theoretically, it should be fine. You should be fine. <laughs> should. Are you? That's another discussion. And thus we learned the important distinct distinction that day between theory and practice. In theory, it should be fine, but in practice, it was not that day. No, I'm I am ass. I am ass at redstone. I'll fully admit it. Oh, dude, me too. Like all the times I played Minecraft, I've had very little interaction with redstone at all. Meanwhile, like friends of mine like make fucking cannons and shit like just absurd stuff you don't think should be possible but somehow it is also it just went off once on its own so holy shit progress 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit, it works. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't I don't I, I got I gotta figure out a way to test it. Oh my goodness it works. All right. No one fucking touch it <laughs> It's as far as I'm concerned. It's magic You're like hmm. You're like hmm. Can I believe it worked pretty much? <laughs> you know what? You know what this is game physics. We don't question. We don't question that shit. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's a it's a success. It's a I, we win. It's right. kind of like that moment when you put together a computer or like work on your car and finally get it up and running. It's just like, oh my god, I finally fucking did it. Hallelujah. It's like, ah, but something else appears to be wrong. Nope, don't care. Nope, it's good enough. Mm -hmm. We iron out one problem at a time here. As long as it gets me from point A to point B, we're fucking good. Yep. Yeah. Alright, now I just gotta light up the area to absurd levels, although I think it might actually already be good enough. Gotta Look, make man. sure it's well lit. We can never get to perfection, but we can always get close. And make that shit. We'll just right. add this. Cool. Make this look nice and. Oh shit. Hello? We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, there. We're good. We're good. Alright. Uh, make this look nice and symmetrical. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom. I am now officially a coal miner. Nice. Fuck, where am I? Also nice. Right, there uh, actually is something about mining in the rain that's like so fucking peaceful. Mm. Mm. Are you kidding? And in that hand and remember I'm at work and I don't know why, but there's very something there's something peaceful. When you're just cutting wood, it's just... Oh, like you got like a wood cutting stump and you're just going at it? Yeah. I totally get that, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know why. It's been years since I've done it, but, um... Yeah, just sitting there and going at it. Uh, oh, yeah, that, definitely that, something that's what I do at work. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I do at work. Um, I'm kind of... I'm a yardman. Okay. So all, all I do is just, like, lift, like, 94 pounds of... Cement, like in bags, like 15, 15 orders of, the, of those bad boys, and <laughs> it doesn't get easier after the one. I can tell you that <laughs> it does not. You out there working for a living, doing a real job? Mm hmm. See, I do IT, yeah, so I literally just wait for things to break and I just play on the computer all day. <laughs> I don't actually work nice. for a living. And Yep, and my body has and my body has been sore for like the past three months and I've not <sighs> Yeah. I had a buddy of mine that um worked at a sawmill for the longest time, just like <sighs> moving pallet after pallet after pallet of wood for like ages. He'd come home sore like the first couple weeks he did it, he was sore like every day. Then after about a month or so, he got pretty fucking jacked and I was like, dude, good for you, man. Uh, oh yeah. Uh you know, it... Funny, because uh, the girl that I was texting—that's exactly where I met her at, at work. She works inside the store. I work outside. Oh, nice! So, like you know, we've been hitting up, and I think we caught each other, each other's uh, glances probably like the last few weeks. Okay. Yeah, and checking out those gains. Gonna go ahead and give her free tickets to the gun show. I think she wanted a little more than that from the looks of it, but nice. God, I'm terrible. My first, you say that my first instinct is ah, so she's a fed. God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, so she spies for the government. Intriguing. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, although I will say, because I do not like look at myself in the mirror, but. Same. I did. I did not. I did not know that my shoulders, and arms, pretty much my upper body, they look. Well, sculpted. Pretty jacked. Yeah. Well, sculpted. Yeah. It, that, that's a word. Yeah. Let's just use that one. Mm -hmm. It's always really interesting, isn't it? 
like when you've been doing like strenuous exercise for like months and months at a time you never really like notice the progress you've made until like one day you just like randomly glance in a mirror and it always hits you when you're least expecting it you're just looking like whoa what the fuck where did all this muscle come from oh my god uh yeah yep it's always an intriguing experience yep and when you drink a lot of water and you actually eat right then that is a whole game changer it's like hey mm -hmm. i did not know that was there i did not know it could be sculpted that way yep the key is high in protein low in fat unless you're me my senior year of college in which case i started doing the inverse of that and just got all fat and no muscle oh here's where my blocks of coal went Fuck, I, really like I have been i have been like a mountain gaining losing gaining losing so i was i'm never in between <laughs> <laughs> it's always 90 pounds soaking wet or 210 pounds beached up on a whale i know that i know that feel man yep god you say yep. 210 and i feel like this <laughs> i mean like 230 but i'm like six foot three so it's just like oh so you're fine <laughs> that boy's just like <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It's all it's all in height. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I have the issue wow. of like I can't gain weight. Like whenever I do start to work out, it's like okay, I'm getting a good habit. I can't keep it on to save my life. Oh wow, I'm over here five three. <laughs> I'm I am from a family of tall people. Megan is a tall person. Our children will be giants. <laughs> Yeah, no. And she'll roam the land and make it theirs. Okay, the first time yeah. my friends met Megan, she's like five foot ten. Half of them are five foot ten. There was a little bit of like intimidation or like demasculation. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> they don't <laughs> normally come this tall. What the fuck? <laughs> Very anyway, sorry about that. They make them this size? My uh, god. <laughs> well, by three and we. See, I feel bad because like I, I never know like what's a good metric for that you know what I mean like what is considered healthy and I, I recognize like a lot of that is just like well it just comes down to how you individually are built you know don't worry about it too hard yeah basically yeah. Uh, so, someone someone just walked into my room and I had to mute my mic oh, yeah. oh, that's all good all, right. all sorts of good man yep okay. uh, by three and we are soaking 170 ish but that's all muscle now like i don't even know how much i weigh now nice just assume it's all in your collarbones it's all of it. it's all calcium it's all calcium <laughs> yep all calcium this is just how dense my bones are 170 pounds worth Am I missing that? Say what? I feel like I'm missing that. Why is it called an office? Because if it was on I Oh, on ice, you'd be cha Gosh damn it, Shrieker. Motherfucker. Ugh. Dude, you are, like, dropping these puns way too gosh damn late. I've seen a few yeah. bodies with obvious marks of leg length. Oh, god. That shit's horrifying. Dude. Yeah, the concept of actually lengthening your leg scares the fuck out like, of me. They okay, have to break so, them. Yeah, so correct me if I'm wrong. They break your leg, they cut it, they separate it by like a tiny margin, they kind of sew it back together a bit, and then let everything else regenerate until it like fills in the space. My understanding was is that they basically like broke it, like spaced it out, put metal as like a filler between the two breaks and then oh. that like lengthens you out yeah and like you have to go through physical rehab and everything to be able to go ahead and get back to walking right Jeez, yeah it's not okay. i can't imagine that not okay and besides that i feel like if you went through that procedure it would look so unnatural like your shins would look like way longer than like right any of exactly. your other leg and it would just look so weird it's like you no longer be like i know it's like well some people have like long torsos or like are all mostly leg and stuff but like your body is designed in a certain way with something in mind and you are all like Ugh. that is true mm -hmm. it's right up there like obviously this is like 
it sounds weird to say, but like, but to a much tamer degree. But like, um, you've seen the things where like, uh, people like stretch their necks out or they like scrunch their feet so that they stay small and stuff. All that stuff mm -hmm. just gives me the jibblies, like by default. Because I, I just can't imagine that. Wham's description is closer, but the metal isn't between the brakes. Essentially, a metal cast with pins on both sides. Oh, no. gotcha. My okay, apologies for being wrong, about wrong about a thing that grosses me out the more I think about it. <laughs> I'm glad to be wrong about that. Let's see. Sorry, Susan. I keep on trying to find it on all poetry, but I can't. If you could drop me a link, I'd appreciate it. As I write that, I shall go ahead and do more random shit. Oh, shit. I'm literally dead people, doctor. It's my job to no gross shit. This is very true, actually. You're a dead people, doctor. A mortician. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, medical, well, medical examiner would actually be the correct term. I'm going to go ahead um, and um actually for him. Um, actually. Um, <laughs> um actually. Mor mm. It's not a mortician. How dare you? Um, <laughs> Sorry, I I know it's like the bit of pronouncing things obviously wrong isn't funny. I always think it's funny, so I'm just gonna apologize for uh, that right yes. now. My favorite movie, The Last of the Mortickens. Yep, <laughs> the Mortickens. <laughs> so a ghost yeah. kills them all off. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking way I'm giving the um. Actually, I was gonna give. Yeah, that's right. I beat you to it, you fucker. All right. All right, so this is If You Came Back by Amber Rising. If you came back to me, I'd pretend you never left. I'd pull up a chair and invite you to my table. I'd tell you all about how my life has changed in the nearly six months since you'd been there, and I'd invite you to stay forever. If you came back to me, I'd pretend that you loved me as much as you did the first time around. I choose to not notice the glances and the subtle looks of you've changed, because of course I've changed. Being left like that changes you. If you came back to me, I'd pretend that I forgave you long ago and that I was capable of moving forward. You'd see right through me, of course. The truth would come out when I'd get angry or when you didn't answer my call and I'd assume you were gone again. If you came back to me, I'd pretend I didn't feel completely abandoned by you, but you would know that I did, and that would be enough for you to spin out again. All my friends would shake their heads because they saw it coming long before I did. If you came back to me, I'd pretend you never left, but there's no use pretending because you did leave and you're not coming back. Damn, that is the theme pretty well on the head. Good job, Susan. I'm impressed as fuck. That was really Welcome good. to poetry. All right, so honest that question. Really honest question, yes. Brigade. So, like you, like you and a uh, panda seem to do a lot of stuff, like with poetry. Like, what started that? Hmm? Honestly, I just like literature. I like reading, and um, I like doing monologues. So one day, when I uh, reached affiliate, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I just want to go ahead and have a. Uh, I just want to have a redeem where people can go ahead and give me like random shit to read. Okay. Initially, it started off well, like all kinds of people started dropping all kinds of poetry and introduce, introducing me to, you know, avenues that I've never read before. And I was like, oh, wow, this is awesome. It's now basically devolved to Cake making me say random cringe stuff and Susan actually living up to what it was supposed to be and dropping poetry and other wonderful monologues in there. Hmm. And that's about it. Okay. Of course, now I have to give you shit because the moment you're like, well, you see, I've always I've always just liked literature. It's like, ah, oh, so the rest of us ingrates who don't. Uh, I get it. <laughs> Say no, yes, we the ain't shit. Plebeians, the rest of you plebeians who haven't dared to read the Divine Comedy are nothing less in my eyes. Mm, yes, indeed. Mm. <laughs> But I get that. I'll, I'll admit I am not as well versed in specifically poetry, but I can definitely get the enjoyment of it. 
I just play music. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, when you think about it, there's not too much of a difference between poetry and music. I mean, it, back it, in the olden really days. Is. I mean, yeah, exactly. How much poetry yeah. is said, like with a tune or with a lilt in mind? Like, even if there isn't a specific instrument, the voice is the instrument. The well, I mean, voice epic is poems were exactly, and epic poems back in the olden days were constructed to be sung. Hmm. Which is why there were there were bards back then. Mm hmm. Back in the olden days, before songs were written and were simply simply passed on through oral tradition. Yep, and we are talking back to the medieval times. There was mm -hmm. music back then, and then it's the Renaissance, and Victorian Elizabethan, and so on and so forth. I will admit um, that my favorite, probably 18th century instrument roundabouts would be the harpsichord. Oh, harpsichord sounds great. Uh, harpsichord yes, is really good. Yep, you can thank Wolfie for that. Ah, uh, yes. Um, good old Amadeus. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Wait, no, what am I doing? No, wait, no. That is who you meant by Wolfie, right? Yes. Mozart. Okay. Yes. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Yep. Because, of course, my mind just instantaneously went to Little Red Hot Riding Hood, which was the Tex Avery cartoon, like, Oh, Wolfie, oh, Wolfie, ain't you the one? Oh, that's a smorgasbord of feeling uncultured, damn. <laughs> nah, that's just my cartoon side coming out right there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um... Almond Redress's house, I'm trespassing. Uh... And, and you know, and you know it's kind of funny. You know it's kind of funny. Hmm? <laughs> I don't mean to ma make it sound rude, but uh -huh. if any musicians out there that are in school and you have recitals coming up and you ha and you're doing any of the dead dead composers, dead writers like Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, and, and all of that. You will know my pain when I say I'm glad they're dead. Yeah. I'm so glad. It, it's just practicing and how the way they wanted their instrumentalist, how the way they envisioned it by hearing, and then when it comes to actually playing it, then practicing and practicing over and over, you just sometimes just want to beat the sh living shit out of them. So it's more you can like you can hear them go like you're not doing it right and just yep, pisses you yep, off. Basically. Ah. Yep, basically. Yep. See, I thought you were saying like their music sucked. I was like, well, look, I'm on culture, nope. but I know their music's good. No, 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 no. Their, their music is good. It's just trying to live up to the goodness of that music. That's yep. where the challenge is. Yep, and then that's when you go. I'm glad they're dead. <laughs> like it's, they can't judge me because <laughs> it's literally that now they can't judge me for that for fucking assholes dude. That's, uh, I don't think I'm doing this right okay. my coding is overloading that's weird I don't know why it's doing that mm. okay, it is. maybe because somebody's flying right now I don't know Unprofessional to worry about the technical issues. That's fine. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be it'll fine. Be fine. Right. It's fine. Yeah, Rub some dirt on it, champ. You'll be all right. <laughs> Just go over to my PC. It's like you'll be okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Just rub gravel fine. all over it. It'll be good. Don't worry about it. Then you slap it and then just say, "Walk it off." <laughs> well, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's that or just Walk starts. It it's that or just starts screaming at it in binary, and it starts screaming back. One zero 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 one zero one zero 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 one. I remember. Why um, is there a two? <laughs> why is there a two? Shit! Shit! It's evolving. <laughs> oh fuck! Error. But I remember. Um, this is more like Warhammer, but there's some video someone made where like, 
they tried to figure out what you know because like the tech priests like they talk in mm -hmm. binary somehow so it's like how would people actually do this it's like well they have a metal voice box ho hooked up it's just screeching sounds and I, I always thought that was hilarious just the idea of it what did i picture a screaming goat <laughs> <laughs> it's just that Yo. it's speaking binary i don't know what it sounds like it, it, honestly, like you doing that as a joke, that is not far from what it sounded like. <laughs> nice. I say things jokingly, and then it's like, eh, you yeah. think about it, you're not far off. Pretty much one years. <laughs> uh, see, I'm out of redstone. Damn it. Oh well. And this is why I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> I don't go looking out for trouble, I make trouble. <laughs> <laughs> why go ahead and get trouble secondhand when you can make your own even though you don't mean to but you but you end up doing it anyway i'm just gonna make myself sick looking up and down jumping up stairs okay, uh... that's, that's exactly what i that's exactly what i asked my mom I'm like mom out of your sons who, who is the most troublemaker you no hesitation just immediately straight answer you like, uh. well that's how you know that you're on her mind that's a good thing no? Okay, never mind. I'm the middle child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the middle child. I'm usually... I mean, he's on her mind all the time. She's usually thinking, oh, what's he going to do next? <laughs> Little Cosby yeah. bit. It was like, my name's Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever heard that one before. Not ringing any bells, no. Ah. So, Bill Cosby, who in his own right is a great comedian, then he discovered he's kind of fucked up in a whole lot of ways. It was basically a bit that um his parents never actually called him by his real name. It was always God damn it and Jesus Christ. To the point where like they started actually getting confused what their names were because whenever they're called out, it's like, God damn it, what are you doing over here? And then like one day they got the one day they got the name switched around. It was like, but ma, my name's Jesus Christ. <laughs> basically the shtick of it. Nice. And Susan says, I thought the middle child's whole shtick was being forgotten. I am, and I usually am, but it's mostly the case when I'm in, when I'm in the line of sight of my mom. <laughs> when I'm in the line of sight. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm hiding in the bushes. She, she, she instinctively goes, all right, all right, what is this dumb, what is this dumb ass gonna do? But I haven't even done anything yet. Yet is the key word there. <laughs> It was literally that. It was literally just that. And don't get me started on. Well, fuck. On uh, on getting called for uh, for dinner. <laughs> I'm like, hey, where's my plate? Oh, I forgot you. You're here. Let me get your plate. Fuck. It's, it's kind of like whenever you're in trouble and your mom goes through like every single one of your brothers and sisters' names before they finally get to you. See, my parents did that. I only have one sibling. <laughs> My dad's done that, and my brothers were already grown and moved out of the house. Oh, jeez. Like, like, brother one, brother two, Cito, wham! Get your ass over here! Like, yes, dad. Yes, father. Like, my mom goes through my sister's name, both of my brother's names, and even my cousin, and she goes, Pendejo, you. <laughs> I know, right? It's like eventually they run out of siblings, but they still can't remember your names. So you're just like, dumbass, get over here. It's like, okay, well, that kind of rules everybody out except me. So I think I know who you're talking about, Mother Dearest. Uh... Okay. Um. Real quick, do, yeah. is there Good any on. like redstone I can steal that's near the starting area? I don't think the starting house has any redstone. Uh, not that I know of, to be quite honest. Okay. I just need to steal a if little want. bit. I believe I've collected some redstone stores. Not quite too extensive. I believe I got a few stacks, though, if uh, you want to go ahead and search around my house. Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yep. All right. Uh, and let's see. Yeah. I had some bones somewhere, too. That'll help me to actually test to make sure this shit works. Ooh. Yeah, the shit hits the fan whenever you, your mom calls you up by your by your full name. You're like, oh, okay, this this is serious. Yep, 
Exactly. Mm. First name, middle name, last name. It's just like, oh, fuck me. There's a bone. If I can hear that middle name drop, it's like, okay, well, I definitely fucked up somewhere. And it's even worse when your girl says the same thing to you. And I'm like, no, no, why did I tell you my full name? Like, why? <laughs> Ma'am, please. You're bringing back PTSD for my mother. I don't need this. Please stop. Like, babe, I love you, but why? Yeah. Yep. I always give my full first name out. And I'm like, picture. okay, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop what I'm doing. And if I don't stop and I keep doing it, then it's first name and middle name. I'm like, okay. I'm not even going to test the waters on that. Mm hmm. I call you mama in bed, but please stop, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm navigating the bridge trying to fix... Oh, okay, wait, hold on. So there's... There's the portal in the heart. So... Wait, nope, nope. Okay, that means... Red Rose... Oh, yeah. Wham, or Looks this like one. Say, it's late, but I want to finish... I want to finish the pumpkin farm. I want to make sure it works. Just keep on walking so you see the big ass tower. Then that might be your hint that you reached it. Um, is it right by the red light of laser light of God? Uh, no, I have no idea where that's at. Damn. So you may be in another direction. Son of a Ben, uh, gonna need your help with the directions. <laughs> Guide this man. Show him the path. Well, I think I found the path to Redress's, so he said I could steal his shit, so I'm just going to go in and swipe some redstone real quick. Yeah, Redress is like the major ultra capitalist of this land. Name it, he's got like at least 24 stacks of it in one chest alone. Sorry, my mind went to terrible jokes of, um, because like he's the major capitalist. It's like you can tell because he has beautiful art built all around his place. It's lovely here. If this is a socialist regime, they wouldn't allow that shit. <laughs> If this were socialism, Regis would be starving out on the street right now. You know, if there were ever a meme, it would be the Heath Ledger Joker when he gives that look at that stranger just like, mm, trying to analyze what he just said. Yeah, mm. that'd be my that'd be my facial reaction. Have you ever <laughs> looked at architecture of like Soviet Russia and shit versus like when they're free and like monarchies and stuff? Or like modern day, how like a lot of places are just like bland, whatever, repeating, like um, I, apartments as opposed to like unique and cool looking buildings. I have not. Like it's depressing as shit. We talking about during Soviet era, Soviet era or the collapse of the Soviet Union? Yes. Just just in general that like. A lot oh, of I was about to say that doesn't answer my question, Max. <laughs> like... Well, a lot of architecture like. You know, gen like general purpose for the people, right? Like mm -hmm. the more totalitarian it gets, the more it's just like all repeating, mm -hmm. all the same, all like boring and bland, as opposed to like big and colorful. Oh, you're talking about more of like brutalist architecture, yeah. where it's just like big, spacious buildings with like very plain facades, and that's it, nothing else. Yeah, yeah. it's very super depressing because you don't want individualism or for people to like be proud of that you gotta like beat them down kind of a thing mm -hmm, exactly expressions of individualism are equivalent to expressions of greed and desire and we can't have that no 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 because then you'll start asking for two pieces of bread and i swear to fuck if you do that one more time yeah i think i just got the right idea i think i'm gonna head out myself actually yeah, yeah. it's all good I got lost finding Redress's stuff, so he'll have to guide me next time I hop on. Because <laughs> right, I, I love it's this place, good. but it is confusing as shit. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling, well, actually. Well, as always, it's always nice hanging out and talking with gentlemen. Now I need to go recover the rest of this. <laughs> That's all good. Yeah, thanks for all playing, right, guys. Man. It's always good to hang out with y'all. Yeah. yeah. Always good, guys. All right, always I'll catch y'all next time. Later. Later, y'all. All right, and with that, since we are still live, although I'm just not. Oh, oh, ah, gal, I do not know why 
I don't know why like the encoding thing is happening. It's been going well all night, but we're not going to worry about that. Let's end the episode off here. Once again, I want to give a shout out to Lord Luca who was um, raiding earlier. I'm definitely going to make sure by tomorrow we're going to figure out how to do that shout out thing. I feel really bad about that. But for those of you who do not know her, she's a real good friend, real nice girl. Uh, she is all about spiders in Australia, which freaks me out by nature, but I'm not going to worry too hard about that. I just realized that I don't have the, uh, hold on just a second. Let's switch that out just slightly, not window capture. We want display capture. There we go. And I'll like, uh, I'll put this here just so we have something nice in the background. There we go. It's all nice and lovely. We can all appreciate Rodris's house because it is absolutely gorgeous. It really is like real talk, but we need to end the episode off here uh because for me it is midnight i'm gonna check to see if i if we have anyone to raid if not i will gladly take suggestions so that is all sorts of good otherwise i will i'll send you over to wham bam now he's getting off too um i unfortunately do not have anyone immediately to raid actually except for uh ryan rigor all right he's a vtuber i've talked to him a few times he's Pretty cool guy he's playing a uh, stellaris right now modded so that's a good time he's playing with friends but yes let's end the episode off here uh next time we stream at let's see today was a fun metroid prime 2 and then minecraft just because it's monday and um the next time we stream will be on wednesday unsure if i'll go back to v2 remote i think we'll still do a live just for a few more times just to kind of make sure everything's working um that we will be going back to tomb raider 1 on Wednesday and then back to Metroid Prime 2 on Friday assuming nothing happens of which there will be announcements on Facebook or not Facebook I got off Facebook for a while um there'll be announcements on Twitter see there it's going again I apologize for that but at least the audio is still working announce which will be on Twitter and Discord because I suck at social media and I don't know how to run any of those the vibes will be on YouTube relatively quickly highlights have been put up shorts are being put up and yes I will get to work on the fatal frame script I promise but um yeah, let's send y'all off to, let me make sure I spell it correctly, Ryan Rigor Mortis. All right, uh, there we go, Ryan Rigor Mortis, we'll start that. But yeah, let's end the episode off here. As always, wonderful to have you guys, but um, I'm tired, I need to go to sleep. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have fun, I know I did. This is really nice, having to chill Minecraft stream, a stream with friends. I definitely need to do that more often. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have fun. I know I did. And I will see you guys then. So Ryan, I said hi, but then I had to go to bed. Boy.